It's been claimed. Yes. Hi, cat. How are you? How has your Monday been? Well, I guess it's uh, Tuesday morning, very early Tuesday morning where you are. How was your Monday? Amaquee bot. So it's it's already Tuesday morning, of course it is. Unless it's Tuesday night. I don't think it's Tuesday night. But it is Tuesday morning. Let's turn on the fan so we actually don't sweat to death. Oh McQueen bot. Educational bureaucracy, probably one of the only topics that I won't talk about. <laughs> only because I know people who are far, far, far more adept at speaking about that than I am. Come on in, children's. Please come in. We're, uh, we're, we're going to do day 27. I have been out of it. It uh, it actually rained here again. It's very, uh, very against type. We don't actually we're we should not be getting any rain whatsoever at this time of year. We normally get it uh, like a month from now, month and a half. So basically, the whole house has just been kind of sleepy. I'm sitting here like I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm exhausted. Um, but I am trying to very slowly work on stuff for my own stream. Randomly got pulled into onto a page called Can I Print on Shrinky Dinks? <laughs> and I'm 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 satisfying my my ADHD brain slash inner child by learning about shrinky dings because that was something I never did. Uh, what other tabs do I have open? I was looking for a 31 day advent calendar for next year for next Quibmas, Uh because I think we're going to bring it back. We haven't had the discussion, but I'm pretty sure it's coming back. Um, found a link for a retro TV stand for your phone so it like it 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 looks like a little retro TV and you slide your phone in it and it looks like it's a little TV and some of them have a a, a magnifier so you can see the screen bigger and i saw one that looked amazing and apparently it's just made out of cardboard so now i'm going down the rabbit hole of trying to find one that is actually 3d printed because now i want one uh, so there's like eight tabs open for that. There is what else? What what else we got? Various YouTube videos, a comic, a web, a webtoon that I recently f discovered that I started reading. It's called Bloodstain. I've never heard of it before. So I'm in the process of reading it now. I'm only on, on page 18 or number 18. It seems pretty good so far. And uh, what else? Business stuff, like how to set up an LLC and whatever. Um, a shrinky dink. I don't, I don't know if you would even have them. 
so in it was huge in like the the I think the 70s and 80s here where you took a piece of plastic and you could draw on it and it was, it was a very specific kind of plastic you could make a drawing color it in and then you cut it out and you put it in your oven for just just a minute or two and the heat causes it to shrink down and get very hard and you're able to uh before you shrink it down i think you're able to like punch a hole in it and so you can make uh just like you know, funky little plastic things. I found someone on Etsy who makes, um, they make shrinky dink earrings out of like pop culture stuff like Beavis and Butthead and whatnot. I thought it was super cool. And that is what has started this entire thing. I do. I do. Uh, I thought, I think we had one laying around the house like, like several years ago, I think. Um, and now we actually have one that's the, uh, it's like like felt or something. I think it, it was made specifically for one of the uh, Android phones that Queeb got. Sorry, I had to do a quick snake check. Uh, they seem fine. Interesting. It's whenever I say that, I basically mean like it's it it, it almost definitely is just an American thing because I've talked about it with other people over the years, and they're like, I have never heard of that. That is weird. Um, there's actually, the commercials are very weird. Uh, Thank you, Dink. Commercial. Oh, it is from the 70s. Okay, cool. All right, there is the Shrinky Dink commercial. If you're just joining us, hi, hello, my name is... Ms. Queeb, let me mute this Shrinky Dink commercial in the background because that would, wouldn't that be fun if I got a DMCA slap for that? Um, it's day 27. Day 27 of the Queebmas Queeving calendar or some shit. Uh, today we have Isaac, obviously. We have Isaac almost every day. And then, uh, then we'll have a game of the day. Game of the day, uh, it, it's a game. It's a new game every day. I know it. Uh, you don't know it, and Queeb doesn't know it. And my goal is to get you to guess it before Queeb guesses it. Beginner, hi. How are you? It is not Noita. We had Noita a couple days ago. But good guess. Um, here in a few minutes, I will do hints. I will tell you everything I can tell you about the game. I'll tell you what the the gameplay looks like, what the art style looks like, any kind of uh, dream tags. Um, I try to give you guys at least 30 minutes or so before Queeb comes on. Uh, because I, I want you guys to guess it before he can. I, 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 I take sheer delight in knowing. That that you guys guessed something before he did, because he's on one hand he forgets everything, he's very forgetful, but on the other hand he has this weird font of knowledge in his head, like like you wouldn't even like for with Huxley, our our first snake, for example. I I had names picked out. I was gonna go down a roster and figure something out. He's like, no, his name is Huxley, and I'm like. Why is the name Huxley? And Queeb's like, well, you know, for, for Aldous Huxley, wrote Brave New World. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, it's a book. And I'm like, I know it's a book. I'm. You read? Because you've literally never mentioned that before. And he just like, he just stores everything. Oh, hold on. We have knocking on glass. If this tree trunks are knocking, don't come... Knocking. What is she doing? I think Ripley has officially outgrown her tree trunk. Uh, Iodred of Rohan. Did I say your name right? I hope. Hi. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you missed Noita. It was our Christmas special. That was, uh, it was Noitmas for everyone. It was very fun. When they showed it, I thought it was going to be like a ball of crammed paper. Tormund! Hi! Dancy baby! 
so much for Nancy, baby. Thank you. Oh my god. I love that. I love that damn kid. I love him. It was truly a uh, a a very random moment. Queeb is not uh, not going back to it anytime soon. But he uh, he wanted to give you guys something nice for Christmas because this year has been so shitty for a lot of us. And then like four four or five people at least in the chat had COVID. Um, and then someone wasn't able to, uh, go see their family and, and like, yeah. So we decided to be nice. Everyone keeps thinking the I is an L. No, I took it to be an, an I. Is it, is, is, was I right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. challenged how are you look at that what is that is that just like a rando emote i do like that that treasure chest my friend i do like that treasure chest just finished 33 orb run and i thought i'd watch some mcquee playing noita he introduced me to this awesome game yeah that's awesome why oh, make two letters that look the same I think it's just, uh, yeah, it's just the font. The, uh, I think it's the standard. I don't think you guys can change fonts in Twitch, right? Not unless you actually have a, it would be on the, on the viewer side. You could do it, but no, it's just because there's no serifs. Not exactly random Tornus has been streaming for You think I can click the gear on the chat pane? Gear, chat pane. Mm -mm. I have quality closed caption options, advanced, report playback issue, pop out player, keyboard shortcuts. And it's not under advanced. No, it's fine. No, we were talking about Eodrid's name. And someone said, uh, they they made two letters look the same, and I'm like, no, it's just serifs. Nice. Okay. Whenever I see people show like screenshots of conversations on their phones, and it's always like Comic Sans or some shit, I I get a little nice chuckle. Because it's never like a like a. Like, oh, I'm going to change the, the entire font for everything, but it's going to be just like a very, it's going to be a different sans serif font. It's going to be just very low key. It's just something different. Nobody says that. And nobody even says, hey, let's let's pick a font that has a serif. It's always, what is the most ridiculous font I could use? And it's usually like Comic Sans. I hope everyone's Monday has been going well so far. I'm exhausted. I might actually take a nap once Queeb jumps on before I go deal with the wolves in the other room. Um, yes, they, they do. They do also use that one, too. Yeah. And it's just why? Why would you do that? But you know what? At least it's not curls. At least it's not fucking curls. Thank God we have we have gone past that era. Never to see it again, thankfully. Uh today. <laughs> yes. Today Zoe and Loaf met without Loaf being in a muzzle by accident had a bit of a, a freak out about that uh he did very well so he did not listen uh she was fine but she stood there and was just like smelling him but like every hair on her back was was like standing up and i was just yelling at her to 
get back to the the office, get back to the bedroom, get back behind the gate, and she was just like, no, I'm going to stand here and smell this motherfucker. Like, oh, I was so pissed. But no growls. No growling. Nobody jumped on anybody else. Like, she, she snuck through the gate. And to be fair, it is my fault. I'm, I'm just like... There's so much going on, and I'm so stressed out that I I forgot to shut the gate when I let him out. However, the gate was open, and she just, like, wandered right through. And normally she doesn't do that. Um, but they did, they, they did okay. She just doesn't listen. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, he is about 30 minutes out. Uh... Maybe a little more, but yeah, it's me, just me and and you and Murphy in the background who is uh in his tree trunk, I think. Let me look. Oh, oh yeah. So you can't see it. How do I? No, he put his head down. He's like, right. This is very difficult to do. He's usually right there above my finger. Right there. And his nose is sticking out, but that's it. Uh-huh. They got all swapped uh, yesterday. Uh, I think I pulled a muscle. Or like like kind of messed up my my left arm. It's a little bit wonky ever since, but it's cool. Um, we well, I took down Murphy's tank, put her in the snake pit, took everything out of Murphy's tank, cleaned it, moved it, or before I moved it, I took Murphy, put him somewhere like his container elsewhere, was able to move. Ripley's container over, filled it, put up a light, made sure the front was Windexed because it had all those fucking like water drops on it from rat juice. Um, then got Murphy's new tank set up, everything put in it, and Murphy put in it with it. The whole time, Archie's just like looking like, what about me? You're not going to touch me? No, baby. I got to get a tank for that. That's a whole other kettle of fish I got to deal with. But uh, they both seem to be thriving. Uh, Ripley is exploring her tank a lot more, even though everything is still exactly in the same place. I just did a substrate change. Um, Murphy's setup is kind of the same. He's just in a, a different type of setup. He actually has doors, so he's uh, he's enjoying it. He's hanging out in his pool a little bit. <laughs> hey, see we. Uh, uh, our breeder and uh, my friend, two different people. They uh, they tend to put like all the rats in like one one pot, one one bowl, and then slowly warm it up. And they both individually refer to it as rat soup. <laughs> it's just, it's, I'm like, yeah, I know, I know, I know that smell. I would I would know that smell in my sleep. That is a hygrometer. It measures the ambient temperature as well as the ambient humidity in the tank. Because he is a ball python, they have very specific guidelines on what range they need to fit in. His tank can't drop below. Um, let me think. How how old is he? He's a baby, so his tank needs to stay around like 85 ambient wise. And then for humidity, his humidity needs to stay between like 50 and 80. And his humidity looks like it's at like 67, maybe 61. Yeah. Uh, so all of the snakes have one. He only has one right now because our, sh our uh, order with Amazon got delayed, of course. Uh, but he does have like a two pack coming and they link to an app on my phone so I can see everybody's stats. It's very stressful. 
it's very fucking stressful because they all have alarms. So whenever, like if the temperature drops in the middle of the night and we haven't wrapped the tanks and blankets, you'll hear like this, this frantic beeping. And it's like, oh my God, the temperature is so low. And I start freaking out. And then I look and it, it, it's only because the tank dropped from like 84 to 83. And I'm, I'm over here having a, a meltdown because of it. Let me pull up the hints. You guys have about 20, 30 minutes before we do, um, before Quib gets here, and before we reveal the game of the day, which means you have, uh, you've got time to go get a drink, go change out your laundry. Uh, I mean, if you want to clean the cat box, you could. I mean, I probably wouldn't, but you could do that if you'd like. Uh, yeah. In the beginning, it was, and now I'm I'm very lucky that I live in Southern California because the ambient temperature here outside is fine. the The temperature inside the house, unless we're having a a cold front come through, the temperature doesn't drop below like 74 during the winter. So it's it's not we're we're not in danger of it getting like super cold. Um, I know people who go to a lot of trouble to make sure that the tanks are, are warmed and they have like eight, eight, uh, uh, not eight, like a, they have a very extensive setup for all of their animals. They use rack systems and they have heated lights or, or the, the heat mats and, and, uh, radiating heat panels and all this shit. And thankfully we don't have to worry about that. Um. Baby boy does have a heat mat. It's over under his water uh, because he likes to swim. And I wanted to make sure he had warm water. And uh, he has that heat light and he seems to be okay. Honestly, the, the biggest bullshit of having a ball python is getting them to eat whenever they don't want to. And it's not like I have to force them to eat, but it's more like me realizing that I can just be like, okay, fine. You're not going to eat. We'll try again next week. And then walking away as opposed to trying to micromanage and just being like, no, 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 let's, let's rewarm it up. Let, let's make sure it's five degrees warmer this time and, and all of that shit. If you are just joining, hi, hello, my name is Miss Queeb, and uh, today's day 27. There's only a few days left in this Queebvis, Queebvent, Queebmas, Queebentine's Day, Queebsgiving, Queebtober, Queebster, Spectacular Variety Hour show. Um, last day will be New Year's Eve, playing through till early morning New Year's Day. We have been, uh, we're calling it a Queebit calendar because every day there is a brand new game that uh, Queeb has to play. Sometimes he's played it, sometimes he hasn't. Uh, he does not know what the game of the day is, but I do. And I want you to guess it before he can. So I read off a bunch of hints. I tell you a lot about the art style of the game. Um, I'll tell you if it's like a big studio or if it's a small studio. But I, I try to get you guys to guess it. So we're going to do that if you are ready. That would be that would be great if you could hang out with me while we do this. Um, and I have to be careful about what I say with this game, <laughs> not because I don't th think anyone can uh, guess it. it. It's more like if I say something, you're going to Google it and it's going to pop up. All right, so let me turn this down a little. All right, this game is fairly new. It's about a year old, so that's number one. Reviews for it have been overwhelmingly positive. Google is our savior. Price is lot. <laughs> uh, a few thousand overwhelmingly positive reviews, so that's good. 
studio is, uh, let's see. Extremely small. Sorry, I have like 84 f friggin' tabs open. Uh, colors are very... I don't know what that sound just was. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> everyone says Loop Hero like every day. It's Loop Hero! <laughs> it's not Loop Hero. Um, colors are muted. Art style looks very modern. I'm scared that if I say the first tag in conjunction with what I just told you that you will guess it. Um, the very first tag is puzzle. And the very next tag is surreal. We've also got abstract, first person, exploration. Uh, where did it go? Exploration, experimental. Puzzle platformer, uh, difficult, minimalist, relaxing. It says colorful, but I mean, it's, it, it, I wouldn't exactly say it's colorful. It's pretty. Like the colors are muted. They're, they're more like pastels almost, not really. Um, multiple endings, adventure. And this is the very first time we've had a game with this tag, Psychedelic. Psychedelic. And of course, when I click the Psychedelic tab to see like what tags are involved in that, everything is just like shocking bright and, and like blinding retinas and All right, so let's, let me review choices. Now remember, I can't reveal what the game is, but if it is like in the absolute wrong direction, I will at least tell you you're, you are in the wrong direction. Let's see. Oh. So Death's Door is not it for, well, two reasons, the tags. It's missing uh, Puzzle and Psychedelic, but it is a good visual style. It's, it's, it is similar to that. Beautiful game. Uh, do I have this on my wish list? I do not. We're going to add it to my wish list, even though I'm sure Queep has it. But I think if he has it, it just means that I can play it just when he's not accessing his library. Uh, Stable is next. Let's see. I was guessing before you said the text, the subliminal was after the puzzle. Oh. Sable looks pretty. So Sable is an open world. Oh, I like how they list uh, spaceships and racing and comic book because it does look very comic booky. I like that one. I'm going to add it to my wish list, but I don't know if I want it. I do want to be able to analyze it, though. Uh, subliminal. If I yawn an absurd amount, I'm really sorry. It, it's been a day. I told you I'm like just, I am dragging ass. So subliminal. I mean, it, it has the psychedelic tag. It has the puzzle platformer. It has a psychological thriller. And dark humor tag. Okay. I 
thought I bought this one. I don't remember. Queeb, Queeb and his, like, he's obsessed with, with games, so he's gone to the Steam uh, the Steam sale page a few times since I've been in. I'm sure he's gone in, like, twice as much without me being around. Um, and so I, I actually picked up some games. Thank you, Casually. I'm sorry. And I, I actually did notice that that was said uh, the other day during the sale. It is super liminal. Thank you for the correction. I appreciate it. Creeks. Oh, that looks dark. From Amanita Design. I learned that Amanita is a mushroom. And she's also the name of a character in uh, Sensei. Creeks. Oh. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. 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 Obviously, this isn't it, but this looks amazing. Puzzle hand drawn, sir. Atmospheric 2D stylized puzzle platformer, relaxing mystery. Cartoon Supernatural single player. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh shit, I lost my place. Motherfuck. Hi, Crow. How are you? So far, guesses have been in the ballpark. Japanese breakfast wrote the music for Sable, saw her in concert. Why does that sound familiar? Is that the... No. That's a broken somebody... Broken Peach. Okay. Why am I confusing Broken Peach and Japanese breakfast? What? Oh, she's cute. Okay. Andy, Michelle Zahner. Dead Oceans is such a cool label title, by the way. I mean, it's ominous, but it's cool. Okay, I'm leaving that tab open so I can fully explore. Uh, I don't even know how to say that. Is that Machinarium? Machinarium? Hi, Frost. Okay. Well, you've heard it. Queep says that it's really good. It is a very good puzzle platformer type thing. It's hard. Okay. That's what I used to think it was like machine, and then I was corrected by a few people. Maybe it is. Machinarium? Maybe. I have no idea. I'm open to correction. She wrote a New York Times bestseller this year also. Yeah, she looks really interesting. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do a deep dive on her. And uh, worst case, I just lose like, you know, five to 10 minutes of my life. But then I'll have like really, really niche uh, trivia knowledge. Machinarium. Awesome. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Power was out for the last hour. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are, do you guys have a... Uh, you're like cool with the power there. Did the like like you've got? Do you have snow or anything going on? Like, are you are you fine? All things considered, never been able to guess the games of the day, but whenever they get revealed, it makes sense that it is a choice for a creep to play. <laughs> I do have to say, as someone who does not play video games, everything on the list that I was originally given that I pulled everything from, it, they all like. It, it, it seems like a Queeb game. Like, the only one was uh, 
Hellblade. But that that's because that was my choice, that wasn't his. The Witness, speaking of puzzle games. At least they were able to, to fix that super quick, but I'm, I'm sure they're on alert just because of the, the winter weather. Whenever it comes down to pronunciations of fictional creations, just re remember what was said about the Kraken in Pirates of the Caribbean is a mythological creature and I'll pronounce it however I want. What? <laughs> Queep said savvy. Uh, I completely agree. I was just talking about that earlier, Frost. It's raining here. And I mean, it, so we're we're in L.A. County, which is different from saying Southern California, just because Southern California is just so so wide, right? Like here, we're I don't know anywhere in L.A. You're a few miles from the ocean, um, but normally we get rain like in late January, early February, and then it'll rain off and on all month. This year, it it's already rained. In the last two weeks, it's rained four days, and now it's raining again. Um, backyard is still under complete water. It's disgusting. Loaf wants to roll around in it every time he goes out. I want to strangle him, but I love him. And then someone else, one of my friends in North Carolina, she's like, Merry Christmas, I had to turn on the AC today. I'm like, fuck, what is going on? All right, just got home from family Christmas. Got to start moving into the new place tomorrow. Nice. Is it a good move, Crow? Hopefully, fingers crossed. How to have any window into the rain so my leaky bedroom window can be fixed. We've gotten exclusively rain. I'm in PA. I have, this is a very long and drawn out story and I'm going to sum it up very, very nicely. When we moved in our backyard, we have like a, like a, a small, but long yard, like that goes the length of the house. It was filled with greenery when we moved in. The landlord said that he would mow it before we got here, which was great because you know that way I don't have to worry about the girls um not only did they mow it the first week we were here they used roundup on all of it and it completely killed everything it took a couple of years green started growing back it beautiful like we had last summer we had dandelions growing in like it's my favorite flower I could go out and guess like Yes, I was in this scrawny little yard, but I had I was surrounded by dandelions. I was happy. Uh, he came by and cut them all down. And it was just like, I'm, I'm so done with this place, right? So because of all of the rain that has happened in the last two weeks alone, we are getting new growth of grass and of weeds. I love it. Like like a weed is just an unwanted flower. That's all that is. Um and I'm 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 thankful for it. But it's it it looks very weird because it's only on the very edges. It's like the sprinkling of it, it almost looks like chopped chives just sprinkled on top. <laughs> um but yeah, like it's it's been raining so much that like uh the greenery it's 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 in the infant stages of coming back. Um, the grass in the other areas is starting to just, for the most part, it was dead, but we do have like some spots, you know, how grass sometimes goes that like bright neon green, whenever it actually gets water that it needed, like it's starting to look that way. Uh, the aloe plant that I saved from my landlord's trash, it's fucking thriving right now. You would think it wouldn't need that much water, but apparently it needed some, but yeah, it's, uh. I'm very thankful. I'm frustrated, but I'm thankful. We should have snow by now. My parents got snow. Have we had snow here yet? Mm -hmm. 
we had it at the apartment. We haven't had snow in this house. Um, like not even ice. Like it, it's Southern California. Like everyone's like, oh yeah, the the temperature it's just ambient. Like you, it's just like moderate weather. It's like, eh. I don't really like that though. I want I want some nice like give me some good thunderstorms so I can open up my windows and listen to the rain hit the roof. Like even right now, like it, the rain, it's not like going straight down. It's going at angles because of all the wind. So I can't open any of the windows, can't enjoy it. But it's fine. It's all good. Every the, this part of the country definitely needed the rain. So I will I will take what we can get. That is just on a roll. Oh my god. Frost, I'm just seeing your message. I hope you get to feeling better. Absolutely, definitely. 4,000%. Please feel better. If you are just joining us, hi, hello. My name is Ms. Queeb. Uh, today's day 27 of 31 days of a Queeb vent calendar, Queeb Miss, Queebentine's Day, Queeb's Giving, Queebtober. Uh, we are playing a new game every day. First, we start off with Isaac, then we play a brand new game that Queeb does not know. Um, because I know it, he may have it, but he has not actively played it. Um, my goal is to get chat to guess the game before Queeb can guess it. So far, Murder Hobo has fucking ki been killing it. Like, he he's like, he normal whenever Murder Hobo guesses. See, I'm starting to figure this out. If Murder Hobo guesses early, it's usually his first guess and he gets it. Like, do, how do you know this, dude? I didn't give the list to anybody. How do you know? And like, even yesterday, Queeb was like, well, I mean, if murder thinks that, that this is what it is, then that's what it is. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Hey, Fonz, how are you? Murder is not and... Double M, double three is not. So yeah, it's been uh, actually a little quiet here today in chat, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Like I said, it's raining here. This is just kind of like zone out weather for me. We have no chance <laughs> to get it right then. I mean, to be honest with this game, if if anyone's going to guess it, they're going to guess it right up front because it's I uh, there are specific words that I cannot say because you can Google those words and that game immediately pops up. And you know me, I don't want Queeb to accuse me of cheating at this. Uh yeah, like I, I can't, I can't say anything. Like even what I've said has been too much. Um, I think he's gonna guess it like right off the bat. I hope he doesn't. I just, I just want to be right. I want him to be wrong. God damn it. Fonzi, you know what? Today has just been laid back, super chill. Um, I'm running very late on my goal of getting the house completely like spotless and cleaned out before January 1st. Granted, I wasn't expecting on a lot of things to happen the way that they did. This month has just been like, like just whoa. It, it, yeah, it, it's your fault, but also, hi, I had a friend die. So, you know, ah. I had, like that depression, Dogs fucking up. Tank changes. I not only did I bring home one baby, 
that I wasn't expecting. I brought home two babies. Day three of the subathon, I randomly found out about loaf, and I'm like, exclamation mark, puppy, command, puppy. Um, yeah, if you weren't around for the subathon, um, that was kind of the same thing, except Queeb, uh, Queeb streamed every day. It was based on how many subs and how how many donations would add time to a timer. And we had been looking for a dog for like three years to go with Zoe and Emma, just someone to help them kind of mesh together. Emma died in December. Was pretty depressed about that. Zo like me and Zoe for like all of December, all of January, most of February, like me and Zoe, we were, we were grief buddies. We would just like snuggle up on the couch. Um, and just like, just kind of sleep as much as we could. And then she kind of made it evident that she was lonely. So I'm like, fuck, I got to go back to the, the grind of finding her, her, uh, a brother. Started that search back up. Couldn't find it. Like finding dogs out here in LA are a nightmare because people will go to a rescue or to a shelter. They'll, uh, they'll get the puppy or they, they go for the niche dog. So the ones like they'll get the pit bulls that are younger, they'll get puppies, anything that looks fluffy and cute. Um, they'll get it. They won't give it any medical care. They might take it to the vet once, but they don't get it spayed or anything like that. And then they charge 800 bucks. And I'm speaking from experience because that's why we went as long as we did without getting another animal. Because like, I'm not gonna pay $800 for a, 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 a mixed breed that nobody knows what it is. And I'm gonna have to do a fucking DNA test on it. And it does, it has not been spayed. It doesn't have its shots or anything like that, right? So I was like, no, I'm gonna find the right thing. It'll happen and found someone, reached out. She didn't respond. I'm like, great, that's fine, whatever. And then like a week later, it was literally the second or the third day of the subathon. She reached out and she's like, yeah, uh, I actually need to get rid of him today. Can you come get him? And it was like, okay, so running a subathon with a puppy who, who sounds like a pterodactyl like in all of the VODs from the subathon, you can hear a pterodactyl screeching. You're like, oh, yeah, that's loaf. That's love. Um, yeah, so I, I, I guess that's what we do. So next, uh, what I'm saying is in May, we'll be getting another snake, is what I'm saying. At least one. That That's, uh, well, maybe we'll get a lizard. <gasps> Can we get a lizard during the subathon? Queeb said he's not listening. So yes, we're getting a lizard during the subathon. <laughs> it's only fitting. <laughs> Why do you want him to be wrong? It's not necessarily I want him to be wrong, but he has, uh, and I was talking about this earlier, he has such a font of knowledge in his brain. Like, he's very forgetful, but he knows weird shit. Like me, my knowledge is more niche. It's more, uh, you know, like, like it's either science-based. Um, sometimes it's like 20 or 30 years old. Like, like it's all over the map, but he knows like weird shit and like, especially about movies, about games. I don't think about songs, but at least about those two, he, uh, he knows a lot. Like you could literally say, do you remember that one song? And I don't remember. It's by like a band. There's like three or four people in it. And it has like, it just sounds very sad and, and he'll randomly scream a name at you and you look it up and sure enough, that's the song. Like, it's weird, but it's weirder than my weird. It's just weird. Great. Can't wait to be the 5th of January. Girl I'm dating is coming back from France after a long month of vacation. Can't wait to bring her back to the live and show her why oh, you guys are so cute and awesome. Thank you. Fonzie, I appreciate it. I'm excited. You've got a girlfriend. That's amazing. I'm happy for you. Does cat template mean both cat hardware and cat software? 
because hyenas are dog software on cat hardware and foxes are cat software on dog hardware. Uh, that. <sighs> I like that. You know what? That that that's that's brilliant, Asusa. Good job. <laughs> You want to talk about cleaning? I just did a full cleaning of the furnace. It's been three months with my roommate, and when I arrived, the furnace was dirty for months or years. So it was a good fight today. For... Oh, oh, Jesus. That would be awful. I actually need to clean ours. It started... Um, I normally put foil down at the bottom to cover it, and it started uh, smoking like it's burning, and there's, there's like nothing down there, like the actual bottom of it, so I have to clean it. Do you hear that? Let's walk into the other room, shall we? Are you talking to me? No. Do you want to say hi to chat? Too bad you can't bark on command. You could say hi to chat. They miss you. They miss the pterodactyl. Can you give me five minutes? Five meanie? Five meanie, okay? this kid he's sitting down at the entrance of his kennel in the kennel he's sitting down his head is almost touching the ceiling of the kennel I didn't sign up for this Queeb. I, I signed up for like maybe a 50 or 60 pound dog I didn't sign up for a dog who is sitting down and this kennel is like what is that like waist high on me I did not stop. I don't even think they make kennels bigger than that. Look, it like his kennel. It's he's he's so big now. That's going to be a whole thing. I'm going to have to figure that out. But luckily, I can use his kennel for Zoe. Thank God. Um. Yeah. Um. I'm tired and overworked and really stressed out. And I came back through the hallway. I left the baby gate open. And I didn't realize it. I went to go get Loaf. I let him out. And normally he'll sit and he'll give me kisses. Like, I I bribe him. He has to pay the, the love toll if I want him. Like, if he wants to leave the kennel. I, I absolutely enforce that. But he didn't give me kisses. I was like, oh, okay. I got a little offended until I saw that he walked right over to Zoe. And I'm like, oh, oh, shit. And so they were literally just standing there right next to each other, each one smelling the other one's ass. Like, like literally standing right next to each other, lined up, smelling the other one's ass. And I don't like that one. It smells soapy. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I was able to uh, get them separated. They, Zoe would not listen to me. Loaf would not listen to me. Was able to get Zoe back down the hallway. And uh, everyone was fine. But yeah, that was... Uh, I, I aged a few years. No big deal. NBD. I've been dating her for like three months was more of a let's not date and be exclusive, but we realized step by step that we might be jealous when we see each other. Someone else. <laughs> see, like dating nowadays, I, I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it, nor would I want to, but it's because I don't like people playing with my toys. Leave my toys alone. Like I get very jealous. Um, yeah. I mean, if that works for you, that's amazing. Hey there, Delilah, by the plain white teeth. Oh, yeah. Trust me, the oven was bad, bad, like brown. Everywhere, everywhere, I don't feel my hands anymore. Oh, my God. Yeah, ours isn't, ours isn't terrible. It's like literally just a spot on the bottom where it, I don't know. It's been doing it lately. Uh, maybe I just need to like take the foil out and just like literally just clean every bit of the inside and put the foil back down. 
Like, it's fine. It's, you know. Get your own toys. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if if Queeb had told me when we first started talking, hey, just just to let you know, uh, not really looking for a relationship. Like, I, I absolutely want to date and I want to get to know you better, but I don't want anything to really be exclusive right now. I would absolutely say, okay, bye. Like, but that's me. I, if, if you have time to date other people, you don't have time to be dating me. Like mentally, physically, like time-wise, like, like you, there's not enough of you for, for like, it, it's not going to work. Cleaning the oven is not that bad. Like you spray away. In theory, yeah, but I don't have any kind of oven vent, so I've tried cleaning it before, and the entire house smelled like oven cleaner. Thank you. Wait, look at me, come here. No, I think, I think it was just a reflection. Um, but yeah, like this one over here, any, any kind of smell that's like a bad smell, I hear about it for a few days. The house smells bad! So, uh, I've been trying to put that off, but I, yeah, I'm going to have to buckle down and do it. We haven't had any movement on the snake. I'm a little, I'm a little sad. I did zoom it in after Queeb said he wasn't going to, but I wanted to give him a chance. And he was moving there for a little bit. We're about to do, uh, hints one last time. I've done hints a couple times. I've done hints, I've done descriptions. Oh yeah. I've been doing it. Ah. <sighs> Hello, Queeblet. Cat template with today's I am first and best. Yeah. It's the Queeb. Hello everybody. Hello, Miss Queeb. Hello. Cheers. Actually, I had a few people earlier, um, as soon as I announced that we were going to be talking about Game of the Day, they were like, Noita? <laughs> I'm like, uh... Relax. You're, you're, you're a few days late. Just a few days. I'm like, oh! But, you know, I'm... Hello, sir. After watching MI2, I realized how bad the third one was. Wait, was that the one with, um... The... No, no, no. The third had, uh... uh... God, what's the actor's name? Uh... He died a couple of years back. Philip Seymour Hoffman? It was. Right? Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was um, he in the third he one? Played, he played... Davian, I think his name was. Fucking amazing role and creepy as fuck in that. The third was amazing. MI2 was like really forgettable in my opinion, but no, three was three was spot on. I don't know why you dislike it. I'd like to talk more about that. There's nothing wrong with Mission Impossible 2. It's just extremely dated for the age, but I think that's why I love it because it's just... It's on par with Face Off. Face Off is obviously the more superior film. Everyone can agree to that. Nobody's trying to compare the well, two. What you and Casually Challenge just said, spot on. It's a John Woo film. That's that's it. Mm -hmm. um, as an as an MI film, tone was off. Um, action sequences were off. The Grey we, Scott was off. Like <sighs> we talked about this yesterday. I think it was before you came on. We were talking about the Marvel movies, and uh, I had said that I was starting to work my way back through them, watch them in uh, sequential order uh, by when they uh, they were released in uh, in the Marvel world, not necessarily theater release. Right. Uh, and how uh, someone said, I'm actually shocked that Black Widow wasn't mentioned a lot. 
mm -hmm. or mentioned at all. And to me, anyway, we watched it once and like before, before all of the Marvel hubbub, uh, I remember watching Incredible Hulk, and I was like, oh, yeah, that, that's such a great movie about this random guy. That's, that's which, awesome. Which Hulk was that? Was that the... Uh, that was Edward Norton. Ah, uh, okay, yep. Um, and then Tony Stark did a cameo at the very end of it, and then watching Iron Man and thinking, wow, wow, what, what a cool movie about, like, a random guy that's in a comic book. That's cool. And it was like, it was, they seemed like they were one-off. Now, I'm sure on the back end, they had a much larger plan at play if things went right. Um... But watching Black Widow, it seemed like the same thing. Like it seemed like it was it was a one-off about someone who was in comic books, and it may lead to something else. And that's what uh, the Mission Impossible was. Like it, it seemed like it seemed like an action movie that was kind of set in the same sphere. Uh, almost kind of similar to the feeling you, you got whenever you watched Casino Royale. The remake, obviously, uh, Daniel Craig's first first Bond movie, where Probably you still my favorite of his. Like, you kind of know the, the world that, that we're in, and you kind of know the role, but you don't know where it's going to go from there. And that's kind of the only way that I could have enjoyed Black Widow, is just by... <sighs> It's so weird, just the way that they they released it, and, and like so much has happened since, and 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 all of this. And I know that a lot of things changed because of you know the Panini Press and whatever. But it was just it was just odd. Like to me, it doesn't seem like a Marvel film. It seems like it is a uh, it it's a film about someone in the Marvel universe, and it doesn't. It, it, it it's like part of like some new phase or something like it has nothing to do with what's currently going on are we calling it panini press because of like the the way some sites they they um, uh i'm i'm used to calling it panini press because uh facebook and tiktok will suppress any any mention of it even right. calling it a pandemic you right. automatically get something popping up and then tiktok will flat out either uh hold it for review for a few hours or days or they will uh they'll flat out not promote it at all so yeah i'm just i'm used to calling it panini press but yeah it's a pandemic didn't scarjo also sue because yes yeah, she sued primarily um not because of how it was released but because of how the pay worked um it didn't include uh our, streaming services yeah, like like it did include that it would be streaming, but her cut was much much smaller, and then people started comparing her deal to the uh, the uh, like what happened with uh, Wandavision and with Falcon and Winter Soldier and Loki, and they tried to like bring those people up, and regardless of if it's bad blood between Scarlet and Disney, like who fucking knows? I mean it. Unfortunately, it it was a weird situation. She was banking on a, a studio release, and she didn't get it. And as a result, like, she didn't get the pay that she was promised. And so, yeah, she should absolutely go after whatever she needs to to get that pay. But, I mean, it's... no Nobody counted on this. There are no contingency plans, unless you, like... I want to say it's Apple that has like a zombie apocalypse in their terms of service. Is that who has it? But like it's it's tongue in cheek, but it's like, oh, you know, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, this will happen, this will happen, this will happen. Um, but it's like it's nothing that you can really count on for something like that. Right. Have we, have we, let's do hints. Let's do hints. Uh, hold on a second. I should do the only thing I heard from before was um, Machinarium. Which I think is the correct pronunciation because they're all literally machines. But amazing game, by the way. That is uh, so that is not it. That wasn't on the list, I don't think. I was looking at merch and I meet the chest length for the extra long sleeve. Does it shrink in the wash? Um, I don't believe so. 
hold on and I can look up the um what does tongue in cheek mean? It's like how do, how would you say? It's like um it's like a, a joke told knowing that everyone knows that it's a joke. Um it's uh what would be another example? Sar sarcasm? Self-aware is yeah, self-aware would be yeah. A wink and a nudge is another is another uh mm -hmm. yeah. Uh what's yeah. what's the term? Wink wink nudge nudge it's a uh, an idiom mm -hmm. I guess. Uh newt regarding the T it looks like the black is 100% cotton, which means it will shrink. The heather colors are mixed cotton and polyester, so you should be fine. The one the that I'm wearing right now, um, I've washed it, what would you say, probably a dozen times since we've had it, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. The, the print has held up. There's a small, you can sort of see it like right mm -hmm. here, a small little thing. And it's like, it's starting, if I stretch it, you can see it a bit better, but um, it's held up really well. And it is noticeably tighter than it was when i got it but that's after a dozen washes i'm i'm actually surprised how well it's held, held up it's, um, it's pretty good i we purpose well i purposely have not been careful with it because most people aren't careful with their t-shirts they just like they throw everything in they'll they'll wash it on hot they dry it for maximum length in the dryer and yeah partly laziness sure but also we we have to road test the stuff like yeah i i get intel on what it says on the site like 100 percent combed and ring spun cotton that means shit to me um i know that cotton shrinks and then but also having this live example helps um, um that's that's why we buy merch by the way we we run it through our own testing as well like that's the trouble we've had probably two or three different vendors vendors at this stage and the one that we're doing now is much of a pain for us as it is to set up and, and we have to pay like, you know, monthly fees to even use both services. Is it each? We're having to pay for the site and, uh, or it's not, a, it's not the site rather, it's the storefront. And then we're paying on the back end, um, like right, right off the bat, the prices are structured the way they are is because like we only get a couple of bucks per item. Um, just because that's that's how expensive it is. Yeah, we make um, we make next to nothing have, on it. We have talked about how um, we will be switching printers. We're going more in house. I'm working on setting up a print uh, a print operation with my best friend, who's in the chat often. You've seen her. her name is K two, um, and like going through the merch and having more exclusive merch. So we might not have as much on the site as we do now, but it would be more like the actual kind of hoodies that that we want with like the actual black zipper instead of a fucking white ass zipper on a black hoodie and right. um, having actual like straw tumblers and uh, li like things that people actually want as opposed to, oh, like, cool, there's like 84 different t-shirts to choose from, but there's like one hoodie and it's always sold out. And then they have like a metal bottle that can be customized, but not really. And then there's like a coffee mug. Yeah. So yeah, so that'll happen. A um, couple more things before we go back to hints. Triple five, hello, how are you? Great to see you, dude. Just, just beat Archvale. Pretty good game. Uh, uh, I mean, it's very popular. My my take wasn't as friendly, but I I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not gonna shit on your opinion. Uh, where was it? Another example of odd TOS stuff is Amazon having a clause in case of aliens being caught playing the video, playing the game. That's the other one I was trying to remember. Shade. Thank you. Amazon having a clause, terms of service, aliens being caught playing the game. What does that mean? Um, and then... Yeah, I want a bit more of an explanation on that one. <laughs> uh, and then Fonzie just asked a question about Binding of Isaac... Shisharu Mayamoto, French streamer, who's a streaker, won the French Twitch Rivals on Isaac. Um, 
That's uh, no, I did start with uh, the original. I got like I played the original Binding of Isaac, liked it a lot. I got into it because of Northern Line. I think I switched to Repentance when it came out. Played the hell out of that. Um, never streamed Isaac prior to Repentance though. Um, and then I stopped around about the time when the uh, what do they call them booster packs came out. So yeah. They have a section in the Terms of Service about off-world aliens playing New World. Oh, okay. That voice didn't come through, by the way. What about now? Yep, can hear you now. It's fine. Uh, let's do hints. Um, and yes, then I have to go do hints. with your child. Um, did, did you tell chat that we did a, a late night cha cha board last night? I did not. I have not mentioned the shark coochie We board. started opening jams and uh, I had apricot and passion fruit. Passion fruit. fruit. It's really fucking good. And Miss Queeb had lemon and some weird... Yuzu. What, yuzu? Yuzu. It was good as well. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, Queeb, after he tried it, was immediately like, there's rind in there. And it's like, yeah, like, like, it's like zest. And after, like, I, I Googled more about the fruit just to learn more. And turns out it's like super expensive, which makes sense why they would include not only like the fruit in it, but as well as the, the zest from it, which is going to put more, uh, aromatics in it. I, I really liked it. And it was mixed, yes, yeah. It, and it had, it did have a, a some kind of a rind. So it was kind of almost a marmalade texture. And it, I'm trying to work out where the rind comes from because that would mean apricot rind because passion fruit, you can't do that. Um, but at the same time, it's very thin. But it, it felt, it felt like, um, like very finely chopped, um, like orange peel, mm -hmm. Ryan. It was it was really good, but we, we that was fun. We we opened a couple last night, and we went through the rest of the box and put them in a little container. Yeah, like mine, it tasted just like a like a lemon candy, like a sour lemon candy. It was great. Um, do I think I would ever eat it again? I don't know because it's I I'm not someone who normally eats. But for me, sweet equals candy. So for food, I don't eat a lot of sweet foods unless it's candy. King Nesta, you are a... correct. Yes, marmalades have, well, it's it's fruit fruit chunks, and I think the rind is included in that. But this, this one didn't make sense because it was apricot as the main, the main, uh, th th that'd be like apricot skin. But you can imagine a re an apricot skin, how that would jam down. I don't, I don't know. You love orange marmalade? Same. I'm, I'm down. God, I love that. Anyway. Hints, Ms. Queen, hints. Can do some hints. Um, Zealousy just mentioned uh, NASA hiring theologists. Theol theology. I've played out of wilds and I'm looking for a job. Those two things, this, this has to be fate. So. <laughs> um, the game is about a year old. Okay. We have a few thousand overwhelmingly positive reviews. Okay. Very small studio. The colors, because people started asking about like colors and screenshots. The colors are, it's colorful, but it's muted. Like, like not necessarily pastel, like girly kawaii pastel, but it's like, they're more muted colors. Uh, almost like a, like a watercolor type look. Um, in terms of colors, not in terms of style. Um, it's very geometric. Ge it's, this was a say geometric. Geometric in uh, with a lot of the stylings, and odd. Five, we'll say five, odd. five, five. That's that's what we're trying to figure out. So what? In case you haven't caught up with the rest of the the this this series this month. Um, I have given Ms. Queeb a list of a couple of hundred games, um, ones that I own, ones that devs have sent me that I've never played, stuff that's been recommended to me, um, all kinds of shit, right? 
So I put together a, like a massive licks, licks list and um, Ms. Queeb picks one. Um, and then and then we have to sort of guess. So the, the goal is for, for chat to get it before I can because I have somewhat of an, an advantage knowing what games, well, kind of, but I forget a lot of stuff, so. Um, sorry, Ms. Queeb, continue. Okay. Um, all right, so now we are on to tags. Um, as far as guesses go, we've had a lot of different guesses. I can, I'll scroll up in a bit and read some of them off for you. Uh, all right, the very first tag is puzzle. I can't confirm it is a puzzle. Surreal, abstract, first person, exploration, experimental, <laughs> puzzle platformer, difficult. What's the little, the cube one where you have the little cube gun and you, you suck up a bunch of cubes and you put cubes everywhere? To solve puzzles. Oh fuck! It's a cube gun. It was it it was it was muted, but I'm I'm talking like Stark muted antechamber. That's the one. That's the one I'm thinking. So that's that's so far top of my list. Go on, continue. Uh, difficult is a tag. Philosophical. Oh, it's from 2014. Oh, okay. Puzzle platformer psychedelic and and that's what i meant by the the um geometric type like it is very like geometric psychedelic just very weird uh minimalist non-linear atmospheric relaxing mystery indie adventure single player colorful multiple endings um now let me hold on one second let me scroll down very quickly make sure i didn't miss anything too questiony and i will go back up and i will give you the guesses we have had so far oh no mine doesn't go back that far fucking hell um okay so we had creeks was one the witness creeks creeks wait c-r-e-a-k-s creeks we also had super liminal oh good guess no nah, but that's normal colors and stuff that's not that's not like water watercolor aesthetic i like the look of creeks um, that's not the one you have to play for like a year or some shit, right? It's got like a, you, what's the, what's the one you have to, it's stupid the way they've designed it. I mean, it's clever. It's an art, it's a piece of art, right? But, <laughs> um, we also had Manifold Garden. A lot of people guessed that. Manifold Garden. A lot of people guessed Creeks. And now we have, hold on, let me scroll back down. Stanley Parable. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have... Steam Achievement for not playing for five years. Oh, for real? No, no, no. This one had... This one was time-based. And to do a particular thing in the game, you had to wait that long. You could do other stuff in the meantime, but there was an ongoing timer. And you'd have to revisit it to, to do this one. I can't remember... Oh, that's weird. Talos Principles, another really good guess. And I think I have it. Uh, we've also had Voxels, which I've never heard of. Voxels is a, 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 a... What would you call it? A, a way to render graphics, I guess? Okay. Uh, we also have Gree, which is the, uh, the game we talked about the other day that looked oh, really good. Oh, Chris. I think... I don't think I got it. I probably forgot about it. Voxel. No, it ain't that. That's some kind of... Wait, it didn't even come up. No. No, no. Uh, I don't I don't think they meant the game Voxel. I don't think there's one called that. If there is, it's not on Steam. Okay. And then... Uh, 
Celest Celestial. Inside? We played Inside, like, a couple of days ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't the game you have to turn the level of the game? Oh, Crow, you missed it. I'm sorry. You're on vacation? Where the hell did you go? Trine, yes. Trine is good. I like Trine. But no, this is a, a first-person game. So it's a first-person puzzle platformer. That's breaking <laughs> it down. So it could be... Like there's been a, re a couple of really good guesses. Talos is... It's probably... Since... Since um, Antichamber is so old, I, I'm now switching to Taylor's Principle. Then what was the other one? Manifold Garden? Yeah, so this game, it's, it is a puzzle platformer. It fits the color aesthetic that you're talking it, about. Mm -hmm. Fuck, that looks amazing. It is geometric. Like they, they look like, um, some of them look like uh, fractals. Nagogia? What the fuck? What? Gogia game. It's an, uh, here we go. Boundless Dream. Oh. Kind of fits the aesthetic. I don't think I have that. There's a dog in it. Oh, and you can pet the dog. I'm so shocked by that. Surely someone has made a game where it's just like going around and petting all of the dogs, right? Remember the one I bought for uh, during Subathon? We never ended up playing it, but it was the airport airport for dogs. But that, but that was, it was like pictures of dogs. Right, but you can pet it them. Right, but, but what I'm talking about, like a, a VR, some kind of like walking simulator, and you're literally just walking around a neighborhood, and you just like see the dogs and even cats. Maybe, oh, and like just literally just them. petting dogs. That's what I want. Like Panther knows. I I have a I have an, a strategy in my head. Not a strategy. A, a conspiracy theory in my head that devs only include dogs in games so that the Twitter marketing account you can pet the dog picks them up and gives them a feature and i asked the question on twitter i said do you think people put dogs in games specifically for that reason and um i think i th had a few like affirmative like <laughs> obviously like shut the fuck up i'm trying to have a real discussion here i wasn't having a go at anyone it's a smart move it's an obvious move, but it's like, yes. yeah. Anyway, rant over. Um, all right, what's the what's the answer, Ms. Queep? Thank you. Yeah, it's it's Manifold Garden. All right, so I got to download that. Look at that. You'll notice that I've done my cuticles as well. I fucking butcher my hands every time I do it. They're very fancy. Um, yeah, not bleeding half to death this time. I'm gonna put that over here. Manifold Garden, huh? Let me open up Steam. I'm going to dart off for a bit. I need to go take care of your child. I will be back, though. Yes, I will mute the stream. Yes, I will hang up. But I will see you guys very shortly. I don't think I've ever played Manifold Garden. Um, zero of 25 achievements. It looks, it looks fucking amazing. Uh, I hope the puzzles aren't like too difficult and I'm going to have to enforce no, no, uh, spoilers. Thank you. You look fucking amazing. These, these cute, I, I don't, it doesn't come naturally to me. Not, not 
Ugh. Why are you in such a bad mood, Miss Cleef? This is why. All right. Um, we're gonna switch to a few uh, Eden Eden streak runs here. We're back to zero, so that's good. Uh, did you earn points yesterday, or did you vote? Did you were you a believer yesterday? Well, hopefully it worked out for you. <laughs> um. Oh, I've got to update the picture. I keep forgetting to do this. One second. Manifold garden. That one looks suitable. Okay. And uh, Queen Vent Calendar, day 27. God, we're into day 27 already. It'll be it'll be over soon. This this calendar it's there's good games on here. I'm actually really proud of Ms. Queeb. She's chosen fucking incredible games. Where'd that picture go? Nice. Okay. Should we switch over? Yes. Look at that. Nice round number at the top there. Jesus. <sighs> Just trying to get a win in. Not a 365 day challenge. I've had to cut the last couple of nights short i've been so fucking ex exhausted um it's been it's been a rough it's been a it, like it's it's weird like i have so much energy at the start of the event and then by the end of it it's like a month of 13 hour streams fucking will get you esty dude what's up man dude how you doing great to see you Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, same to you, my friend. Welcome, everybody. My name's McQueeb. Currently on day 27 of the Queebvent calendar, exclamation mark Queebvent, if you are wanting to see that calendar. Today's game of the day is Manifold Garden, which we will be starting after a couple of runs of Isaac, trying to lift that number from zero to anything but zero. Uh, Esther, you've been playing something weird I say weird. It's new, I think, lately. Um, it looks interesting as hell. I don't, um, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it looks good. Learning and playing a new game every day, you'd be quite draining too. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, and then you have games like, um, what was the one we played the other night? Um, send you a sacrifice like that shit is exhausting in itself um every day something new so here's here's the deal i gave I'll, I'll i'll link the thing for you every day so i i gave ms queeb my wife thank you ms queeb hellblade she's already voted against great um I gave Ms. Queeb a list of a couple of hundred games, and from that list, she's she's picked stuff. Some of it is the games devs have sent me that I've never played, um, stuff that's been recommended, stuff I wanted to check out, stuff that I own, um, a whole a whole swath. Um, it's been really fun. I'm, I've been having a great day at time. The last couple of days I've had to cut short because I've been so freaking tired. But all right, Eden streaks. Here we go again. Will McQueeb win? Round and round she goes. 
Night Owl, hello, how you doing? Huh. This is both very, very good and very, very bad at the same time. Um, health is a concern, clearly. Speed is whatever. Tears is a big concern. Damage is average. Uh, we do have uh, the 1% right here. And we started with two items today. One of them is Jacob's Ladder. We have no map. Don't really care about that. That's fine. bomb now a bomb or flight either either will be fine ah fuck uh please no die fuck hurry up hurry up hurry up That bomb would be perfect. Thanks. Yep. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Problem is I don't really want to use it right now. I don't. I can't take the risk. Yeah, we got to go in there. Okay, okay. Does the electricity hurt you? No, not at all. In fact, Jacob's Ladder is incredible for one reason. So, you can hit enemies directly, but you can also hit rocks, and it will, within a, a radius, it will auto-target enemies as well. Not only that, any tear effects that you have get transmitted via that electric strike. Um, it's really, really good. This is not really good. A little bit of an annoying one, and it's going to take me forever to kill this guy. <sighs> Gotta be careful shooting as he's charging, because if you hit him, you can bump him out of alignment, and he can, like just appear right next to you. This is one of the problems about using uh, Book of Rev. Straight... Ah! Fuck you. Straight away. Alright, thankfully he only does half hearts of damage. That was completely avoidable, by the way. Not like this. Not this run. This has potential. Trouble is his splatter, his monstrous charge there, is um really wide. Oh, okay. Problem solved, kind of. That was that was way too close. This room is fucked. Straight up. Come on, man. Yeah, so we've been leading each stream for the last month with uh, Ms. Queeb. She chats for half hour, 45 minutes. Um, then I'll come on and, and people love talking to Ms. Queep. Kind of a highlight of the stream. <laughs> we have three 
tinted rocks on this floor. Was there any... No, this was the only direction. It would be a travesty not to be able to get some of these. We, we need a key. I gotta get that key, man. Four tinted rocks on this floor. Holy fuck. Alright, there's our bomb. That's our first one. Nicely done. Another key. We'll wait on that since we can... This floor is freaking massive. And this is the one... Like, this, this alone makes this worth it. I don't have to be anywhere near them. And this room is notoriously difficult straight up, so... I'm just hit rocks. Golden bomb on this floor? Holy shit, we'd leave the floor with like six health. from the other direction, possibly. Hey, my range is good. Let's see. No. Not yet. We'll see how we go from the from the first tinted rock next to the key. We'll use the key, not this one, the other one. Um, we'll use the key to get... Oh, is that there too? Which we can get. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Luna adds an extra secret room uh, if you blow up. Sorry, if you if you uh, in each secret room after you beat the boss, you get a damage up. Is this the right one, Luna? It's not great. Ah, <sighs> unlucky. Remember how I keep telling everyone that flight is the most powerful upgrade in the game? I'm I'm not being hyperbolic when I say that. I, I I believe it. You know I believe it. The bomb did get us a key which got us Luna which is something but we could have detonated in here. Gotten the sack. That's it. I got no other no other options here. What was the item we started with? It's, there's like five tinted tinted rocks on this on this floor. That'd be lovely. I sh could have gone in there for an extra key. Sumptorium, right? Another one. Holy shit! Talk about being absolutely shafted by lack of consumables. I got I got no choices here. I got nothing. Does the charge shot explode rocks with bombs in it? No. No. You mean the, ele the electric shot? No. Mm -hmm. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. I've never wanted... Uh, Stompy m more in my entire life. We'll try this real quick, just as a test. I don't think it works. I mean, even if it's shot the right way here. Nah, no way. <laughs> one one blew up and it was a lock chest. Yeah, that's that's 
very typical Queeb, though. That's I should have gone for this one. Like, no, we wouldn't have gotten a Tinted Rock, but as it turns out, that wouldn't have mattered. What about if we... One sec, let me test something here. I can maybe... Maybe get the fires. Okay. No, that's it. We're done. What a shitter. Oh, well, moving on. We got some good items. Just, we'll just roll with what we got. We don't push the button. Oh, you can't. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh uh. Uh uh. Nope. No, I do not agree. So that's what Luna does. It's, I'm thinking of something else where you go fight the boss first and it gives you, uh, uh, gives you, um, other stuff. Hey, Link Day. We're doing good, man. We're doing good. You know, despite the whole seasonal depression thing, we're doing just fine. I actually want to go fight the boss ASAP because I don't want to fight another horseman. I didn't even, I was so tired, I didn't even watch any more of Black Mirror today. Like, I was knocked the hell out. You missed guessing? Yes, Murder Hobo. Yes, you did. Yep. Uh, Manifold Garden is the game of the day. I don't know if it's going to scratch my outer wilds itch, but um, it's a start. Oh, this is a slightly different variant of this room. And we have an extra secret room, don't we? I should be looking for more. I doubt it could be next to a one. I would think it'd be weird. What's my favorite game? It, out of Wilds, no questions. Best game I've ever played, period. A lot of people have been asking for Enter the Gungeon, and I think you maybe may have... She mentioned Enter the Gungeon on more than one occasion, so maybe that could be coming up. I don't... I don't know. But if, if, if I was a betting man, I would say, uh, yeah, most likely that will be happening. Probably the most requested song with... Uh, song? Most... I'm not a DJ. Most requested game we've had. PJs, I feel cozy. Do I? I do now. Cool. DJ Queeb in the his house, yeah. Spin that shit. Spin that shit, don't... Be a fucking tool and spoil the game. <laughs> that's it. That's my that's my motto now.
Big chub? Yeah. Chub. Alright, so we're still after the super secret. Uh, we can definitely sacrifice a heart now. Going into the curse room. Don't you fucking send... I'll be pissed if you do, if you send me into the devil deal. Oh, I'll be even more pissed if I get hit by that. Wait. I think this was covered in rocks, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was impossible. Disco Lee seems the best game, best for years to you, but you haven't finished Outer Wilds. Um, I, I really liked Disco Elysium. In fact, I've been doing a little bit of research. Some of the Steam reviews for that are fucking hilarious. Uh, tried to punch a Nazi. Died of a heart attack. 10 out of 10. Uh, green, uh, yes, yeah, 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 green arc. There is more because we have a specific item that gives us an extra one on each floor. So I'm looking for the super secret at this point. Do I want to buy more stuff? Bomb and key would be smart. I should probably keep this at 400 or more if I can. Oh, bummer. Um, like, it, it, Disco had me from the moment I, I, I had to pay, I had to pay my debt to the hotel that I'm staying at. I fucking, I don't know if anyone clipped it. What? Four secret rooms. No? What? That's weird. Is it two and two? You get one of each. Fucking hell. You get one of each? Um, so I had to pay my bill. And uh, I decided to make a run for it. I'm literally having a conversation with the person that I owe money to. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, this had, it had to have been clipped. Um, would somebody mind looking back through and finding that? The funniest thing that I've ever seen in a video game. Not only did I run away, I ran away in slow motion, turned around, jumped through the air, flipped the bird as I'm flying through the air, landed on a, wa a lady in a wheelchair. Perfect. Um, I played that on... Disco Elysium, when was that? Oh, okay, it was one of the first extra games we played, so I don't actually know what, but it'd be about three, three-ish weeks ago. Um, that was just, that, like, I, I was blown away that that could even happen. So this is, like, God, I wish I had rock bottom. Um, I got no way to spend red hearts, which is unfortunate. Fucking look at this room. Oh well. Oh, it was it was Crow's clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotta I gotta save that because um, I'm gonna make a command. Slip away. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that was good. <laughs> what have we got? Seven cents, four bombs, one key. get the card. I don't want to do this. High Priestess, not what I was after. Okay, keep going.
Like, I don't think I've laughed that hard in a video game that I was playing ever. <laughs> it's just fucking perfect. Um, it's just the sheer brazenness of it, and it... <laughs> oh. So finding secret rooms is really good. Now we have a way of, of damaging ourselves, of course. Uh, typical Isaac fashion, we're one floor too late. And, and, and from what I'm reading, like, I, I, that was just, that was minor compared to some of the things that could happen. I tried to steal a pair of boots from this, from this dead dude. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I would have, maybe the boots would have paid for my hotel stay. I don't know. Um, I haven't actually picked up the game. I'm, I'm really bummed I didn't get the boots. I thought that, because it, it definitely told me I needed to be, um... Like, alone. We needed to be in private. And we're with this other dude who's very straight-laced. So we can't steal the boots in front of him. Um, I tried once, and I didn't want to push my luck, because that would have given him a negative impression of me for some reason. Um, so I didn't I didn't try again. And then it's like, okay, I'm going to load up the car. And that was it. That was that mission done. I was, I was pretty bummed by that. One of those fucking boots, man. Play hardcore mode. What's what's the difference with hardcore mo hardcore mode? I assume there's no reloads, right? So if you fail a, a critical check, <laughs> too too bad. <laughs> oh, but it was it was like that. That was just great, dude. That was just perfect. Alright, we can actually get into the shop without a key, thankfully. This is good. Should probably blow up my dude here as well. Sticky nickel for real? Oh, you are trying my luck today. Cool, great shot, man. Nicely done. Actually, I'll come back for the key. This this key here, it'll give us five keys. Um, it's just fine. Could play that. Let's do that after the, the boss fight. Is Outer Wilds best to play first with or without the DLC? Without. And the only reason I say without is because you can stumble into the DLC. I'm not going to tell you how or, or how to find it. No loss to, to have the DLC on? Mm, I disagree. I disagree. Play them separate. Um, like, I, I was lucky, right? I, I was lucky. I, I finished the main campaign before I even knew how to get to the DLC. Um, I watched a streamer last night or... This morning. Today. I, I watched a streamer play it for her first time. She was get, still getting used to the control. She didn't know how to land and she was crashing the planet. It was great. And, um, and a few times she almost stumbled into the DLC and I, I, I'm not going to say anything. There's no fucking way I would do that to someone. But, um, I was, I was pretty scared at that moment. I did not want that to happen for her. Um, but luckily, it, it well, it, it didn't didn't happen while I was watching, but it, it definitely could have. Um, yeah, definitely play them separate. And I'm I'm my my playthrough was kind of I was I had a really good time. There was a couple of moments that were a little bit ruined. Well, they were blatantly ruined for me. 
Um, but it didn't even affect my overall opinion of the game. Still the best game I've ever played, and I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not joking when I say that. It's, it was an experience, and it was an emotional journey, and I felt so invested playing that. Um, yeah. I even applied for a job at the, at the developer. They still haven't gotten back to me, but you know what? That's okay. It's the holidays. I'll give them a moment before I write them again. We, I had a conversation with somebody else last night, and one of my comments in chat was, I wish I could erase my memory of the game, right? So I could go back and play it again for the first time. And... Um, Somebody else said, another streamer, I think, they said that um, uh, that's why I watch other streamers was is so that you can get that sort of that experience vicariously through them. Um, and then they said that um, he felt like the they felt like the community was really respectful. And I said, I, I hard disagree. Like there'll be people that are respectful, but... Here, look. Here, look. I changed my backseating command specifically because of that game. And I, I never wanted to do that. I always wanted to encourage open conversation. Most... And when we're talking about roguelikes and, and Isaac and stuff, whatever, right? Like, I don't care. There's no real story. I, well, there is, but each run is not dependent on that story um that's that's now where we are because of because of my experiences with both that and final fantasy 7 remake yeah I'm, i will never yeah it's it's gonna take a lot now this guy's a dick I'll take a few hits, I don't care. Whatever, bud. Whatever. You you do you, fam. Get that angel room, bud. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm still going back for the keys, I think. Ah, oh, for real? What floor are we on? Caves one. We've got three floors until mom. It is flight. Oh man. Pretty sure you saw news articles discussing some of the most tragic deaths. So for someone that hasn't played Final Fantasy VII, that's a fucking travesty. For the, those that have, we've been through that trauma, right? Um, as as kids or whatever, and we've we've been through those moments in the game, and um, it's it's we know it's we know it's coming one way or another. We know we know what's coming, right? But yeah, that was that was ruined for me. Don't level up X not worth it. Blind in the title on the screen, people would still say stuff look. Oh, I didn't notice. I've I've seen you do that. Uh was it Alien Isolation that you had that on? Yeah, I I really enjoyed that playthrough. Oh well, I only I didn't watch it all cuz I as much well, maybe I won't play. I don't know. I'm torn here. I'm going to stick to it. We need the health more than anything else. Oh, no, no. I, I absolutely had played the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've finished Final Fantasy VII multiple times. Um, we're looking for two or three secret rooms and... 
What else can we do here? Uh, are there surprises in the remake? Yep. Sure are. I'm, I'm not going to say any more about it. Um, I, I, there was one segment that was really troublesome, but not for the reasons you may think. It's just, it's problematic in today's society, we'll just say. Um, they went far too graphic on some elements that did not need to be retold. It didn't add anything to the story or the enjoyment of the game. Some people love that segment. I didn't. I was fucking creeped out. And if you played it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um... Other than that, it was it was beautiful. Like I had I had fucking tears in my eyes in the first five minutes. And you hear some of the music. Um the the music like well, I don't know what the term is, but it's a like a marker within music that, that sort of um stirs a memory or you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say here exactly, but um, variations on a theme. No, it's like a specific segment in, and I'm talking about three notes of Eris theme. You know the dun dun dun. It's that. As soon as I heard that, I was like, I was, I was welling up already. Like, it was wild. Um, motif? Hmm, okay. I, I remember another word for, well, I don't obviously remember the word, but yeah. Um, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Alright, we got nine keys now. Am I gonna regret not Taking, yeah, I probably will. The Bible. It's fine. Fine. We're in a much better place now. Alright, so it can't be there. Which means I'm not really gonna go looking for it. I like watching, um... Oh, it's a... How do you pronounce that murder... Leet motif or le motif. Um, it's like a like a signature for a song, right? Do I want more money? Do I want more hearts? No, no, no. We're we're good. We don't need to do anything here. Uh, leap motifs in chat, please. Light motifs. Light motifs in chat, please. Means leading motive. Right, okay. Yep, so there you go. The main... Whatever. But it was that. It was that. Th those three notes. And as soon as it was... Ugh. Not to mention the work that they put into the remake. Uh, to hear actual conversations... Uh, as you're walking down the street, and it's like, oh, it would... yeah. Other than that one really fucked up moment, um, I really wanted to love, uh, love it because it was masterfully, be masterfully done. No. Or was that uploaded as a vod? Yeah. So if you zealousy, if you go to my. Second, do I have a YouTube command? Not on my stream deck. If you go to the second channel there, um, it's on PS4. Uh, it has sin since been updated for the PS5. Uh, and then you search for Final Fantasy. You'll, it'll. We played. We did play a bunch of Final Fantasy though. We got Final Fantasy 10, 12. Uh, the remake, 15, 
tiny bit. Um, and I tried to get 13 running. I couldn't get it running at a decent frame rate. Really? We're going to miss out on three rooms? Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's out on, on PC now. Right on. On Epic. Got it. Got it. Ow. That was unnecessary, bud. This will never get this guy... But if you, it's weird. This doesn't blow up him, right? He's perfectly centered. If I put a bomb right where he is, it won't explode those. So I think the explosion radius on barrels is slightly less than a bomb. What have we got over here? Perth row. Well, now. That's a thing. 12 story of the... Felt the weakest. Yeah, I, I wasn't too interested in that, but the combat system... Dude, because we had a 24-hour stream, when we were playing that, um, I'd just leave... I'd leave it running with... Uh, Auto Gambit set up to, to level. Classic Queeb. Oops. Yep. Now I should have taken the Bible. That's fine. Um, but that was, that was great. Like, 12's, 12's combat system, I think, is, is far, by far the best. The story's fucking boring as hell. I did enjoy the graphics, though. It's, um, it looks a hell of a lot different than 10. Um, and 10 was my favorite before I played 12. I still have a fond memory of 10, except for, uh, Chocobo Chase. That can fuck right off. What is it called? Chaser, Chaser Chocobo? I don't know. Whatever. The lightning bolts? See, I have a fond memory of that too. That wasn't so hard. We got that in... Um, oh! Oh! What a pickup. We got that in like two or three attempts. That was... That was um, yeah, but that, um, that, that one I... There's a, a very easy way to do it, and I did have to look that up, but I do remember that from back in the day. Uh, game FAQs is no longer a thing, since all websites want traffic now. I mean, I think game FAQs still exist, but it, it's nowhere near as popular. Kids these days wouldn't understand. No, 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 I don't, I don't think the website's gone, but if it, if it is gone, it's been absorbed into something like IGN or something like that, I betcha. Speed was my lowest, huh? Okay. Miss when FAQs were text files, <laughs> right? <laughs> Silver knows what's up. <laughs> uh, 
And it's funny, like, modern guides, they're... Like, I, I was talking about lining up for the midnight release of Dark Souls 2, and I think I pre-ordered the, um... Uh, the strategy guide for it is what well. beautiful book like I'm not questioning the book quality but some of the strats in it were just poorly written and like directions weren't very clear um, each Final Fantasy game has some weird shit in it like the the crystal realm in 12 was just stupid um, Like, I, I, it, there's no way an actual human brain could navigate that. That's not true if you take notes and... But it, it, it's, like, just... It's just trial and error, essentially. Oh, those coins, though. See, I liked 13 when it first came out. Hell, I played the shit out of 15 when it first came out. Um, going back to it now, it is just... The tone is all over the map. Like, you've got this really serious event. We're, we're going to see someone. War breaks out. And... You've got dudes in, in a car driving across country acting like dudes driving in a car traveling cross country it was just it was just so weird that was a great use of perthro by the way very good um i may go back and get I'll take this we'll go down here go in here use this then use this. The fool. Did I get in a Monster Hunter world? Um, I played the one on Wii U, whatever that's called. And I really wanted to like it because it was that same kind of RPG progression, especially like the leveling and, and you know, getting stronger. But the grind was unreal. And learning how the game works is unreal like that that was next level kind of shit oh that's good you have a game faq's account okay so question for everyone game game facts or game FAQs. FAQ. It's like three syllables, dude. Come on, man. It's, it's too much. Game facts? Okay. <laughs> wow, if that's the if that's the worst thing we have to disagree on, we're we're doing alright as a, as as a, a, a civilization, I think. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I wouldn't mind a better trinket, hey. Not worth 15 cents, though. Game frequently asked questions is what I call it. <laughs> Print out the guides in your school library using one of the dot matrix printers. With the sides you tear off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they call that paper? Uh, perforated. Oh, shit. I can't. I can't remember. I used to have one of those printers. printer that was worth like 800 bucks at the time. It was an Epson. The 
Let's take Queen of Hearts. Um, if we can. Mm, 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 mm. God, I sounded just like Phone Jacker just then. Anyone ever watch that? Phone Jacker? It's like a prank. TV show, prank phone call TV show from the UK. Ink is still considered a luxury item. Right, you buy a you buy a brand new top of the range print. Well, not top of the range, not like an art printer or anything, but for home use, um, let's just say a, a very high quality one. But the inks costs a third the cost of the, the printer and you have to buy them because they're consumable. Not a mistake, by the way. That was completely intentional. Well, no way to get that without flight. Wouldn't want it anyway. Heh. <laughs> if a guide on FAQ was terrible, You'd make a post about it on your Angel Fire <laughs> web page. <laughs> oh, thank you, folks. I needed this this trip down memory lane tonight. I think. <laughs> it's um, it's weird that you would use such advanced technology like Angel Fire when. Perfectly good and functional Geo Cities was still available. Pro, did you ever do a guide? I know you did a few video guides on YouTube for FTL, but did you do anything in like written as well? Poopy. Those are the best design websites. There was nothing wrong with GeoCities at all. It was, it was free, right? That's one of the reasons why it had the watermark and why it's so notorious. Um, it still needed someone that knew how to code to make one though. <laughs> hate on, hate on social media all you want, but my web design started back in MySpace days. Yeah, I, I used to code WordPress sites for, um, how would you say it? How would they say it? Domain... Domain Registrar... Whatever, they flipped websites. They bought domains. Um, and, and loaded them up with keyword heavy phrases and the very basics of SEO. And, uh, and then they'd sell them. That's, that's all they did after they generated traffic without having any content whatsoever. They did have a few um, big sites, kind of their big money earners. One of them was like Cash Advance or, ah, shit, I can't even remember. Was it Cash Advance? It was something of that nature, right? And um, it just felt icky. Um, I told the boss to go fuck himself. Probably one of the reasons I got fired. Jumper cables? Might have been the might have been the only reason I got fired. I actually liked the job too. I was very good at it. But we, we used WordPress as the, the back end because it was very easily managed after the fact. And it had plugins and all the rest, you know. Um Uh, and even to this day, well, right now, if I was to start a new website, I would probably just, I would probably just either Squarespace it or 
whatever. Just do something real basic. Um, because I don't want to deal with WordPress anymore. It can be a fucking nightmare and a security hazard if you're not up on how all that shit works. Um, yeah, I've, I've had many, many tech-related jobs in, in my time. Surprise, surprise, one of the reasons I want to get out of tech. Go get him, chub. Oh, I have the wafer. We could play... Well, let's see if we earn an angel room already here. If not, we might as well. Devil deal, you motherfucker. Well, now I can't, so... CPA trying to get more into tech, data, data analytics, and RPA. What's RPA stand for? The Outer Wild starter music really has some nostalgic feel to it. Uh, I don't know if you got the soundtrack included, but the soundtrack's also available on Spotify and Apple Music. You can listen to the whole thing there. Um, just something else to like about the game. Oh, I got five bombs. I'm not. I'm not bothered. Let's go. Right door is devil deal. What is left? Left door. Have a look. If it's still there, it is. Oh, that's uh, that's to go to alternate path mausoleum. Uh, that's a, a sacrifice door as well. It costs you health to go in there. Um, so if you're doing the mother path, that's where you get the knife piece and you take that all the way through. Then So it works like this. The first door costs you a key. The next door costs you two bombs. The next door costs you, I think, two health. Is it full hearts or, or half? I think it's two full hearts. Um, and then the fourth door is the, the door of meat, essentially. You use the knife you collect in the first couple of zones strike through quiet storm did I talk to you about taxes you, you seemed unsure on whether you'd be comfortable picking up a twitch streamer um, Ms. Quib and I do have an appointment with it's kind of a prelim appointment with um with Taffy's accountant on uh, in early January, um, and I, we just want to get caught up. We've we've been sitting on it for so long. I'm gonna get an LLC, do all that fucking shit because since this is kind of my only income at the moment, pretty important. Something I should have done years ago. Yeah, Taffy said that, like, he's expensive, but at the same time, saved him 10 grand somehow. Um, didn't give me specifics on that, and I didn't ask, but... Um, we, we just want someone that knows their stuff, essentially. We want to become compliant, because at the moment, uh, I don't feel comfortable. Oh, okay, cool item. The Vanishing Twin will spawn an extra boss during a boss fight. Um, at which will drop an extra item. It's risky, considering we don't really have a lot in the way of damage right now. Doing taxes for streamers would be a little bit different. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, 
it's any sort of entertainment related accountant would i think be suitable but twitch specifically like yes i have a i think 1099 with twitch um but then you've got you know tips and and merchandise and any sort of um one-off deals you do and then i've got to do stuff like oh i earned affiliate links through amazon so uh, or affiliate um payments from amazon but if it doesn't meet a certain threshold that's a thing and then we've got stuff like throne which is actual like you know people purchasing items off a wish list but that is income i think and it all has to be declared and i like i said when i say i want to be compliant i want to be fucking i don't want to have any doubts because i worry about the smallest shit and i don't want to worry about stuff anymore i'm sick of it Taffy or bear? Um, McLaffy Taffy, yes. Yeah. That's probably, that must be a nightmare for, for the both of them. <laughs> no, I, uh, I found McLaffy Taffy earlier, shit, only a few months ago. Through TikTok of all places, I found his, uh, it got, it got, presented to me and i'd heard the name for years but i'd never bothered checking him out because you know if, if i did that that's all i'd do all day is check out new streamers that i hear of um and uh i'm always i'm always looking for people to raid as well but i don't necessarily want to ask that because i don't want an influx of hey i'm i'm worthy of being raided and i'm sure you are but at the same time, like, I, I want personal recommendations from other people, if that makes sense. That, that really helps. Um, anyway, anyway. Um, it was his clip where he lost a streak thanks to mom's toenail, starting with one health. Something that I'd never even considered. And this was when I was first getting into streaks. Well, we were a little bit through it, but... Um, it's it's such a valuable lesson, right? As soon as you start a run, start moving, playing <laughs> just in case. <laughs> my eye, my eyes now go straight to uh, straight to the trinket that I'm holding. Super valuable. Anyway, um, I thought, you know what? This 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 cat looks all right. I said to myself, and uh, and I followed, and, and I'm super glad I did. Melfina, how are you? Great to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Saw your memes on Discord, by the way. Much appreciated. I might not respond, but I'm always looking at that channel. <laughs> I had to take the memes channel away. People were being dicks and, and posting pretty fucked up stuff in there. Um, do I want chaos? Well, too late now. To the moon. Yeah, to the moon. Why not? Temperance. Perfect. The moon. Yeah, I was very clear. The, the mods are keeping an eye on it. One mod in particular, Jermaze. Uh, best friend growing up. And uh, he's, he's keeping an eye on it as well. So... I, I trust that it's going to be taken care of. Okay. That is fast, all right. Could have taken the fucking Bible. I've barely used it since picking this up. Oh, I didn't need that either. Come on. Kind of nervous about moderating it. Discord is. 
take your time setting it up. I mean, don't even publish it until you're happy with it. This this thing that I've got running here is is a work in progress even now. Um, it is super complicated. And I don't mean to say that to scare you away. I just want you to be real careful. Set your permissions, set your expectations. Do this even. Have a, call it an emergency last resort red button situation email address, one that you have access to only. Don't use it for anything else. Um, lock that shit down, two-factor it using uh, an authenticator app. Give it admin privileges and only that account admin privileges that's how that's how you start your your discord right call it something else it doesn't matter who the who the owner of the site is then create your personal account the one you'll be using and give it moderator privileges maybe extend the moderator privileges just a little bit because discord is also notorious for a not helping people when they get into shitty situations and B, being really fucking retroactive when it comes to security. There's been a, a wave of people that, that have had their Discord um, uh, accounts taken over and entire channels deleted, people getting scammed left, right, and center. Like, be, be super careful. I didn't do that, but um, yeah, it's it's definitely a wise idea. And that's, that's the best way to to lock it down so that even you as a moderator you could even have super moderator that can add moderators right and you're the only person that can do it or you and another person can do it um but like when it comes to deleting channels and transferring ownership and stuff mm -mm. no lock that shit down so hard How to set up a prod account. <laughs> Worked in IT? Yes, I did, yeah. Not internet security, so to speak, but I've seen enough in my in my times. Um, and then yeah, it's all about permissions and, and access levels after that. I got eight bombs now. All right. Subs to be able to use emotes and everyone have a place for live notifications. Mm -hmm. I've got that. You can even have it. So I've got a specific one. I use a bot that notifies people, but only the people. So. You don't want to annoy people with your channel either. Um, it's personal taste. Uh, I would just recommend being very cautious of that because people will just mute the entire channel. Um, I, I do that for 99% of the discords I visit anyway. Um, but I have a, a bot that sends out a notification to a specific... What do you, what do you call the groups? Um... A role yeah 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 so they can belong to a specific like subcategory of user on there and um it, it works really well that way even if you mute the channel you can still get notified if you want Nice. 
Perfect. No damage taken at all. Great. It will only add that roll. So you have to set up... How do I have it set up? Um, if you go to... Do I have my Discord button? I do. Mm, yeah, if you look in, in that link, that should take you to the Start Here page. And if you look at the very bottom, it says click the React button down below. It's a little, like, speaker. Um, that then only notifies people that... Um, that want to be notified. So it's kind of an opt-in. It's a cool system. I like it. You can do that for a bunch of stuff as well. Queen of Hearts. We'll keep that. I don't. I doubt we'll need it, but we'll keep it. Um, mapping would be pretty dope. We have Black Candle. We don't. You still get XL floors if you have Black Candle. How interesting. Anyway, we should get... Uh, one of them's going to be... Mom's Heart. So we'll only get... We'll get one double boss fight here, I think. That's fine. Good, actually. Okay. There's our damage. Just a little damage. Oh, that tier rate. Mm. You just got notified. Thanks, Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure why that delay occurs. You can get some interesting um, analytics on the notifications that go out. It's like, oh, like, you know, 3% of people came from your notification. And then you can try out different notifications that you want to you wanna test. I, it's been this trend, apparently, where people say... Um, oh, McQueeb mentioned you in a comment. That's, that's the notification message that goes out. Or you've just been granted a, a tier two sub from McQueeb. Like, click here to... Like, what the fuck? All that says is that you don't respect your viewers. I would never give any of you fucks fucking subs. That's not true. I do, but... You know what I mean. Um, people do it on, on TikTok now as well. Kind of, well, similar. Um, there's a, uh, you can add text to the screen. And whenever you're friends with someone like mutual, like you follow them and they follow you, um, it says your friend down the bottom. People have been adding text to their pictures to say your friend now in hopes that you'd watch longer, I guess, because watch time matters. There's some shady shit, dude. People will try anything. And I will I will say once again, just fucking be yourself, produce good content. It is rocket science though, so. Some people get it, some people don't. Is there A B testing on Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. I like that. We're going to re-roll that one. No. Twitch Twitch is um, desperately trying to catch up to, to 
re-earn a lot of the good um, publicity or, or earn good publicity just to get back in line. Like while they are the number one place for streamers to come and all the all the rest. Um, that might not be the case in the future, right? I kind of want to get that tier rate up, and I can do that with our secret rooms. Five bombs is a problem, though. Okay. Keep going for now. Chubby, no! Oh, where you going? Got him. Yeah, next floor would be better. Certainly didn't mean to do that. Idiot. Found rock bottom before taking poly. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> oh no! Ah, uh, the doubters have it. That's a failed run. Fuck. Well, we stay on zero for that one. That fucking sucks. Idiot. I don't count it. I still I still chose wrong. So the the doubters got it because it's a failed run. Ah oh, damn it. Kind of hesitant to fucking do another prediction now. No, it's gotta be it's gotta be a uh, a tier two win. Up, light, down, or bad. Well, one's going to shell, and the other's going to um. The other's going to, uh, did I, what did I do? Did I, see if you can get an R key or, yeah, I mean, yeah, facts. I should have probably tried that. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I fucking, I failed that one. I'll do another one. Give you a chance to earn some points back. Oh, I'm so annoyed. McQueeb did that on purpose! It, it wasn't a soft luck. We, I could have completed the run. Um, and I 
probably should have tried to go for an R key or or as Melfina suggested, it didn't even occur to me at the time. Um, or uh, the the delirium portal. That would have been an easy win too. What happened? I took the wrong portal. Is there is there a mod that disables the portal? That'd be cool. <laughs> First time that's happened, by the way. I hadn't made that mistake until just then. Oh, I was so I was so caught up in chat, I guess. Not that I would ever blame you for my mistake. But it's your fault. Another poll? Well, yeah, we're doing... I'm doing a new run. Like I said, I'll, I'll give you a chance to, to win your, your points back. In that moment... Okay, and you're right. I, in that moment, I probably should have... No, no. I killed it. I killed the run. So it's technically a loss. Hey, I'm I'm still learning, all right? Yeah, I don't think there's a fix for starting a new level. Um What was the other thing? Or the other hypothetical situation that I proposed? Um Wow, can we get rock bottom here, please? Be nice. Sack room can get you Mega Satan as well. Sack room, yeah, that's another option. Sack room could have taken us. No, no, we could have gone to the dark room. We don't need Mega Satan. We we only needed to beat the Lamb again, which would have been very easy with that build. Shit, wouldn't even been that big of a sacrifice on health. I fucked up. Can I have a bomb, please? Or... No? No, no bomb? Okay. It is only a chance to go there, right? It's an interesting item. sun for the next floor and I'll use strength on the boss here just because it gives us flight and I don't have any red hearts although I'd probably trade them for a bony Jacob's ladder start is always delightful. One luck, one soul heart, and a health. Shit, now I'm gonna... Idiot. Should've done that after. Oh well. Oh no, that was... That was strength. I wonder if I could've turned my strength into a bony that would've kept. Huh. Oh, that would've been fun to find out. Anyway. Feel like you've been here before? Well, considering that's not the first thing you've said in the channel. 
Don't make me look. I'm gonna look. Thirty-one messages before. Funnily enough, the la the very your very first message here was seems like I've been here before. Maybe that's your thing. Yeah, you're good for now. We've got XPL that comes in every day and just says, Hello. Craig <laughs> cracks me up every time. I don't know why. <laughs> Wait, no, I, I didn't put the right inflection on it. It's definitely a hello because uh, there's an exclamation mark. the darkness not a huge deal deja vu just been in this place before higher on the street you know my time to go calling you. Is that a song? Um, I I don't like the feeling of deja vu. I don't like it at all. It's it's not even. It's not just the feeling that you've heard something, seen something, been someplace, smelt something before. It's almost a memory, and I say almost a memory because there's still the slightest bit of doubt attached and confusion to boot um so i don't i don't like it bad bad juju long schlong mcdong I was in uh, Bananasaurus Rex chat today. He was playing a new game that is probably a definite note from me. Um, game looks amazing, but it's a very difficult um, platformer. And somebody, he, he gave me a, a said hello. Um, and then somebody said, McWeeb it was very clever. I didn't feel like upsetting that person by saying, um, yeah, no, people call me that all the time. Sorry, bud. I should mix it up and and use uh, periods in that, so it's like MC Weeb. So magic pickle. So magic pickle, how you doing? Am I actually a weeb? Fuck no. No, my my two favorite animes are Ninja Scroll, the movie, and Ghost in the Shell, uh, the original movie. I am an embarrassment to the, the weeb community as far as I'm aware. Do I like glowing hourglass? Love it. It's an amazing item. Um, if it wasn't a good item in the item room, I could have gone out of there and had an extra 20% uh, planetarium chance on the next floor. You can do a bunch of shit with, uh, with glowing hourglass. Yeah, it's very, it's very good.
You can take uh, a bunch of pills and experiment with those. To a degree. You've got to be a little bit careful because you get one teleport pill and you've fucked it already. But yes, it is very, very good. You get hit during a uh, boss fight and you have your your red health is exposed and gets damaged. Undo that shit, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's as though it never happened. Eden streak is three right now. You're scared to fight mother. Don't go to mother. Every single run I've done has gone straight to blue baby. Well, tried to. But you, you make the rules when it comes to Eden streaks. There's no, you know, I shouldn't be running mods, but I do. Even though they're all cosmetic. Or uh, informational. Um, I shouldn't be doing that, you know? But I think, I, I don't know if you were here yesterday, but we raided Comment Bagel, another prolific. Prolific? Yeah, it's the right word. Works. Uh, Isaac Streamer, and she said last night that, because somebody else asked this a similar question, like, what's the world record? And that's a topic for discussion because it depends who you talk to, it depends what version of the game they were running. Um, yeah, there's, there's no, there's no hard and fast rule for that. Not enough cats. Ah, ah damn. Tainted loss sounds like hell though. You miss Alt F4? The, the game? Alt, the Alt F4? The meme game? Or the button combination? Alt F4. Press Alt F4 to get the best item in the game. If you miss it, go fucking... Go play it! Isn't it real cheap too? Like a couple of bucks? Damn it, they keep giving me good items. I'm not going to say no. Oh, you like watching me. I've played that once. I'm not known for Alt F4. I'm not even known for meme games, but I, I appreciate the watch. <laughs> Didn't it get an update? I think it did. Um, I think I saw either Northern Lion. Is it Northern Lion? I think I saw NL playing it again recently and um, it looked completely different like new maps and stuff oh another thing that this is really good for the glowing hourglass um, testing to see when uh, a beggar or a machine will pay out. Um, prime example is the claw machine. If you don't like what it drops, um, and you've spent, you know, 50 cents finding that out, reset the room. Because the that never changes the order in which... Um, you know, how much it costs to pay out and, and the items that come out, they're always the same. That's perfect. Sure. Sure. Uh... Legit both very good. Gotta go with the star here, I think. Because at the end of, like, from the womb onwards, it's godlike. It is so fucking good. And we will be wrecking with it as well. So we can just go from room to room very easily. Comment bagel. Yeah. Uh, or Cobalt Streak. 
Cobalt Streak is uh, his entire career is built around this game, and he's done a, an amazing job. He's such a such a delight to watch. Um, and the other person I would recommend as well is uh, a Mr. Dan Sci-Fly Sucks Geesling. I want that key. Thank you. Why did they nerf Sci-Fly? Because it was overpowered as shit. Even... I'm sorry. No, I'm going to take that back. It's barely a nerf. Barely a nerf. It's still fucking... It's top tier. They hardly touched the item. Do I want to go to the store? Lots of similarities to the Venom logo. <laughs> <laughs> Cobalt's bad, not even 20,000 hours. <laughs> I wonder what his... He, he must have his hour count up there, right? Shit, even, like, Lethal Frag has... I want to say 7,000? I, I, he mentioned it recently. That's across all, all the games, but still. 10k plus? I, that wouldn't surprise me at all. How often do you see the Sci-Fly sci in a game? Once every five runs or so, I'd say. Thirteen cents, two bombs, huh? Alright, we'll go to the shop. Cool shop, bruh. Cool shop. We can get four plays on the spike machine, which gives us what's what's one, two, three, four. One is a coin, two is a coin, three is a solely four is a chest. I have that right? Not worth. He has a lot of fun with Isaac as well. I saw someone giving him some shit because he didn't have a... Uh, um, he, he didn't bother playing through all of the content. I don't blame him at all. He downloaded a, a, a full save file. Um, that's the smart play. Like, I wouldn't wish unlocking everything on anyone. You want a small white beard logo on the side of the hat like Hermes wings. Hermes or Hermes? Hermes is the brand, you idiot. Um, Hermes, yeah, right. I could do that, actually. So you mean remove the rest, but keep the, the beard feature? Uh... Could do it.
Unlocking everything sounds incredibly daunting. Hey, Jade, by the way. Yeah, no, it's stupid. Um, it's it's a it's a terror bad way to go about it. A lot of creators are doing second file unlocks. Um, I think Mofina, you're doing that as well, right? Comment Bagel's doing it. Um, Cobalt's doing it. He's doing it with a twist, I think, with no deaths. <laughs> um. You still don't have your first. Okay, fair. Um, but that's that's a hell of an, an undertaking. Like, that's, yeah, that's silly. By the way, see how I have half a heart in my bony? Even though this takes a full heart, it's considered a different heart type. So that... It only uses whatever's in there. You can use that to your advantage. You have tons of half hearts or full hearts on the floor. You don't have to lose any health at all if you have a bony. Just a, just a little FYI from me to you. Supposedly you get some new f form of all three save files. So three times dead god gives you like this infinity symbol i don't know what else that changes other than just that one page um it's just the art yeah okay so nothing oh you're right we had the two cent heart in here and we've got that too does that yeah The pretty face on Isaac. It's beautiful. Ah. Yep, number four random chest. And then I'll leave, I think. It's not bad, though. Just buy the heart on my way out. Maybe re-roll the shop as well? Nah. Knowing my luck, it'll be an item that I really, really want, but I can't afford. I've got four bombs now as well, so I should probably try looking for a super secret. This run's looking fine. The last one was a fucking fail because I'm an idiot. I went the wrong way. I won't talk about it. Hearts? Ay, come on. How deep do I want to go here? Wish I'd have found this room first, actually. Nah. Eh. Nah. Don't be dumb. I gotta... I gotta... The other day, what was I up to? 20-something? And then, then we had that run where I couldn't see my health. Yeah, I remember. It was fun. It looks special. Got to strive for that. <laughs> you used to be able to copy one part of your save file to somewhere else, right? Um... Come on, bud. Just waiting on you. Oh, I could redo that, actually. Mm. 
Yeah, you used to be able to copy one of your save files to another slot, thereby essentially giving yourself exactly what you need. Um, and, and you could do that. But then they introduced... What was the first one to give you a full image for three, three save file completions? Platinum God was the first one. I'm trying to think if I actually had that back in the day. Nice. Oh, good. Curse of the... Yep, okay. Curse of the Blind. Fuck. Okay. We're not going into the secret room then. Item room I'll take. Could still be very bad. Not great. Have I played the game The Finger is a reference to? No, I don't think so. Is it called the finger? It's a, it's a, Edmund made it, right? Because I know, I know of it, but I don't think I've played it. Amazing, thank you very much. I will take that. That's another thing bonies are really good for. Ugh. Um, you can get into... Here, while having two hits instead of just one. Or three. Oh, two. Donkey Jim, what's up? Oh, it's called Fingered. Okay. No, I have not. Uh... Oh, Nightmare Room. Just. Just. Oh, so close. Got it. Key and a bomb. Two keys and a bomb. Mm -hmm. Perfect. If I can fully... If I can fill this, I might... Uh... Let's have a look at the previous rooms here. Yeah, that's looking good for a secret, huh? ready to use my my uh, hourglass there. Ah, see, now this is probably a really bad idea. It wasn't. It was good, but it could have been bad. If we weren't on zero, I would have not taken that. Curse rooms are generally speaking a no-no <laughs> when it comes to uh, 
chest of the blind. What item would be bad? Um, oh god, curse room, you could have um, nine lives, you could have, which if you have a lot of red health would be bad. Generally speaking, it's not a bad item. Um, hourglass is great. Oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. You're spot on. Um, uh, uh, um, curse, uh, uh, cursed eye. It could be, um, curse of the tower. Just, just everything curse. Here's a question. If I kill that guy and I hourglass, I need to actually do quick research here. Can we turn that into a regular shop now? I think I can. Blue hourglass. Isaac. Glowing hourglass. got a lot of uses. Doesn't say anything about shops though. Wait for it. If there's a little battery in a shop, the glowing hourglass can be used infinitely. By entering the shop without a charge and using a little battery to recharge and then exit the shop. This is useful for duplicating temporary familiars or filling up the donation machine, among other uses. Okay. That's insane. Gotta go, but I'm awesome and don't let anyone tell me otherwise. Oh, believe me, I wouldn't. Um, appreciate the comment. Thanks for staying. Um... Uh, it's too late now, isn't it? Yeah. I don't quite understand that last strategy there. It seemed rather odd. One bomb, five keys, 24 cents. Half heart. One bomb, two keys. Hey, if it's shit, don't worry about it. Pretty good. Next floor, though. type of game is is fingered to the platformer Guess who's guilty and you point your finger at them. Oh, okay. 
Oh, kind of like, um, guess who? It's, yeah, okay. You had guess who in the States, right? I'm sure you did. That's a dumb question. One bomb there gets us both. Unlikely, I think. Oh yeah, no, no, they would. Why are we following the star? Because it gives all my shots homing. Um, it almost doubles my tier rate and strength. And it shows me the most direct course to the boss. Um, normally I wouldn't do this, but it's a very um, quick way of clearing a floor. And it'll become even more important on the next couple of levels. Now, ordinarily I wouldn't do the boss straight away. But um, this is only Necropolis 1. Next floor I probably won't do it. I'll clear up to the boss. But when you don't have a lot of health, um, it's exceptional at allowing you to maintain that. Oh yeah, and it can go through a secret room. Good call. Like, that's two very tanky enemies. Dead. Love it. No angel room, that's okay. Uh, we did get our second... Um... Wow, two in a row. I'm lucky today. I will try this fight again. Let's give it another shot, huh? Same enemy. Slightly different room. Okay. Well, that answers that question. Oh, you rarely get two of the bony, uh, I don't even know what that enemy's called, but you rarely get two of them. Okay. We have one more chance at a planetarium. Jacob's Ladder is, I would say, top 10 for me. Already worth it. So good. See, I'm not being very accurate right now, but it, it it Jacob's ladder just makes it so that even if you miss, there's a chance you're gonna hit something. Stupid. I mean, Polly helps, obviously.
Um, oh, I missed the item room. No, I didn't. Bean, got it. Remember. does offer better rewards and more chests is always a good thing else did I watch today when I was half asleep? Um, Pestily. I watched I watched quite a quite a lot of Pestily. He was doing he was watching some Russian dude. I think it's the creator or, or, or owner of the company that makes uh Tarkov. And then um, he did a few raids after that. Um, he's such a good guy. Very fucking good at that game, too. Wait, where was the... in here? Yeah. So much flipping money, man. Do I want a health up? Oh, there's another couple of half hearts up there. Did anyone else lose audio? Um, I'm, I'm. When people say stuff like that, I get super paranoid. Like I start checking settings um, and and whatever else. I always recommend before saying that out loud. Um, restart the stream or in this case headphones because uh, I, I freak out when I see shit like that. Do we want to try for a secret room? Just all the money? Just all the money. My good. PTSD of being muted for two hours when you first started streaming. Dude. Yeah, say, say less. Like, I, I've seen it time and time again. It's happened to me. I... Well, you, you, I, it even happens now. Like, not necessarily two hours. And I do appreciate the feedback, but... Um, it's, it's panic-inducing, that's for sure. No, 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 you're, you're good, Sir Q. It's, it's, when I say stuff like that, I'm not, I'm not singling you out. Um, and, and like I said, it's still, it's still informational, right? Whether I want to hear it or not, but sometimes it's, nine times out of ten, it's just the person needs to refresh. How much of a search do I want to do here, I wonder? Golden bomb time creep. 
special time. Good point. Like a D20 would be pretty dope right about now. No, I, I would still say that, um, you know, even even though me personally, I, I sort of uh, freak out. And, and it, another reason I freak out a lot is because of um, the problems I've had. Touch wood, uh, we've only had two internet outages um, during this event, which is pretty fucking record setting on my behalf. We haven't lost power yet. I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Um, is the greed room with the coins in the corner on this floor? Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. Um, I'm go uh, all I'm going to do is explode the rocks, though. I don't really care about the coins since we're full at the moment. Does Twitch do that for everyone? Like, if internet hangs for a moment, it continues to stream. Oh, with the the face, with the blue screen? It does that because I have a setting set. Check that out, Cat Template. Um, because it's kind of handy to have. It gives you 90 seconds of... Um, I guess disconnect protection. You're still going to lose viewers, happens every time, um, but it's better than the alternative where you have to restart the stream. Nice room. it in the big room down here we got one two okay maybe not use it here in that case it's better off down below we get three red rooms down here soul of Cain. wasn't that one Isn't the other peels balls of steel? Uh, I don't know. I'll go back and check. Found it. Was lucky. That's our ultra secret room right there. in it. Okay, well. Okay. the times when not having a shop would have been useful. 
Uh, where was the yellow pill, by the way? Because we will 100% take it. some bombs though uh, might as well be the key I suppose hmm. wait why do we even not get that ah the hanged man Have I ever done a max score run? In this game? No. No, the fact that it's ticking down, um, it rules that out for me. It's puberty, which is fine. Not that one. Nope. No, it was not. No, I do enjoy watching Spelunky score runs. Um, if I have eight hours to kill. Okay, moving on. Oh, you lose score for taking items. Yeah, see that? That's like a weird mix of... Um, that's a lot of flies. That's a really weird mix of having to go fast, but not being able to search enough. Or even have the killing potential that you might otherwise need, right? Them bombs, please. What was in the item room? It wasn't open. That was black bean. And I did that so that we have an extra 20% chance of a planetarium on this floor. That's the beautiful thing about uh, blowing hourglass. What's this at max speed? Oh no, it's speed down. Right, right, right. But you increase. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. That's okay. No props. No props. First impression of the beast ending. I can't remember where I saw that ending first. I don't think it was on, like, it's not something that I did myself um, until much, much later. I guess I, I, I don't know, first impression, I didn't really, I didn't have enough information to go on. Um, but watching it, it was an impressive fight. I, I like the fight, it's one of the best in the game. Um, and I'm not talking just about the beast, but like from Dogma onwards, I think that's uh, spectacularly done. Oh, okay, well.
I think that's... I think that's worth, yeah. You cried at the cutscene? The... The okay... The okay daddy from the... From Isaac is like... Yeah, well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Let's get more flies, and especially, why don't we get... Ah, oh, good. Well, we're guaranteed a shop at the very least, huh? Might as well do a full, full clear here. enough of a lead up I guess still gives me plenty of time to do the main damage another boss challenge room big sad I think I've already taken out my donation machine, huh? Yeah, pretty sure I did. However, what we could do... Okay. If we get close to max speed, we can get Taurus to pay out a lot sooner. Dude, for real? Come on. the box no fucking way mm -mm. give me that ace of spades secret room which we've already found ace of clubs possibly beneficial i bet you could have filled it Famous last words, my friend. That's a run ender if you can't. There's plenty of money on the floor. Oh, yeah. What this? Okay. Okay. Didn't I ever? Oh, a horrible run that was.
Come on. Come on. Stop being rude. Game, please. For real? For realsies. Let me see what that was. the hell okay death I think I saw it fine pleasies see that's that's what you're supposed to say isn't far off here. Nothing like a golden key to make you make your day. gets used once for 15 cents. Well, sure. Ace of clubs, ace of spades, I would like. Um, do we have Guppy's tail? We do. Okay. Oh, I'm going to use it. I can use it in here. Go back for our. Oh, we've still got a couple of rooms to do. Okay. That's max speed. Nice. Every room we walk into will be invincible now for a little bit. It's a reverse devil. I can't remember what it does. Take this with and be on our way. One third conjoined. Okay, fine. So now, especially on this floor, we're going to be just following. Oh, Excel floor, even better. Oh, no. Okay, so we have to... Mm. Right, that's one problem with Taurus. Just the Bible effect? Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, not a, not a big miss. That daddy snake. <laughs> Thank you very much. For your subscription, my friends, you're in the right place. Yeah, we just follow this straight to the exit and we win. Fun with a big chunky pill. Rain's down. <clears throat> That's not too bad. Ow. Twisted pear is just exceptional. I don't know if I should. No, I can.
I don't need spoopy. deeper there. Go up this time. Never take Taurus? That's understandable. It's not the most amazing item in the world, for sure. I think it's based on your damage though. So from that point of view for us, with this run, it's not too bad. Ah, uh, this room fucking sucks. I, I've had a Taurus. Lost run, I think, and it was quite, it was quite good. You see the Lost obtained it. Yeah, I think it was just regular Lost, but it was really good. Just realize we don't necessarily need the sun except for health, so all is good in the world. Thanks to this freaking item. What a great item, by the way. I'll um I'll wait for you to catch up, yeah? Kind of out there. Yeah, it should be good. <laughs> nice. I think it's based on our damage. Yeah, so not shooting in this room is a pain. Just breaks invulnerability. Uh, it gives you invulnerability. So you do contact damage. And I think the contact damage scales with your damage. But uh, you cannot shoot while it's active. Which can be, can be a pain for sure. But it's definitely, it's doing all right. If we undo that, right, that goes back as well. I was curious.
Oh, I wonder if Dead Tooth activates when we're not technically shooting. Let's find that out. It's good science. It does not. Whoops. Oh boy. Ah, the butt knife as well, right, of course. Nice! There you go, look. Look at that, we didn't end on a zero tonight. Very happy. Prediction completed. Ah... Uh, Good old FTL. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly set up for the game of the night, which is Manifold Garden. Quite excited by this one. Thank you again, Ms. Queeb, if you're listening. Studio mode. Gameplay. Let's run it. Probably got to set it up first real quick. Hey, Ordinary. How you doing? You're just in time for the, for the game of the day. Fuck, that's impressive to look at. Settings. Gameplay, show reticle on, gravity change motion, S-curve, toggle run, on, off, toggle run is off, that's fine for now, vibration, okay, so controller game, maybe, video, field of view, 88, quality preset, shadow quality, allow high DPI, you know what, let's max this shit for now and we'll see what's up. Eight times MSAA. Oh, yes, it'll go well. Manifold Garden. Slower in the middle. I'm trying to think, because I've used S-curves in, like, editing and stuff, talking about audio. Nice. Anyone know what he has in the tank? Um, this is Murphy. It's my son. sleeping. Give me one sec. I'm going to run an ad real quick. I'll be right back. Going to get another drink, run to the restroom and uh, yeah, it won't be long.
Um, Elemental Silver. Dude, eight months. Thank you so much. Uh, tier 3 sub. Like... You make a guy feel special. Thank you, dude. Um, and uh, Monkey Lawn Gnome. You raided. It did not tell me you raided. Sometimes Twitch fucks up. I've seen that break before. It's broke. It's broken when I've done it myself as well. Um, sometimes it just doesn't. It, it just doesn't tick over. Silver, thank you, dude. I appreciate you, man. Uh, you get the golden wings now as well. Good morning, Frogler. How you doing? I think you can disable those if you like. You don't need to have them on. If you if you prefer not to have them, that's cool. Yeah, Twitch can be weird. The fact that you ended stream though, and it's it like did that other thing, I don't know. That I couldn't comment on. Alright, switch on over, huh? That's weird. Minimalist game. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very, um... Choose a safe slot. This one looks good. Is there anyone in chat that would choose a different... Epilepsy warning, nice. Uh, a different slot if it's their first time through? Or does everyone go for number one? A few things are weird. Switch from slobs to OBS. Okay, yeah. It shouldn't have any impact on what just happened, but... Sometimes you, you do three to feel spicy. Okay, fair. Whoa, that's sensitive. All right, hang on. How does, how does 16 sound? Oh, okay. 14 then. Better. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> That's very, like, it's graphically impressive, no? It looks beautiful. Is there any audio? I'm hearing a few, like, bleeps and bloops, but nothing else. Um. Oh, what'd I do? Uh, hello? Okay, crash the game. That was weird. I don't remember what I just clicked on. Part of the experience. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. settings let's round it up to 15 it's a round number in my mind it's okay and settings audio no everything's there i'll bump it a bit on my end as well so i want you i want you get you guys to to feel what i am feeling can wall walk yes apparently I can all right mm. 
imagine living like up there like the elevator ride i don't even want to talk about it no forget that you don't get elevators fuck you you're walking shift oh shift is just sprint okay no problem Okay, looks like we've got a red. Is that a push block? Is that no? It's not. It's different. Oh, it's not. It's sorry. It's it's not the button. Maybe it's the button. The green's our only thing at the moment. We go through here. No, it is different. Okay. Introducing us to a new element. All right, easy enough. Head felt funny. So the only thing I know about this is, well, I didn't know it looked this good. I knew it looked good. I didn't realize it was this good. Um, But that it's it's a bit of a mind fuck. Okay. So these are I can't jump, can I? Let's try. I'm going to go there, here first. Come down here. Uh, I want to go this way. So it's much easier to take, uh, can I f flip twice and fall? Shit, I don't even know if there's fall damage. Maybe we don't want to do that yet. Yeah, it's easier to take stuff down. Hey. Don't jump on the, on the window, Queeb. The arrow points in the direction of gravity. Oh, really? Maybe. Maybe we'll find that out. That's where we... That's where we came... Shit, I don't even know now. Nope, that's where we're going. Oh my god. Gorgeous game! it from there no I cannot all right yep you are spot on so we gotta grab it gotta So you can't pick it up unless it's actually stuck to the ground. Okay, well we know what to do. Don't get crushed by it, hopefully. There you go. Uh... 
Some kind of digital tree? Why is this breaking your mind? I think it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Um, I think I can get... I'll try. Oh no, this... Oh wait! Of course I can. I just flip the shit. Alright. Oh, Doesn't look like there's any more... ...of the blocks here though. Hmm, okay. Well for now, let's just take... One. There's another thing over there. Uh, we're about to test whether or not there's fall damage in the game. Oh, it's yeah, it is a it is a mind bendy one for sure. Um actually Crow, uh do you mind if I Do you mind if I sword you? Would that be okay? Actually same goes for elemental. Just just delete any comments that sorta of Uh, elemental, if that's okay with you as well. I don't want to do it without your permission, obviously. No sweat, no sweat. No, no, no. It's totally fine. And I'm, I like to give people a chance. I just don't want to see stuff accidentally. I'm usually pretty quick on reading chat but um have a feeling this game will require a little bit more concentration so here's the deal right but <laughs> yeah there's no there's no getting on the on the roof here <laughs> i can't go that way okay all right we're we're moving on we're moving probably downwards, I'd say. Oh fuck! <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna give me that feeling. You ever you ever go for a drive, sitting in the back seat, and your parents or whatever is driving, and they go over a hill, and you get that that slight that slight gravity shift, and you feel it in your gut. Right. Oh, <laughs> the like the tingles. You know, you know what I'm talking about. It's repeating too. So zero fall damage, which is good. 
Let's do a quick investigation of the stairs. I don't think there's going to be anything here. No, we'll worry about that later if, if we need it. Music's, okay, music's getting intense now. It's peach trees. Mama's at the very top. God, it's a fucking gorgeous game. Okay, so here's where we're, I'm guessing, where we learn that it is a repeating cycle. Hey Dutch, how you doing? The Matrix Fields vibes? Ugh, yeah. P.S. If you haven't watched it and you have HBO uh, is Max or Go, whatever the fuck the product is, um, give it a shot. I like the new Matrix movie. I thought it was very good. Some people online are complaining about it. Don't listen to them. It's very good. It'll take me a while to get over there. Oh, fucking hell. Whew. Yeah, it's in cinemas, but uh, I, would, I would recommend watching at home so you don't have to, one, pay for a ticket, and two, <laughs> go out in public right now. This is repeated too in a different way though. We got a blob of some description, some kind of space dimension thing and the it's glitching out the, the blocks as well. They're moving. What the fuck was that? No, 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 no. Please don't add a creepy element to this. Ugh. Nope, they're different colors, maybe. So it looks like we've got maybe four puzzle spaces that we need to figure out to get to whatever. Green number one. Uh, all right. That's not the floor. Now this is the floor. Okay, so we need a green... Green button. Okay. I guess yellow is first. I actually have a button over here. There's a green, a green button that goes to uh, to a door. Right. So it this yellow was first. Got it. Wait for it. This takes us over to the other. Oh, I'm getting real dizzy, folks. <laughs> So this is probably a repeat of the same quest, the same uh, puzzle we had before. 
only now done in segments. So we'll have to take this gravity cube. Uh, only one. But we can return it to this place if we need to later. Leave that there for now. Let's see if we can get the yellow cube. See which way the yellow cube is facing. If there is one on this tree, there is. Ah, shit. Right. And once it's down, we can't move it at all, right? No. Stairs? So it's got to go over there, which means we need... I think I got it. Um... Oh yeah, we can we can do it. We can do it. I just gotta maybe get my angle a little bit better. Okay. yellow or one puzzle done gotta be honest not what I was expecting hey spectator No, there's no way I could... Mm -mm. There's no way I could bring something from where it was. Gravity would take over. We need to change um, perspectives too many times. Is it an MC Escher game? Heavily inspired by the, the works of, I would say. Absolutely stunning, though. Love it. Wait, that's red. Oh, that's okay. It just looked purple from where I was before. Hey Zoe, you want to sit down? 
Can you sit down? Doing good? Look at this thing. Say hello to chat. Good doggo. No, don't lick hand. That's gross. That's gross. Ah! <laughs> All right, settle down. No jumping. Hey, 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 hey. Relax. Relax. But you tasty. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah! Stop it. Zoe. You're okay. All right, so going up the stairs. Oh, Zoe's going to investigate what's going on with with brother now. I'll tell you what's going on with brother. He's getting in trouble. It's drip feeding information to us, which I like a lot. Um, the same deal here. One red, one green. The so green's going to be facing to the right. Red is going to be facing straight down. Red's easy, but we use a red to get the green in place first. Just jump a bit, Queeb. Two reds? Two reds. Uh, it's a little bit awkward, but should be fine. Okay, half, and then, ah shit, which was which? I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> jump is a DLC, right? I mean, the ability to jump would kind of counteract a lot of what's going on here. <laughs> okay. That's two laser beams. The green one we're still going to have trouble with, I think. Thank you, Talat Jamal. Very kind. <gasps> Miss Queep. I don't know. 
If I if I could smell the air. Does it smell like it? It's some somewhere like twenty million BC, around about that, of, of the somewhat chicken variety when they you know. Well, I mean dinosaurs. You made me. You made me. Um, I made you chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggies. Well, dinosaur nuggets. Dino chicken nuggies. Um, now I feel bad for stealing some of your, um, um, Go on. Say it. your, your word is, word is original. Look at that. Look at that. You've never felt bad for stealing a thing in your life. Dino nugs. Yeah. You know what's up. Thank you, babe. I got, uh, T-Rexes and Stegosaurus. Monkey. Thank you, dude. Um, Jamal, thank you so much for staying. It is a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for being awesome and for uh, showing the love. And now we have now we have two things to celebrate. You're having leftover pizza. I fucking love leftover pizza too. I I love. I I, I don't know. I'm. Um, we have we have something in the Queeb household called Trash Night. We haven't done it in a while, but it's where essentially this style of food, whether it's Dino Nuggies or frozen pot stickers or or pizza or whatever, and we'll just we'll do it all. We'll just put them all on. We'll have gourmet selection. It's amazing. Okay, so we gotta do this one in a few steps as well. Okay, that wasn't difficult. Eh! Is there anything else we left behind? Nope, that's it, huh? You eat way too much frozen food? But it's so damn good, though! <laughs> Your body thanks you. Maybe later we'll pay for that, but at the moment it thanks you. Are you happy in your brain when you eat this food is the question. If the answer is yes, then it can't be all that bad, can it? Let's try the first thing. Let's try the basic thing of just grabbing the red. This isn't going to work, but I want to try anyway. Oh, of course it's not going to work. Where does that where does that have to go? Opposite side, right? up here I think yeah okay okay so maybe we just need the other one for height then maybe actually that's not gonna work either uh oh we gotta do a fall just to get that one well, aren't you clever? Okay. Wait. No, I can't do shit until we're down here. There's three of them. Okay. That kind of clarifies things a little bit. Except they're on this side. This? Okay. Okay, no. Mm. Here to stay for the whole stream, let's go. (laughs) 
So if we have a single red block. How far can I take this? going the wrong way what if we oh, this might not be the right solution but what if we do this I still don't know how the fuck I'm gonna get that one yeah I do Oh wait, can I just, can I just walk there? Oh, jump me off. Played Dark Souls? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I played Dark Souls. We need all three to make the height the red one okay, but that's still gonna be This one's a mindfuck. Has to the red one has to be flipped. No. No, we were right. We were right. It, uh... Just finished Blight Town? That's actually a really difficult zone. Well, I mean, it's not. It's creepy, but and the, the frame rate makes it difficult. But it's it's excellent game. I like Dark Souls a lot. Now where is that other blue? That's you. That's that's you right there. So I need to be Can I yes? And then Yes. Thank you. Got that. All right. Let's try this again. Still no way up, so we need we need a set of stairs. Yes. Well, no, that's not going to be stairs. We can't stand on blocks, but we can walk on blocks. We can't, sorry, jump on blocks, but we can walk on them. Yeah, like I said before, this probably isn't the solution, but I want to give it a shot. Monument Valley? I have played Monument Valley, yes. Excellent game. Can I make that a little bit more? How about, about that? That. Good enough. So we have to both simultaneous yeah, 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 okay, yep.
Oof. Uh, no, that's not going to work. No, red has to be on the other side. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Got it now. I just did that in reverse. But we also need to get up there as well. Okay, let's try again. Jump over. That's it. I think it's in the right spot. Yep. I just have to slightly adjust. Wrong. <laughs> Fuck. Every time we jump on the glass, dude. <laughs> One here. One outside. Laser beams activate. We go get the other one from the blob. Oh, it's kind of like an inverse sphere. It's giving me heavy, uh, heavy vibes. Oh, it's glitched everything. Stairs included. Heavy Outer Wilds vibes, but at the same time, like, completely not. Let there be darkness. Well, shit. What have I done? Is this game like super liminal? Well, that's to do with um, spatial awareness, right? And and this is kind of along the same lines, but I would say this is more um, gravity based instead of perspective based. Try that again. This time we'll rush through, I suppose. Cool.
We're going. We're going for a little bit of a walk. And obviously, this is just repeating. Antichamber is another one. I haven't played Antichamber, and that's why I thought that was the game when it was mentioned earlier. Then somebody said that Antichamber is only like um, a few years old. Uh, sorry, it's it's older than Miss Queen's hint. One of them was that it was only um, only a couple of years old, but I didn't I didn't guess this. Reset that again. Perfect opportunity to test out a pterodactyl. Spectator, thank you so much. 11 months, dude. Interstellar vibes? You got around $20 left, you don't know what to buy? Any suggestions you like roguelikes and you're sucker for pixel art? Ask chat? I, I would say... Uh, I don't know how much is how much is uh, Outer Wilds. Even if you can't get the full game, how much is just Outer Wilds? <laughs> that's that's my pick. That's not necessarily a roguelike though. I think, uh, I think Junko's in uh, Canada land, so the, the conversion may be a bit off. This is pretty much our only way forward right now. I can't drop it. Because if I drop it, We get reset. I'm good for now, Lodre. I want to try to work this one out. Oh, you can't even perspective shift when you're... Oh, wow. Let's go back over there. This is the only other building, though. 
Unless we head to the back end, the other entrance, if there was one. Nah, that can't be it. It doesn't make any sense. Not that much in this game so far does, but it just doesn't feel like it's the right solution here. Um, I have not played Return of Obra Dinn. However, uh, as we were nearing the end of Outer Wilds, that was recommended heavily, in fact. So I, I, I already owned it, I just haven't played it. This is our only solution. I think it's safe to assume there's no, like, hidden open doors and shit somewhere. We can't change perspectives. And we can't drop this block. So it needs to go somewhere. And the only other building, other than the one that we just came from, is that one right there. We'll go through it again. We do get a few seconds reprieve. What happens if we drop? No, can't do it. We're in the neg a negative zone. What about? Nope. Later, cat template. Thanks for stopping by, dude.
Why do I feel like I've just soft locked myself? I definitely think I so I've so soft locked myself there since that's our only way forward. Can you save one from an earlier checkpoint? It won't let me click on that. Restore. Uh, Junko, I'd have to go through my list. Um... Neon Abyss. We've had no other open sockets, right? None. Where you pick this up from. Like, that's flashing up there. That's, that's the spot we picked it up from, I think. Hard to tell. Wait, is it? No, that is a that is a different place. So it's on the flip side of Hold up. to 
reset that again. I thought the the pulsating cube was coming from the the spot we picked up the uh, thing to begin with, but that is a new new area. Uh, bitrate most likely will tank a little bit during this game. Hold E. Uh, yeah, there's just so much going on and it's the contrast between colors and, and the, the sheer level of detail that this game has. Which is funny for a virtually textureless... Um, it's funny because you've been staring directly at it for a while. No, I looked at it and I thought we were looking at the underside because, don't forget, everything's repeated. Underside. Or, sorry, I, w I thought we were looking at exactly the same spot where we were coming from and that's that's what the indicator was and that's the first time they introduced that mechanic um in my defense okay so this is the area that we i landed on first can i move this <laughs> I've been thinking about dropping my stream to like 900p instead of 1080. Makes a massive difference when you're at 60 frames. Taking the weird blue orb. Oh, hello, Miss Zoe. Fancy seeing you here at a time when I'm eating. I know, so weird, right?
Okay, so this time it looks like we've got a similar situation. Except there's nothing connecting them this time. Maybe. Smoke doesn't help matters any. Oh. Blue is lit up. Blue is lit up. And that might be the same blue that we've already activated. Maybe. So there's six realms. Man, this is confusing as fuck. Oops, I meant to land on that. The whole not jumping thing? So wild. Mind you, if I could cli climb on walls IRL, I probably wouldn't care that I couldn't jump either. DT Fish and Synth. It's funny, I saw Casually Challenged and Synth in uh, uh, Frag's chat today. Okay, so we have a socket for something. One of you asked a question about whether or not you could take the gift through the black market door, and I didn't stick around for the answer. Uh, I don't even know if it was answered at all, but um, did we did we find out that one? Oh, did I say frag? Sorry, I meant frog. Different creator altogether, yeah. Pretty unique content. Purple. This is wild. I wonder if all six are in the same area. Blue is good. I think. What if we take the same key? Oh, we've got a different tone here. I wish the, the dark stuff would just permanently disappear so we can um, actually see what's going on. I guess that shows you which ones you still have to solve, huh? Quick, a quick bunny hop here and there would be everything. Okay, so we're on the yellow side right now. I 
Okay, so everything's repeated. Like sides on a cube, Queeb. Like sides on a cube. There's the waterfalls. We're upside down right now. So the main courtyard is where we've been. That's where the little... I wonder if it's a case of just replicating it. Let's try. Let's try that. <laughs> Grappling hook in this game? Oh my god. Might make things a little bit easier, possibly. No, that's locked in. That's not taking that. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh, this one actually has a bottom. <laughs> Dino Nuggy's about to make a very swift return. Okay. Got a yellow tree. All right, so we've got a couple of switches. Let's check those out first, see what color they are. Both yellow. Okay. Wrong way. I don't blame you at all, Junko. This is... Uh Pretty intense gamer. Fucking hell. Okay. Is this going back to... <sighs> that makes things easy. Alright. Okay. One up, one down, maybe. Both in the same... No. Opposite sides. Except they're way over there. Uh... One way street. Which one is represented by it's the other side? So it's sequential. Okay, no problem. It's 
course, yeah. Miss Quaid, what are these dino nuggies laced with? Because I am tripping balls right now. The force field control. That's a reset button. Alex, the shy cat, thank you so much for your three month subscription, my dude. Welcome back. I have a feeling this is going to get more and more and more complicated as we go on. Oh, aren't you clever? Okay. Do all of that. Fuck. Oh. oh, that's actually probably an easier way to go. Yeah, there we go. Uh. evil. Okay. <laughs> I'm really excited. I, I'm going to go and watch more uh, after the stream. I'm going to go watch more um, uh, 
Uh, what's the what's the what's the show I'm watching? The real fucking creepy one. Help me out here. Uh, Black Mirror. I'm gonna watch more Black Mirror tonight. Close, close. Okay. I would be very interested, once we've done this game, I would be very interested in watching a speedrun of this too. Midnight As. Um, never heard of that. What's that about? Okay, button door. Big machine. Two sockets. All blue. Door, socket. Door, door, button. Not button. Three sockets. Okay, okay. Purple, yellow. Purple, yellow. Red. Thank God it's not getting me to mix colors on top of... I shouldn't have said that. Probably fucking will. Never mind. Fuck. I'm like looking at I'm looking at this down here going, "Oh, that's a that's a different." And then I come over here and I see this. Okay, so this can go either side. Okay, that's this is just teaching us about it, no problem. I don't know if I should progress yet. We've got a lot left in that other freaking room. Excuse you. Probably too high, I would say, but... Ah! Never mind, does it for you. Why we need the red one. Oh, they've thought of everything. Motherfuckers. 
Two, yeah, two red stack. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, 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 easy. I'm thinking like each one requires one. No, no, not at all. I want my cube back. Thank you very much. Now we're good. Still good. Still good. Okay. In the green, and this is another chamber. All right, before we do that, oh, it's going to fuck up my puzzle here. That's fine. I'm going back to the blue room. Whatever power source comes through. We need to operate this. Not where we were before, is it? No. Definitely not. Now, how do we get in there? That's the question. Wait. No, that's got a waterfall. We haven't seen one up close yet. If we can get away in there. Does this game have a story? I don't know. I can't answer that yet. My first instinct is to say no, but who knows? Maybe the Maybe some legendary god of cubes has sent us this puzzle to test us. Alright, that's the that's the room we came from. Can I steal one of them? No, I cannot. This is the door? No, it's the grid. So I can't steal one. No, I can't. No. Clever. Okay. Gods of God of Cubes is Cubert. Who is ironically round and has a noodle for a nose. Okay, so this is this comes first. We need to activate this one, I think, first, so that we can bring out the blue ones that are in there. We might need to do the puzzle reset by picking another one off the tree. Now, did we open that door or is that already open? That was just a button. Okay. Which beard oil? Um. I think I have it listed on my wish list. There's a, a list, not a wish list, what do you call it? An idea list on Amazon. Essentially, if you click one of the links in there, um, I get a, a small kickback through Amazon gift certificates. But it's down listed down below in my about section. It's a question I don't often get, but I get it often enough that it required its own list. No, we do need to get in there. Just a, just a, I'm not asking for jetpack, right? I don't ask for much.
Is the jetpack at least on sale during the, the summer event, winter event? No, I don't think this is going to be sold yet. We need it. We need a blue one. This is the other end. This is, I can't get over how simplistic it is. But the sheer depth and, and beauty of the game with I just very subtle lighting effects. Nothing real special going on, right? No, there's no way we're bringing either of these over. Speedrunners would be like, yeah, just put it here, boop, 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 pick it up, walk it across, easy, see? The speedruns I've seen a portal that I really enjoyed Portal. Portal was a um, puzzle game at heart, but th it was wrapped in this beautiful, story-rich, intriguing puzzle. Very well written, very well voice acted. No, I don't. I don't think so, Audred. We gotta get in here. I gotta open this. Is it connected to the... No, pick up one, take it with. All we gotta do is activate that. Which all we gotta do is get in there, which is probably... Oh, fuck knows. Can I... Nope. Oh, hold up. Nothing's moving because they're weighted. Hmm. Did it again. Can I get above this? Let's do that. Nothing up here. Hmm. Correct. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You can't carry the cube across because you need the the I don't know what we call it, cloud path. All right, let's keep going forward then. For now. Um, if we can get one more blue, we might have to get it beyond the next chamber, which... Wait, which... Can I go down here? No, that's just the entrance looped again. Save, save my pinky. Okay, that's back. Do I watch anime? No. No, I don't.
There it is. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like repeating loops. It's weird. The rules change depending on which section you're in, in terms of the, the repetitious factor. Um, but yeah. Okay. So here's this puzzle, which we've already solved. Let's go down into the green room. You ever watch the movie Cube? I kind of like that. I even like the, the sequels, though they were quite good. DT Fish, yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. I want to go back to the green room. Green. Okay, so this one... As you can see, there's there's like one layer that's repeated X and Y. Um, but our Z depth this time isn't repeated. It's flipped. And that's, an, that's another point of interest there. And I, I guess this is to give us these windows of glass so we can sort of have an idea of where we are in relation to the rest of the chamber. Cube 3 is your least favorite? Uh, it was called Hypercube, right? Um, I enjoyed that one probably the most because it, even though it did focus on traps, it also showed the behind the scenes type stuff of, of like how how the cube is run, who's pulling the strings, you know? I dig that shit. Oh, no, no, no. Hypercube is two. Uh, cube three was cube zero. Where's this going? I gotta go back now. I gotta look for a yellow return shoot. Because we're not taking it with. Unless I need it for the puzzle to get the... No, it's a button. Not here. Okay, well... I, um, yeah, no, I really appreciate that. That was one of the first sort of, um, very low budget, high production quality sci-fi movies that I, uh, that I saw. There was a, um, I, I want to say it was Russian on a uh, film on either Amazon or Netflix where it was an elevator and, and people at the top of the elevator get to eat really well and people at the bottom of the elevator can just get fucked. Okay, well. Um, I watched it, I watched it dubbed. I don't, I'm not sure if it was dub or sub, but... Yeah, I watched it dubbed, and it was it was alright. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. Okay, so we got a yellow key, which I can take with. And then we drop down to the level below. Ah, fuck.
Look at that. The platform. Thank you, A2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, low budget, single room kind of thing. I just, I love that shit. It shows the creativity of the filmmakers. Oh, okay. Uh, wrong way. Cool, we got a new new puzzle mechanic now. Oh, it's got another one with multiple paths. Or worse, two fucking orbs at the same time. Fuck. Bit of a glitch going on here. Maybe. Maybe not. It does look like a kind of different... It's like darker, not, uh, not clear like that last one. I gotta, I gotta hand it to Miss Queeb. She got, she got, she got taste. Imagine you woke up in a place like this. Oh. Where's Zoe? Does Zoe want a chicky nuggy? Oh, she fucking does. Silver, that's, um, yep. That's definitely a movie. <laughs> it's like a corrupted tree. this because it's broken. So this just goes around. All right, we need to get back out of here. Up the stairs. Or down. Down up. closed off. Where did I see that button? There. Oh, I fucking knew it. Wait, but that shit's continuous.
Oh no, here we go. Where did we come in from? The only yellow button. Oh shit, I can't remember. Red cube. Up the stairs? Back the other way, upside down. Okay. Get him next time. That's where we came from. I don't know about bringing the yellow with. Maybe. Maybe not. No, there was no yellow. Notice what this one's sitting in, though. It's like the thing that was just shrouded. The thing we saw in... Uh... So it's infinite? Sometimes yes, sometimes... Kind of. coming with us so what he should do right here kick it right and run at the same time boom we're through interesting once it gets to a location it locks itself in Headache, probably because of the game. So that's the that's a red. All right, where's the where's the ball? It's there. Wait, is it stuck there, or is it just? coincidentally end up that way. Okay, just ended up that way. Let's check out up here. On the red side. Actually, look at that. Laser beam. Okay, we know what the... connected there's a different one but that's where it came from wait okay I'll play along but before I do I want to check out one more thing it's not where it came from I don't think Oh, it's glass. Never mind. Hmm. 
What this? Oh, fuck you. That's the map of the first puzzle. Oh, that's wild. And that's endlessly repeating that way. Okay, so this might be like a map room. Like a where do I go next kind of deal. This is unshrouded, right? Everything else is still in fog. I think it's just informational. Alright, where are we going with this? All the way the other way. Alright. Where are you? Wait, what? Got it. Okay, so it's being blocked presently. So we need a yellow... Got it. Ah, shit. We need a yellow cube from somewhere. I think it's yellow. There's a yellow tree. There's our yellow. And it needs to go where? At the junction against the wall. Uh. Oh no! I'm gonna get it! I'm gonna get it! I'm gonna get it! Oh, I was riding it then. Hell yeah, I was. Oh no, I could just, I could just get another one. Okay. Try to figure out this junction business. There it goes. Okay. Okay, so we have to undo it. Oh god. Again. The sigh. Done. All right. So now we're gonna bring the the ball back. And then... Okay. Then the long drop, which should put it straight there. Um, um, right. Yep. Then over here. Then over here. Almost. Okay. Last but not least.
So that will give us another negative zone. I think. Uh, I don't know. No. It's just a pedestal. I need to restart the game. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. That's some good advice there. Hey, Donkey Jim, thanks for sticking on in, man. Catch you later. Could go back to the blue section. No, that was way back, wasn't it? The blue room that I didn't complete. We couldn't complete. Go back inside and see if anything's changed in the map room. Wouldn't be a bad idea. That was on the red side. Oh, there it is there. Dunk. And nothing's changed. Wait, that's not even the first... It's not the first puzzle, it's just, it looks similar. Oh, is it? Oh, it might be, actually. It makes sense that it would be. And whatever's in the middle here, this is our final unlock. So this it's a pretty significant, significantly sized game. What's that other thing? So there's the... There's another tree. Is that the red tree or a yellow tree? And if it's the red tree, that would just reset the, the thing anyway. Yeah, that'd be just a reset. I don't think we need... Well, fuck it. Let's try it. Nothing to lose there. And it is pointing to underneath. No, nothing. Oh, there's legit something there, though.
do a reload of last save. Was Dondoli being... Dondoli was, was telling the truth. So he used the word restart. Okay, so that's coming from inside the house. Stairs are intact. Fixed, huh? If a reload fixes it, I I don't know coding very much, but I would think that that would be one high priority and two very simple to fix. Brilliant looking game, huh? Oh wow, this is actually very similar to the place that we were before, except now the water is red, not blue. Kind of cool. We can go back through here. I'm not sure we need to, but I'm just going to have a quick, quick peek. One whole year of McQueeb. Dude, 12 months? Thank you, man. Oh, just great to have you here. I believe your fly has, has fully evolved, by the way. Entropy. Um, so I gave Ms. Queeb a list of games. It was about 200, 250 games long, and then she just went through them and picked ones she liked the look of, or ones that maybe she's heard about. Ones that she think uh, I would like, or chat would like. She did a very good job. Um, check out um, the uh, exclamation mark Queed Vent, and it'll show you the calendar of the games that we've already played. There's been a couple that I, I probably wouldn't have picked myself, but that's, it's good because that's, I get to, it's like trying foods you've never tried before, right? Like it's, it's an important thing to do. You've got to expand your horizons. 
Oh, we have it. We're back here. That's good. That's good. So, Zealous CNC to question, this would be a perfect opportunity for that. Um, we can't do anything in this room until now. Uh, and I think the only thing we can do is open that door directly across from us since this platform needs to here. Let's have a look. That's where it came from. Yeah, so I, I think they, they do have to be done in a certain order. At least far as I can tell. I, I don't think I've had a lot of choice thus far. Okay, we've got nothing on the underside here, so we can just keep going without any, without any problems. Okay, we've got another laser beam. A couple of green panels. What are they for, I wonder? Hmm. Here's a very similar looking machine to the one that we had in the previous room. There's our tree. Let's follow this real quick. All right, keep it simple. Have a look over here. Plant a seed. Okay, cool. That's just a waterfall source. Water source. When we open the door, that means we've now got... We've got our... Interesting time to uh, to tell us about that. Directional flow. Okay, got it. Fucking hell. Okay. So this is one of the ones powered by the machine. So if we. Uh, All right, I can't take you with, can I? Yes, I could have. No, I couldn't have. Did I do a bad here? Gonna have to bring those back. They already come back? Looks like they did. What if I get rid of. We have three now. Waterfall. Interesting. Maybe that machine is where we want to go next. So we've got. T There's another tree down there? Oh my god. So many fucking trees. We have five. No, 
No way is this going to work. Whoopsie daisy. Well. That might have actually worked. Uh, kind of got stuck in the middle there. This is a this is a green machine, or is it dependent on? It's dependent on what we're standing on. Got it. Okay, so we have five cubes available. We just got to figure out how to get them to wherever they need to go. Hey, Sakura, how you doing? The green thing on top top of the spire? Don't know yet. No idea. Is that the map room again? I think it is. Yep. All right. So this is a breakdown of where you're at. You look for that room. That's fine. Ay ay ay. Okay. Let's check this out. Um, uh, you, you just gotta figure out how to fucking get there. That do it? Yeah, kind of. No. Um. That machine again. That's our laser. Two machines. And it seems we need to activate both of these, which come from the machines. What this? Breakfast after night shift? That sounds exactly like my every day. <laughs> That's where our corrupted one goes once we get it. I must get in there. We can redirect that very easily, I guess. Just put it any way you want. Right? It doesn't look like there's any... Anything on the purple side. What about our yellow side? Possibly the entrance to one of these buildings. So the machines, the machines are green. This is the green zone. We have five blue 
cubes, which could be used to reroute stuff if necessary. We have no entrance here. There is a red thing, whatever this is. Same again. I'm not seeing an entrance to any of these. Waffle House. Dang, dude. Waffle Houses. I have not had that in a long time. Blue seems our best bet at the moment. Let's um bring that back. Open that. Sends the water out. Aha! Okay, that's one thing we haven't tried yet. I got an achievement called Waterbender. It's from that movie. The M. Night Shyamalan original. It's really good. Yes, the, uh, the av aviator. I love how the... Ah, oh, shit, you could totally change levels with this as well, couldn't you? Huh. Let's get in here first. Wait, that's not how you get in there, was it? Okay. That's one machine done. And then it stops. We had another tree down there, so we could bring more if necessary. But for the moment, let's just go in here and take a look around. Aha. Uh -huh. Just like Minecraft, only chunky. Just want to try this real quick. Probably does nothing. Nothing going on there. Okay, so we've got one machine. And the second machine was... Two machines. There we go. So we need to do a, a dual split. Okay. 
this won't work, will it? Another tree. Okay. Oh, we had an extra one in there? Oh, that's good. Thank goodness. So that should give us two more, which... Yeah, we'll have to come back. Three more. But flowing downhill, obviously. Okay. I just hit space to jump then. Damn fool. Oh, we got tons. This is like the ripest tree we've ever seen. Gives us one extra. Something. Good. I like how it kind of collapses in on itself. That's very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a painkiller. I will be right back, folks. Give me a sec. Might run a quick ad as well. Oh, that's fucking cool, right? Green, red, and blue complete so far. That's awesome. Give me a sec, folks. I'll be right back.
paracetamol is the same as acetaminophen in the States. Ah, oh, man, I'm on stuff well beyond that, my friend. I have a, uh, I have an injury that causes my headaches, unfortunately. Um, so I'm on, I'm on very heavy medication. Wouldn't it be cool if we, if something like this appeared in the sky and watch, just watch the government shit themselves. Ah, oh, be hilarious. It's, it's aliens. Blow them up. Well, you could talk to them first. Launch the missiles. Vicodin for a 17 year old. Jesus. 90? That's wild. That is, that's unreal. Alright, so we're back here again. Everything's green and blue and red. Open the green door. That brings us back to. No way yet. I gotta figure this one out and then we'll be back in our our little room. Uh, yeah, yeah, herniated disc. Good memory. Yep, I got two of them in my, I don't know what you call this, sea whatever. Seafood, need it, huh? Did that water stop flowing? Can I? Fuck you! <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, that didn't work. This will, though. Where do we want to send it? That's the question. So we just need to create a bridge. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. Uh, I think. I still got to get him over to this side. That's a problem. No. Yeah. No. Straightforward. Love the sound effects it makes whenever you freaking hit something.
Right. So that has to take place down here. Uh, I gotta reset it. Okay, it's fine. Gotta come from Hmm. Hello, Jeff. I don't know what sciatica is, but it sounds fucking painful. Let's, let's do some research here. This one? Nope, needs to be higher. It needs to be on that level. But it can't... It can only flow downwards in the direction of gravity. What if I was to put it against the wall like this? Ah, oh, fuck. Sciatic nerve. It does not sound nice either. Okay, so that could... devs they thought of everything um you could redirect up top and have it flow we would need three redirects for that Where do we need it to go? There. Redirect. Redirect. Still no good. Could work. Try it. That gets us most of the way. No, that works. What the fuck? That was super simple. God, that... That took me way longer than it should have. Alright, we've got another water puzzle here. Tree, flowing water. I like it. So far, so good. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I got it. I got it. I think. Non-Euclidean fluid mechanics. You know, I was thinking the same thing. This explains why we need four. run of the game oh i will i will i 100 will i i often do a lot of the games we've played i've gone to bed that night and just put on a speed run like i did outer wilds so th here's the thing with outer wilds thank goodness i never remembered anything from that speed run because i think that might have well it would have given away the end puzzle i did remember the sand planet i have no idea what happened back there um but I watched another speedrun again afterwards, a couple of different types actually. I did a hundred percent and uh and an any percent. And it was like super like once that's the thing with Outer Wilds, you can finish it very, very quickly if you know what you're doing. Heavenly Heathen, hello, how you doing today? I'll have to give that clip to Ms. Queeb. She'll love that. Yes, I have played the DLC. I'll get you a quick link for that. Just give me one second, folks. Um, can I see the list? There we go. Um, yeah, it's all, it's all in there. The, the DLC came directly afterwards. Fortunately, I didn't, um, discover how to do that until, uh, until after the main game. It's good. Because I could have easily stumbled upon it. Underwhelming of an ending. No, midsection of the DLC, I'd say, was a little bit underwhelming. I would have done things much differently. But the, I had... I, I was in tears at the end. Thought it was wonderful. We are back here again. Fuck yeah. Look at that. Ooh, baby. So there's one. Oh, hold up a second. I steal this. What happens? Hmm. Oh, that's the only one. Okay, no problem. It's fine. Got water. 
Okay, so we just need to activate the bridge, which we need two, four. We now have two. And that should go directly across straight into the machine, thereby opening the final door. Still the best sound effect in the game. Water. Machine. Door. We out! Well, we're into the next area. Um, uh, Heavenly, in answer to your question, I'm enjoying this very much. It is not easy. Got a separate blue button here, folks. Doing what? I don't know. You tell me. Is that just the other side of this? No, it's not. Both may be required. Very much, this architecture very much reminds me of, uh, well, it's based on Escher anyway, but the Squid Game set. Oh, we got a new, a new puzzle element here. Let's go find out what it is. Zap, dead. Not dead. Color change, no shit. That's fine. But I can't pick it up now. And um no, it turns back orange. See if this works the same way. No. Nah. What if I flip it? Okay, 
Same kind of deal here. Bring the second one over. Decoration. Weird little block. Very much like antechamber. I wonder which antechamber came first, right? It's a, it's another one I haven't played, but I've I've seen a, a playthrough of it. I think I watched like maybe like a Rockley Smile or a Bear Taffy play that back in the day. switch, red switch, three switch, four switch. There was, there was only two. I just felt like rhyming for a little bit there. Oh, okay. We got inverse again. How are you, Stephanie? Great to see you. Where's your Where's your partner in crime today? Like, part of me would love to live in a fancy high-rise like this, but at the same time, I'm like... He's asleep. Terrible. Did he end up watching Lord of the Rings with you? <laughs> yeah. Like the whole series yesterday? That's, um, how, how long does the entire, like, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings and... How long would that take? Straight across. Oh, right on. Okay. That's dope. Watch one a day. I, I mean, to be fair, that's that's a pretty big commitment already. <laughs> this takes us back where... Okay, well, 
We got some we got some goal posts. We just need to find the footballs, that's all. Blue is in there. Fuck knows how we're gonna get in there. We'll figure it out. Tree. Nice. It's a good start. Two. Same room. Same freaking room. Okay, the next one, he fell asleep. <laughs> Extended director's cut. One movie is six hours long? No, really? That's, um, that's pretty wild. Where's the other one? There it is. You know what? Since we have two doors to go through, I'm not going to activate this one just yet. Let's go through the other one first. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Wrong one. Got it. We need the blue, so maybe this will take us into that room. Starting to combine puzzles here. We got a color change, which is a direction change. I don't necessarily want to go in there just yet, though. Have a look over here first. What color is this? This is yellow. That's where the color change comes in, okay. And in fact, no, it's nowhere near it. Oh, fuck you. All right. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that a lot during this game. game playthrough. So we're going to have to color shift. That's red too. Hey, Timmy's. What's up, man? Oh, we get a shortcut straight through to the other one? No, it's a different one. Okay. So this is where our color shift comes in. Uh, we don't want this one yet, then. But wait, one's... 
No, they're both red. We need a red. We need an extra one. We need two reds up there, which. Well, let's see what happens here. There's a yellow. Which already, it fell straight in and gave us this here. to get back up on this thing again. I don't believe we do. Let's go and get that. the tree pick up the yellow which will transform back into a red done achievement unlocked thinking with portals hey that's from that other game Is that just a reflection? Oh, I think it is. Okay. A very ominous thud. Uh, we do have somebody in our community with... Um, They'd probably be close to 2 million points. So, uh, a couple of years, we'll get there. Tones. Oh, open them all. on here one one that's not good enough I'm afraid where's the exit at that side so that's the last one we do no this isn't no <laughs> Oh no, right. Other side. Eh. Just a, just a, just a, just a, yeah. But 
but I got to do the same thing over that side and I don't have a second I have a second one What do we need? Aha! Got it. Okay. Of course, they're multi purpose. Piece of cake. Is that that again? My god. Terrifying. Oh, hell, what is that? Maybe it's just showing you what, which directions. Possibly. Let's see what happens. Thud, yep. That's where we want to go, I think. We can get there. This is just the other room that we were in before, right? But we haven't been. No, we have. Okay. Open up all the doors here. Giant terrifying Tetris, yeah. It's like that scene in Men in Black where the... Spoilers. Um, aliens are, are so gigantic they're playing marbles with galaxies. I think that's really clever. try to get back over there again. Did me stepping on it do something, I wonder? Let's find out. Let's see what happens here. I got bumped off by something before. They're just continually falling. They do stop periodically. I wonder if that's there. I guess it's just an accident that I got bumped off before. Okay. Okay.
Not repeating. At least not in this room. I better get a useless achievement for opening all these doors, I tell you. Where's all my doors gone? This game's such a mindfuck. Very similar entrance to the room we had earlier. Very. Crow, thank you so much for sticking on by tonight. Appreciate you, man. Take it easy. Um, enjoy your sleep, my dude. Stop jumping on the glass. Where's my partner in crime? Uh, she is looking after some stuff right now. Oh yeah, this is fine. Did we just make a ladder somewhere? So these are locked in place, as denoted by the blue thing. Um, I 
Wait. That disappears and then falls down. Okay. You drew on his back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, rotation definitely matters here. So what do we need to do? What's next? We need to lock more shit into place. Um, what is not locked into place right now? That one right there. The tetr Tetronimo. That one is tentatively resting, or is it that one? That might be our next location. Uh, okay. Saying it. Here. Where the hell did they go? Did I miss another one? That's what I'm looking for. We're upside down. Unless they all have to be connected in order to work. We got a tree anywhere. Something has to be connected to that. Would be that one. Maybe. How do we how do we observe? There's a red tree, I just can't get in there just yet. Ain't nothing falling down, chief. Is that fucker still in the way? But it's not attached either. What is that one being held in place by? Nothing. Okay, cool. That makes sense. This is fucking weird, dude. Wait, some of the ones that I had in place, they just fell off? They can do that? That's coming from there. Where's it going?
That's the connecting piece for there, possibly. What the fuck? I didn't know they could move freely like this. That's absolutely nuts. All right, go this way. We're going to fall back down. We're going to lock into place. Don't know yet. Yes. So that's held in place now by two. Maybe that's it. Maybe we've got to form bridges. Jamaze, what's up, dude? 30 months. 3-0. Shit, that's a long time. They do have colors. And this longer piece here seems to be the terminating piece. Hope you had a good Christmas, dude. How's uh how's the parents? No, that is locked in place now. And clearly that is the the result, the desired result. Ah, look at this. We got some connections now. Let's follow that. I always liked your parents, they were very nice people. Nope. Ah, shit. So where was it getting power from then? This is, this is wackadoo, man. Okay, we're heading over there. That stuff just gonna keep falling now. Yeah, what the fuck? Wait, I did just move it. What the hell? Oh, this is even worse than I'd imagined. I need a reset button. That one's not moving. It's also in the wrong spot now. And it has no other connecting piece. I so do not understand this. Hold up. I think the connections only lock them in place when they're in the right orientation. So, for example, this one in front of us can only move, well, from this perspective, left and right, right? So we need to get on here. It falls back into place. Okay, so we need to follow that. <laughs> I 
I think we have to make a circuit, and that's the difficult part. So they're getting power from each other, uh, maybe. Okay. This is the next one. Is that the right piece? I don't know. It's nothing to do with, with locking them in place or not. It's, um... It's using the power to open doors. But this is a useless piece to us right here. Where do we need to go, though? Wait, does it... Hang on. No, that is definitely locked in place. That's amazing. But in order to keep that... It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And I know it's not going to work. Is it going to work? Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm slowly getting it. This, this is probably the hardest puzzle we've had thus far. Does it require the weight of a person? There's got to be specific rules. So maybe this one can only go back and forth. Nope, but then it's got these directions. Just what the fuck? This one isn't even powered. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> we haven't done one of the one of the sections yet either. Yep, here we go. We're, that's where we want to be. How do I... How do I fall down? Wait. Oh, but if I move... You know what's going to happen if I move. Where's that green line going? we see that? No. Stayed connected. Okay, good. I don't know how, but fuck it. I'm rolling with it. I'm in. I have not been here. Confirmed. All right. Open this shit so we don't have to deal with that anymore. This is a cluster, man. What a fucked puzzle. Who develops these? Who goes, who sits down and goes, you know what we should have? Interconnecting, like, Tetris-like pieces? Without actually being Tetris pieces, obviously. That, um... Complete a circuit... But only when you're standing in one specific, particular spot. You hallucinate a button at the top. Outside.
Okay. Some of the puzzles are really like intuitive. Working them out is is enjoyable. <laughs> this Tetris one though, <laughs> no, go away. I don't know if we want to have that one there though so that's that's our next goal Where's the red? Is that it? Yeah, so we need to form a connection there. Oh, okay. Hang on a sec. They make no sense. Now we have two connected there, which is weird. Don't think catching them in a moment is good? That's bullshit. Did you see how fucking cool that was? I straight up stopped that thing in midair. So I'm back on this one again. What 
falls next to that. We need the little U-shaped one there. Maybe, actually. Where is that U-shaped one? Right there. I need it like to the left ever so slightly. Did I move? Of course, I fucking didn't. Maybe I have to complete it. No, what the? F Come on. That's it. That's it. Nice. Okay. Let's get this shit open so we can come back in if needed. It's an evil puzzle. Um, but I still need to power. Well, there's one. Okay, yeah. Maybe that's where we're going. It's my only option at the moment. I don't, I don't really want to shift orientation too much. Fuck it, gonna have to go back around. But we're in here now. after we're finished with it. Top level, maybe? Maybe. Nope, that's where we came in. That one right at the bottom.
locked. Unless this is another... bug, but I don't think so. This one's different. Okay, same bug, but this one's still locked away. Alright, where's this red line going? That's after we solve the final puzzle, maybe. I think what's throwing me off, what's making it even more confusing, is the, um... It's the arrows on the tetrominoes. Where's the tree? Do we have any other... I guess this one thing we haven't done is looked for... a place to put this. Good night, Synth. Take it easy, man. That's our laser there. Oh, we didn't even go to the right spot. What the fuck? Is this the laser one? We still need to open that. Where's that going? Need to create a circuit here. That is this one. Fuck. Where's the laser beam? Work backwards. It's on the roof. Upside down, upside down.
That's the yellow block. I don't want a yellow one though. Was that a Mr. Squiggle? Yes, it was, Unworldly One. Yep, not many people in this channel would get that. Oh, I like that drink. It's a bold ginger, ginger ale. What if we could just steal that, come up here and... Oh, there's no way. Couldn't I couldn't do that. What are we talking about? Yes there is. Of course there is. Fucking easiest thing in the world to do. Have to approach it from the other side though. of Kentai. What's up, dude? I was gonna say you're looking at it. Yeah, I wish you wouldn't. Now I need to find the building I was just in before, which was colored yellow. This one had a giant right there. what I, I don't quite understand. There's a door. It's not open. We not been in here before. Fuck. But I was done with tetron Tetronomos. Mind fuck, I tells you. There's two sections to the building, which means. Thank you.
now this is a conundrum. Ah, that's how we fix it. I think. That's where it's gotta go. Okay. We did it. Fuck this level, man. Yellow complete. What a pain that was. is looking pretty fresh man two sections to go maybe I like that it brings you back to other sections when you can, like, from a different door. It doesn't make a whole lot of logical sense, but I do like it. Is my mind still intact? Uh, yeah. The last stage got me pretty good. Hopefully we're back on to a little more sensible puzzles now. You know it's going to get worse, though. You know. Squid game, for sure. Yep. Well. Double color change, one blue, one red, from yellow. Okay, we'll see just how difficult that is. Where do we want them to drop? Okay.
blocked. Okay. I would like entry into this building, please. Time is it where I live? It is two o'clock in the morning. This one's going to take me a bit longer to figure out, I think. these stairs weren't here it might be a little more obvious what I need to do I've just got a hunch right now but the stairs do make it very difficult to believe that is true sense either. If this aligned with this, that would make a lot more sense. We could drop it into place by doing two flips. Unless you just alternate. Okay. 
There you go. There's our laser beam. Done. That was an easy one. It ain't over yet, kid. Alright. Settle down. Fuck. Oh no, really? I'm oh, okay. Gotta try to get there. No! <laughs> Oh, it's right there. Okay, okay. Could try again. easier. Or straight down. Straight down might be better. We get there? That one was fast. A speedrunner in the making right here. One more to go. The final? Who knows? Oh, the birds are all different colors, too. Why so trippy? Uh, I would assume it's because that's the way the game designers created it. I may be missing the bar there.
All right, we gotta divert some water. And yes, yes, we do plant trees, yeah. This tree only bears one fruit. <laughs> it's not good enough. Uh, we have more trees though. Okay, there's our water machine. Oops. Another one. That's the same one. That's the same one. Okay. So where are we putting this water? It's got to get across there somehow. Uh. We get a better view of this without actually going flying. So up there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's not much of a stretch, I don't think. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, that is a problem. Actually, very simple. Uh, I mean, getting up there might be a little bit challenging. What if we did... No fucking way. This would be the biggest heist in history if we could. And it's going to take me forever. There's got to be an easier way. There has to be a better way. So it's a puzzle? Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. So if we could just, and I say just, but there's, there's a lot to this. I need to take one of these blocks up there to divert the water off the side and then actually that well depending on my perspective here that might not actually work come to think of it Fuck. No. straight down same problem here because of this aha hold up is this good enough 
Nah, no way. I think that would work. I just need to figure out how we can get there. Possible. Can't do that either. They're both oriented the same way. I just fall back down. So you have one redirect from here. It's got to be from there. I took it up there. Surely that can't be intended? Well, you think it's an accident that this is completely covered up up the top? positive this is the solution we need to redirect the flow of water to run the machines we know that for a fact right can I throw them whilst falling I've never tested that straight down. Alright, what else we got? So the problem here is that the blocks only move or can be moved when they're in this orientation when we're when we're on this surface. And because they're the same type of block, they're going to fall at, at the same speed. Otherwise, I can't alternate. I can't stair-step them. I can't even use the waterfall to walk up. Like, I could just walk up there with the wall. Hmm. Have a look over here. It's just a water machine. Which would power that, which would open the door and we move on. So looking at it, like, we're, we're dead center here. It's a perspective shift is kind of weird. This far back, it looks like that would fall down the down here but I think it's more like this and it would as long as we can get it onto this platform we're fine what else is a possibility let's look down
No. No. Coming down here is the only option. And it's right in line with this, so yeah. So straight straight down here. And the only way to get it from the height that it's at, because of this ceiling, is directly from the source. Shoot off to the right and then from there redirect straight down here. So we've got to figure out a way how to get a block up there. They fall through the player. What else do we have here? Looking at that ceiling, nothing can be really used there. And there's only two, as far as I can tell. Let's try going... Looking around a bit. to see that for myself. I want to take a walk off the edge just to confirm. That wasn't very convincing. dude let's have a look at no it hugs the edge like nothing else maybe there's a, a small gap there cannot be moved when they're in a different orientation. They are locked in place. Which, if we had a different colored one, we wouldn't be having this discussion. Redirected the water to the right.
See, the stairs are the only thing that's kind of out of place here. But it's irrelevant because of this fucking platform. It's placed there so that you can't easily do it. Water also can't run upside down. So if we had one, I'd place it right here. Hopefully redirect it onto that platform. And as soon as that's done, we win. But how do I get fucking cube up here? Have an idea? Let's hear it. What you got? Redirect it right before the pillar. Right before here. To you mean down here. That's very much like what we just had before. Before the first one right where it falls oh okay wait a goddamn minute how the fuck did that happen jesus christ Wow, okay, nicely done. How did you see that out of curiosity? Because I sure as shit did not. I didn't even realize this was overhanging. Fucking good work, dude. Nice work. from there we got blue water over here
No. Yeah, it becomes a bridge when it's um in the wrong orientation. We need to get across to the yellow path. Where's the fucking butt? Like right here somewhere, I think. There. Oh boy. Mass Effect esque music. Maybe I just heard the dying music a lot in Mass Effect. Whatever we're looking for has to 
to be on this orientation. Huh. There you go. Lazor. Oh, it can't be that simple. Come on. We do have to go back inside, we know that. Got to figure out how to get there, that's all. That looks good. Right there. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. We came out a tiny little door, but there was a set of stairs right next to it. We need to redirect the water again.
Oh oh. So the door needs to stay open, which means it's only the blue one will be moving. I'm not so sure. Have a look at this. Maybe, just before the end. Oh yeah, there's water. where it was before. Does that help us or hurt us? Because it's in a weird orientation, I think that might actually hurt us. Can I have it flow down... About as close as we can get. Well, let's try it again. Maybe I just missed it. Searching for that ladder again. There you are. Actually, we'll go this way. Hey, Steph. Hope the holidays are treating you good, man. Okay, 
That's our destination. Fucked it again. God, I can see it from here and all. It's odd that the orientation of that is such a weird angle as well. Can we... How far can we go down here? We can't. One moment. No. No. Okay. So close. yellow thing and then I have to break for yeah I don't think the orientation of the water matters I don't think we can actually put it in a place that will help us ah there the ledge might actually get us over maybe so hit the hit the thing break directly right God damn it. a better way. put this down otherwise we lose it like it's 
just there. Okay, so breaking right doesn't do shit. Maybe it is a water thing? And the entrance question mark? Just to be on the safe side, I highly think this is not going to be the cause of the problem. No, nope, same thing. Okay. Open. Nah, what for? No reason. Uh -uh. Once we have this, once we're in the shadow world, we can't even reset our orientation at all. Holding this or not, you can't do it. So it's interesting that this is the first time they've shown us one of these puzzles. There's more to it with the water here. If we turn off the water, we could hold, we could hold directly forward from here and maybe clear that, maybe.
We can't stop the green water, that's static. ourselves up with the with the gap and in fact if we start higher like up here for example nope not even close dude not even close This one's just in a different orientation. That's what's making it hard. Where was the water coming from before? like aligning perfectly with this, huh? Maybe you have to go the other way? Where are the two hidden doors? One is next to the green waterfall, one is next to the blue. That'll put us out up there. No way I can get there. Stuck in here now. did spawn in the wrong orientation. Um, if the game has a way to fix the orientation of a block, um, it hasn't taught us that. With the one exception being uh, the things that change direction, but that's not even on this map. It's a, it's a device, colored device. It's not supposed to spawn like this? Well then I'm fucked.
It is the first time a cube has spawned this way. Yep, same. There's some pretty hefty bugs still in this game. Like we've had several game breakers already. Do we already have the door open here? No. How did I activate the fucking red one? Have I been inside that? There's the yellow plate. Gotta find a yellow cube. This little tower thing I just... This? This is the map. This shows you what you've done. This is the second to last and then one more after that. I don't know. Fucking buggy game, man. Where did I get the yellow one from again? Let me find it. There's the tree. Okay. And then we'll find out once and for all.
Same. I'm gonna look at a solution. I fucking hate myself for it, but it's getting late. That is not the final level. Uh, what color are we in? I don't know. Can't remember. Yellow level. Nope. What color is the block? To see if the way that's that's what I'm going to be looking for. I just need to find it. Uh, full walkthrough. playthrough do not want to. what's going on guys how you doing my name's blood thunder hello blood thunder i've heard that name before Is the Tetris level? Wait just a goddamn minute here. What's going on? Did he do them in a different order? I didn't think you could. It's at two eleven fifty. Yeah. Yellow block. Drops it straight in. Laser beam. Yeah, my game's fucked. Oh my god, are you serious? Well, there you go. Um, cool. Manifold Garden. So, so close yet so far. Um, that. Hold on, what happened? Oh, bugged, bugged out the game. I can't, like. Do you, question, do you get off on breaking games? Uh, this one's out of my control. I didn't break this one. Are you sure? It's still a reload, but I have a feeling that's not going to work. Well, what did you think of it so far, I guess? <laughs> Excellent game. I do I do really like it. Um, I'm, I'm sorry the game I picked for you bugged out. We, there's several. Like, like, we had a soft lock earlier several mm -hmm. times where the block that you need to pick up to complete a puzzle um, it isn't there. You can't interact with it. You have to reload your game. F7 has an in-game bug reporter. The hell? I'm sorry. <gasps> Stephanie, hello. How yes, are Stephanie's you? Stephanie's uh, awake. Miss Stephanie is awake. I don't even know why I'm awake. Well, I do. I took a nap. Zen fires and missiles. Um, wrong side. Oh, I'm so sorry, Stephanie. I'm I am the same way. 
It's like I, I have that tendency. I'm actually knock on everything wood. I'm I'm actually able to sleep right now. But generally speaking, um, I I do have insomnia. We we are very familiar with one another. Jesus Christ. Zoe of course decides to uh chew on a rawhide behind me because of course. No doubt. Really? What is it a <laughs> That is something Queeb has never said to me ever. <laughs> no, absolutely not. So it's it's just the snoring that that is soothing to you. <laughs> Why <Why not? laughs> Maybe I should try that. Because right now I, I have. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> I have an iPad playing uh, rain sounds. I wear noise canceling headphones. With uh, I listen to frequencies. Like I have a, a playlist of frequencies and and in, uh, in increasing order. And. Uh, Room has to be completely dark. I have an Aurora nightlight that, like a projector that shines on the, the ceiling that helps. Um, and it, it goes off at a certain time. I have to have a fan pointed at my feet. I have um, I have a cubby, like a, a little like stuffed, stuffed animal that I sleep with. Um, my phone has to be by me. I have to have a bottle of water and uh, I, I need a, a Gatorade. And then I have like all these medications I take, and, and if I'm lucky, I won't wake up. I think it's because it lets my brain know it's okay to sleep. I come from a highly emissive. Um, I'm good, so no need for sad face. That's that's sweet. Aww. I I hope he knows that that you feel that way. Idrid, hello, and I thought you going sideways seemed drunk, but I had to go away because work. It certainly didn't make a lot of sense at the time. being so weird, Stephanie. Oh, that's weird. Huh. <laughs> uh, Kui will sometimes start to have conversations, but it's always mumbled. Like, he'll say, um... Hey, I thought I told you. Nah, nah. Or get a, get away from the. Nah, nah, nah. And I hear, you know, the talking. So I'm like, what? what what's going on? And it wakes me up. And he's just he's out. I'm like, you asshat. You get headaches because of insomnia, but listening to McQueeb cures them. Oh. Thank you for saying that about about my husband. <laughs> Funny story, the first night I slept over, he shot up asleep, screaming, F you, mother effer, and laid back down. I texted a friend, I might die tonight. Oxygen, how long have you been at it with the wrong orientation? Um, hour, probably. Wait, is that on, on purpose or is this accidental? Is this a bug? It was a bug. Ugh. But that's a that's a game breaker right there. And we got that was not the first either. 
like I said before. I once dated someone and he he would talk like he would talk. We would have conversations. And at first I, I wouldn't say anything because I, I, you know, like someone's talking in his sleep. That's weird. But this one time, like, and I made a list. I wonder if I, I still have it. I made a list of the questions he asked because they were so random. He once asked me like, did I, it was something like, did I go get the supplies? Well, did I? And I'm like, what supplies? And he's like, the supplies I told you to get. He's compl he's completely out of it. Stone cold fucking asleep. Did you go get the supplies? I didn't. What, what supplies? The ones I told you to get. Can you elaborate? You know, the rope. And I'm like, the rope? Did I go get the rope? What? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't have it. Uh, he once asked me, um, uh, tapirs are God's favored creatures. <laughs> I, I shit you not, which is why whenever someone mentioned tapirs the other day, I was like, oh my God. What the hell? Yeah. Um, he That's did. not a very do... thing to say. <laughs> you didn't say any of this. Um. And uh, he did. I will say that he did give me the best compliment I've ever received to this day, and he wasn't even conscious when he did it. Like, of course, of course, that that happens. Um, but like, we're talking, I wrote out pages and pages of what he he said i didn't feel right recording him i thought that was weird unlike me with all of my recordings of queeb snoring um that's different that's marriage uh <laughs> it was just him sleep screaming it only happened that once where he yelled in the sleep i know right <laughs> Chris one time did tell me if I saw the man by the window and I was like, what? The man, he's by the window. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I do wonder, like, Queeb, if, if I talked in my sleep, like, actually had conversations, would you even tell me? Yeah. I wouldn't really care. <laughs> Like now I want to know, do I, do I talk in my sleep? Do mm, I? No, no, you do not. It, it's very f odd that the people that I have slept in the same room with, like meaning like friends, like at sleepovers or boyfriends or whatever, like even like I've I've slept in the same room as my mother and my aunt at one time and out of all of them they either say nothing or it's a conversation that's going on and it's going on right now and it, it's it's never any kind of in between que he will go months sometimes years without saying a single thing in his sleep and then He'll just be a little chatty Cathy one night, just talking my ear off. My girlfriend either snores or mumbles, mm-hmm, every 10 minutes. <laughs> oh. I hope that you hear that and you're like, I'm lucky. She's mine. She's all mine. <laughs> I hope you say that. Everyone I've slept in the same room told me it. Aww. And I'm sorry, Stephanie. Re record myself asking her a bunch of questions that she'll have to. <laughs> I always see people talking about doing that bit, like, uh, asking 
asking questions to their partner who's asleep and they're questions that you either know the answer will be no if you if you ask them outright or it's like it's something that you would never ask like are you cheating on me that's not toxic at all yeah i know right and whenever i i see people talk about that i'm just like that's fucking weird like like I, I, I like I, I feel greasy hearing that. Like I, I feel very like disgusting. Like in in all the times, excuse me, in all the times that Queeb has talked to me, it's never like it, it doesn't enter my my state of being to say, what can we ask him? However. However, I don't have a problem asking him anything. Like, like, like IRL, like I, I don't care. Like, I'll ask him whatever. And sometimes he, he's like, what? Huh? But I've never felt like, well, also I don't feel like he's cheating on me. And if he did, that's, that's like, that's a whole different thing, so. Well, it is a good time to ask, did you eat the last of my... Well, the answer to that is yes. Queeb did eat the last of my chips. Uh, I mean... <laughs> this man, this man, this man, there are only a few different types of chips that I will eat. They're going to get bad if we don't eat them, though. So, I deal with loaf in addition to everything else, which means... I'm I'm literally grazing all day. I don't actually get to sit down and have a meal. Like I'll try to, and then he he decides, oh that's that's when I should tear up the couch. Like oh yeah, I gotta chew this thing, man. And so I I like have to put my plate up. And so anytime I get up and go by my plate, I'll take a bite. So with chips, there's this one kind. It's by uh, there's a brand called Late July. Uh. And they are jalapeno lime corn chips. They are super good. She a buys them for me spice. all the time. I love it. No. Yeah, I buy them for myself because the first time I did buy them, Queeb was like, oh, these are these are hot. These are gross. And I'm like, well, thank you. I bought them for me. I didn't buy them for you. Queeb never like, said oh. that. Queeb so, so, loved them from the first day. No, no, no. That's a conversation I do remember. Uh, then you remember it with your other wife because that's not a conversation we've had about that bag of chips, the one that you ate yesterday. They were, they were gonna go bad. I had to take care I, of them. I had I opened the bag. So this fool, I, I opened the bag, I cut open half the, the top, ate a couple of chips, rolled it back down, that was it. Because that's literally all I had time for. Because I was I was busy taking care of a family. So what does my husband do? He gets the bag of chips. He eats all of them in one sitting, and then he shames me. I for make the way I make sure they're that fresh. I cut the okay. bag open. Got to make sure they're fresh. When you made sure they were fresh, did you save some for me? Answer: No, you did not. You did not, Quibus. I'm trying to work on a puzzle here. Excuse me. <laughs> Zeitsef is like, these are not the chips you're looking for. If he could do that, he absolutely would. Is this why Queeb and Chris get along so much? He uses the set. Well, they're going to go stale. I'm seriously. It's like, I, I don't, I don't. I deal with food insecurity issues. And so when I buy something specifically for me and it's brand new and then it's gone instantly, that's stuff I have to work through. And like excuses of, oh, it's gonna go stale. It's like, huh, it's, it, it's cute. Uh-huh, it's real cute. Queeb using the puzzle to get out of chip gate. <laughs> because the rest were not fresh um they were hold on
Uh, yeah, we'll do the Walmart link. That should be pretty universal. Let's double check. Yeah. Those. They're super good. They have a tiny bit of spice, not a lot of lime, which I like. Um, I'm not a lime person. Like like in candy, yes. In in like food, food, no. Um, they're they're bitching. They're they're super good. They're like maybe three fifty to four dollars at a grocery store. Walmart has them for two fifty. First world problems are rough, mm -hmm. but anecdotal family stuff is fun. You know what? I I I I live uh, I live in a first world country, so I'm allowed to have first world problems. And it's harmful. Not not directed at you. It's harmful to make statements like that, like my me having to deal with unresolved trauma issues from food insecurity oh you know it's first world problems it kind of diminishes that to be fair some of us have third world problems in a first world country absolutely absolutely stephanie i don't mind if he finishes my stuff i just tell him while i'm at Tell him to tell me while I'm at work so I can buy a new bag, but he rarely... See, and that's... That's the crux of the issue. That if I didn't see him do it, I don't know he did it. And, and I, I I don't remember to put things on lists, which I really should. That's... That's so then, on me. So then we have these issues of... I start thinking that I'm losing my mind. Because... I'm like, I, liter I literally just bought that bag yesterday and and i opened it i didn't finish it and i like i look through everything i don't see it i start thinking did loaf get into it did i eat it all fucking loaf again loaf 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 is a piece of shit but he's my piece of shit respectfully stephanie i'm 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 glad you you are where you are Like my my childhood and my teenagehood, it wasn't that bad. But like, I'm I I know what you went through. Oh, they do get stale. McQueeb did good eating them. <laughs> please, please don't encourage him. Please don't. It's it's very weird living with Queeb because he has such it, it, like his his food stuff. It's very weird. Like not his. Uh, we have talked about this before. Queeb will. Um, I think he. I suspect he may have like ADHD and or ARFID, which it's when you hyper focus on food and so you'll only eat a couple of different food items and you'll just eat the fuck out of them for like it could oh, be that's a day a thing? week i didn't it, i absolutely. didn't know it was a thing yeah I it was like, just me you're, uh, no sweetie no um and then it, it's literally like a light switch so like someone flips the switch on you're like you know what i would love coffee yogurt oh my god holy shit and then you just eat a fuck ton of coffee yogurt and then one day the switch gets flipped off and you're like i don't ever want to see this again in my life mm -hmm. and that's what queeb goes through right so i've set aside a, a little like i gave him basically the door in the fridge so all of his drinks are there all of his like little puddings like right now it's rice puddings he's finished with the coffee yogurt um for now for now. He's finished with the mango, so I haven't been buying a mango. Um oh, mango. in theory. And then I set up a little area for him with uh with bins of food that he will eat. So like 
cereal bars, spicy chicken ramen, um, the little pirate's booty chip stuff. Oh yeah, uh, little. I don't know what to call that. It's like uh, it's like little. They're normally called like puffed, puffed something, like puffed bites or whatever so like he has this little section set over there so it, it's stuff that he can quickly grab uh because he'll also like if he doesn't see it in front of his face he'll assume it doesn't exist right so not only am i dealing with making sure he his areas are stocked then whenever i buy food He'll be like, oh, yeah, that looks really good. And then he'll eat the, the entire bag of late July jalapeno lime chips. And then that is suddenly on the list. And it could be for a day, could be for a week, could be for a month until it's no longer on the list. And then it's gone. Okay. I do that, I'll buy a bunch of food that I love, then all of a sudden I don't want it anymore. I do that a lot. I bought so much of the wee French vanilla yogurt in cases and I got tired of it with the case left. Chris had to eat them because the thought of eating one more made me nauseous. I can't even buy that many because I, I, I truly don't know. Um, part of the reason why we have such a fucking overstock of Red Bull is because as as fast as he's on a flavor, he's completely done with it. Um, like you guys certainly remember the the fluff, right? The jars of fluff. He's completely off of that. Um, we do we do waste a lot of money on on just foods we don't eat. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, and it doesn't help that it's usually something I don't eat. Right. Like, uh, the coffee yogurt, I, I don't eat yogurt and, and I don't, I don't eat coffee items. Yeah, so that, that does me no good. Uh, the fluff, I don't eat fluff. Spicy chicken ramen, he's safe. I'm not going to eat it. So it's, I'm waiting for him to pick something that I can, I can also like eat whenever he is, he's done, but that hasn't happened yet. Um, there were these chips, uh, you know, the Stacy's pita chips, uh, they usually make like cinnamon, uh, it's like cinnamon sugar fried pita chips. They're like super good. They introduced a flavor. They were good for a while, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they introduced uh, jalapeno. They're, they're super good. So like, they're, they're literally like a little, I would say they're like, twice as spicy as the, the late July chips. I bought them for myself. Queeb took one bite in the beginning and said that he didn't like them. And then he went back to them when his mind was like in the right place. And he's like, oh shit, these are fucking banging. So he, he will go through a bag of chips in a sitting. And then the problem begins. Oh, didn't I just buy that? Where did it go? I find out he bought it, like he ate it. Uh, he asked me to buy more, so I'll buy two bags. And then I have a bag and he has a bag. So he eats his bag and then he eats my bag. I'm like, well, shit. Okay. I'll buy him two bags. I'll buy me a bag and I'll hide it. Like with the rosemary fig uh, crackers, I would hide them in the cupboard. And the extra jars of fluff, like I would hide it. And then he would randomly find it. He would eat it. And so this one time, they were completely out of stock on these chips. Fluff absolutely exists. Absolutely. Um, bought him, uh, I ended up buying seven bags because the stores around us, there there have been supply shortages like we we never know when something's going to come in. Like right now, there is no Gatorade. There hasn't been Gatorade for months. Um, a lot of the cereals aren't on the shelves, but that's that's partially due to the strike, but it's also due to supply chain issues. Um, and the like, for whatever reason, this particular flavor of this particular chip, right? So I buy the seven bags and I hide them in the cupboard. He's done. He doesn't want any more. <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me, you piece of shit? What? 
I'm too busy solving puzzles. Oh that no. Oh, they're reintroducing this crap. It's the worst puzzle in the game. <laughs> McQueeb's food corner, absolutely. Like he he has a food corner and he has a door in the fridge. Like he's good. Do any of you usually cook? I do cook. He doesn't eat it. So I have to cook at a particular like he. It depends on the it, schedule and depends on the food. It exactly. So like if it's any. Like, you guys see him eating little finger food type stuff, like chicky nuggies. I've already or... talked about Trash Night tonight. Oh! I, well, I wasn't even going to talk about Trash Night, but okay. Um, I tend to make those for him because he will eat them on stream. If I made him pasta, he doesn't like to eat something like that on stream. He did during the subathon, which was a huge deal, but... Oh, I had so many bowls of salad. <laughs> we, we were, we were a, a salad bucket family there for a bit, and then he got out of that... Um, by the way, there's absolutely nothing wrong with anything that he's doing. Like, I'm, I am slightly food shaming him. Because I am a little upset that he ate the entire bag of chips. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm allowed to get a tiny bit upset, and I'm allowed to talk about these things. But what he's going through is cool, and, and having food issues, unfortunately, it, it, it's all too common here in this country. Um, but I do cook. I have to cook at a particular time of the day for him to actually almost guarantee eat it. And it has to be certain things. Um, like, I, I am very funny with food, aren't I? I, you, I now you, that we're talking about it yeah. in public out loud. <laughs> you are. Um, like spaghetti has to be made a certain way. I cannot deviate. I cannot change the sauce. I can't cook it for longer or shorter. Like, he, he is very particular. Um, yeah. So we do cook. It's just for him. Like, he'll, uh, whenever he gets up and takes, does like a, a break, he'll go in there and he'll grab something from his Queeb's food corner and eat. Coffee ice cream, I didn't realize how amazing it was until I, I don't know, I like You're welcome. figured I would try it. Huh? You're welcome. <laughs> I, I figured I would try it. Like, it's not a fucking massive deal. Well, no, no, no. Like, like, because we did the the coffee experiment where we actually did literal coffee in literal ice cream. And I didn't like that. But actually getting like a mocha ice cream. Fantastic. Um, the. Shit. Uh, thrift, thrifty. Is that the the ice cream brand that's at Rite Aid? They have one mm, that's I think like so, yeah. It's like like almond mocha or something. That one's pretty good. And then uh, Baskin Robbins has like a Jamocha flavor, which is like baller. We eh, it's not necessarily a ch eh, we we are kind of a chip family, but it's also more for uh, convenience, like. Uh, I know that he's going to eat the chips. He has a lot broader of a uh, what, like, like he's more apt to grab just like a random bag of chips from the kitchen and eat it. And I am not like I have particular kinds, and that is why the eating of the chips was a little upsetting. It was because literally out of like 48,000 bags of chips, you picked the one that I got for myself. Um, the rosemary in question, triple five, there are these fig and rosemary crackers from Target. Mm, we haven't had them I, in a I, while. They're in there. There's a whole jar of them. They're not, because, in, they're not in Queeb's food corner, that's for sure. No, well, they're not going in Queeb's food corner. Um, they're super good, especially with uh, a little bit of cream cheese. That's actually what one of the things I use to taunt Loaf into coming into his uh, kennel. He likes them very much. For us, we don't have 24 packs of water. If C chips, eat chips. He absolutely will. Pasta ruins your beard while eating. That's why you shouldn't eat it on stream. <laughs> That's factual, yeah. It, it, it absolutely is. I can't tell you how many times I'll pass him in the hallway. He's like, do I look okay? Does does it look fine? Yes. 
the beard is immaculate. Sounds like me and Queeb have the same food quirks. Have you tried Lay's West Indies hot and sweet chili? F no. Oh, that sounds good. Excuse you? Please? We like the we like the barbecue Lay's. That's kind of like universally loved in this household. What else do we like? Um, so I can't I can't speak for Queeb on this, but the Ruffles barbecue are stellar they are amazing west indies ten dollars for a bag oh no no where 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 to buy these where where can has This this is out of control. We're not paying that much. Show show me where I can get it. I know that they have those Asian grocers. Okay, I think I found I need to check the validity of this website, but I think I found a site that has them for like two and a half bucks, so we'll try those. Those sound good. Uh I'm not sure how to say your name. Is it I see Jamal. Is it Talat Jamal? I get that way. As well, as soon as I zone in on something, I'm like, why change it? Me and my fiance started dating. I used to make her coffee ice cream since there were no good ones to buy. Warp, that's so nice of you. Queeb, whenever you made me the coffee ice cream, you used the instant coffee, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The McQueeb family recipe. <laughs> yes. Hi, Elemental. How are you? Morning. I also made a coffee Bailey's ice cream. Those that sounds good, Werb. Holy shit! Sounds really good. We're not uh, we're not drinkers, but Bailey's doesn't really count. Okay, so like chalky milk. <laughs> These. Hold on, and I'll link you to the uh, the ones I found. Norcane, like hello. I like to triple check the links I'm sending you guys just because, you know, you guys don't need affiliate links. There we go. There's also a, a oh fucking hell, what was it called? I looked at them and I was going to do an order and it got to a point where the there was just there was they charged like 5 to 10 dollars for a bag of chips. And I get to this weird point when I'm on a site and I'm filling up a cart I'll be like no 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 it's fine it's fine I can spend $70 on candy that's fine there's nothing wrong with that no there's nothing wrong and then it's it's like a button is pushed in my head it's like are you in fucking sane and I will abandon the cart and never go back to the site it was something called like oh fucking hell what was it uh chip Oh, I, I sent it to uh, K2. I'll see if she has it, and I'll check. Uh, Alex, hello. How are you? Doing great. Sleepy, eating my breakfast of leftover homemade for a day chicken soup, curled up in my favorite chair, hating that I have to go to work. I've never seen these. I know, right? Let me... I'll, I'll look for that site that I sent to... My friend, where is it? But it was like phenomenal. Um, it, it was just like expensive and it got to the point where I was like, hold on. I, I live in LA County. Surely there is, there is at least one Asian gro grocer that I can go to and I can fucking grab these. I'm I'm up incredibly late, but I'm I'm doing okay. That's when I think Lay's may be called something else in your company. That's why you're in your country. That's why you're finding the costly ones. Shouldn't have put arrows on the color side at the end of those. It's really misleading. It is. That's what I said like hours ago. Have I played any new roguelikes that I'd recommend? Um, shit, I'd have to check my list. 
we've played uh, dozens of games. If you check out Nwerb, if you check out um, exclamation mark Queebvent, uh, that will maybe point you in the right direction. Found it. Hold on. Okay, so this is the site that I found originally. I thought it was called something else. That name doesn't ring a bell. It, it's basically like a big website with like tons of, of just like the the funky flavors of, of Kit Kats and, and Twix and, and Doritos and, and all kinds of stuff. Oven roasted chicken flavored Doritos. Like what? With the chicken strips? Sweet, it's spicy, roasted corn. I bet Doritos roasted corn would have been like fucking banging. Except, look at the fucking prices. Ten damn dollars. So they have, there has to be a place somewhere in LA County where I can like buy this stuff. I would, I don't want to buy it to sell. I want to buy it to try. I'm not going to pay ten dollars for a bag plus like seven dollars shipping or whatever it is for that bag if i only get the bag it might be fucking fifteen dollars then i open the bag i try one and i hate it and worst case scenario queeb tries a chip and he hates it that would be the worst i love how miss queeb is talking chill about food and queeb is thinking internally it's about drive it's about power solving these puzzles <laughs> Honestly, there's only one puzzle, well, a bug puzzle that got me stumped, but there's only one puzzle in the game so far that's given me too much trouble, um, and I got help with one. Wouldn't the worst be if he loved the $10 ships? That is, that is correct. However, um, he, he is pretty good about, like, if he eats all of something and he's like, oh, that's really good. I like that. And I'll, I'll say something like, yeah, you should. It was like eight bucks. And that that's also the same philosophy that works on me so he'll be like uh no. no and then he'll like not want it like if i get it he'll eat it but he'll be like no 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 that's that's like 10 bucks no whereas if he's really into something he'll be like um so i'm out of rice pudding again <laughs> and, and i'll say i literally just bought like six two days ago and he'll say, um, so I'm out of rice pudding. More of this shit? Come on. Enough is enough. This looks like a fucking nightmare room. I'm 100% sure you guys are going to love it, but I'm telling you don't buy the $10 one. No, I would never buy the $10 ones, I promise. If you live in LA, you can get them in, but that's the thing. We cannot get them in any grocery store because I go to like four different grocery stores a week, but I go to American white person grocery stores like Ralph's, Vaughn's, Target. Like I go, I go there. I don't go to Asian specific. Is that my problem? Do I need, what's, what's the one called? It's like H, H Mart. Do we have H Mart out here, right? I don't know what that is. But H Mart, I thought it was mostly Korean. Uh. I I ten thousand percent swear to you, it is not at Target. I, I swear to you, like we have. So, in this area, we are having like major supply chain issues. So, like for Doritos, we get like the basic flavors. You know how Lay's or something they. Uh, they'll have the different flavors that come out every month like the you know like the i guess they're like limited edition special flavors whatever we don't get those anymore like anything that that's even remotely niche we don't have it and i have to like go hunting for it so let's do this let's look for asian grocery store and let's see what the biggest one is that comes up
they'll have so at the very least it's every season so they'll have like summer uh summer flavors that come out that you can only get during the summertime uh they also have a um uh, it's like a, I don't know if it's a nationwide contest or if it's a worldwide contest of flavor profiles. So you, it's usually connected to their app or to their website and you like create a, a flavor, essentially. You're like, you know, the, the oven roasted chicken, that's a recipe that somebody submitted to them and they, um, like it usually the person's reward for coming out with that is the claim to fame and they might get like a year's supply for free or some shit. But they'll, uh, yeah, they'll they'll normally have like a handful of new flavors come out at least every season, if not one or two every month. But they're extremely limited supply, and I'm always hesitant to buy them because knowing my luck, I like with the ketchup chips. I I never found them again. The uh the current one that's that's pissing me off is the buffalo wing flavor ruffles double crunch. So whenever I see it, I just buy a crap ton and then I gorge myself on them and then it's like, well, shit. Now I don't ever want them again. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, that has a lot of reviews. There's a Tokyo Central. I Iodrid said, wait. Is the water holding it in place? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does that. Yep. So Lace is just a subsidiary of PepsiCo, so it shouldn't just be an Asian store. So maybe you can find them in more places. Um, how about... Let's... Let's, let's try to do this backwards. So let's say... We'll do the roasted corn, for instance. Roasted corn. So it's coming up on a lot of the quote unquote exotic snack websites. Okay. So what about Lay's Asian flavors? Hmm. Okay, what about Lay's locations? Okay. Yes, g give me that product map. See, on their website, they're saying that they have kettle cooked buffalo chicken dip chips. Never seen that. Uh, kettle cooked everything bagel with cream cheese. No, don't have it. Uh, we did have the cheesy garlic bread. We had the summer BLT. But like most of these, we we don't have them. They, they're not in stores. So is it wanting me to like... Oh, it's wanting me to pick one and it'll tell me where it is. Okay. They could not have done a worse job at explaining this in this game. Oh, you're just stupid, McQueen. No, you're not. Okay, the stars are getting to me. I'm officially sleepy. Good night, Stephanie. Thank you for hanging out with us. Everything is region locked these days. Now we'll need a VPN to eat food too. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So. That somewhat worked, so let's try it again. So I clicked the um, 
I went to the Lay's website, looked for locations. So what they do, instead of giving you locations, you have to look through all of their products, all the individual types of chips, right? And click the ones that you want. And then on the next screen, it will tell you where they are. So the Lay's kettle cooked potato chips, everything bagel with cream cheese, it's at a particular Rite Aid in my area. So I'm going to see if I can find the funky ones. No one's pointing and laughing, but I'm pretty sure most people wouldn't even have the patience to get this far in the game, especially in one night. He's a fucking maniac about these games. I love it. He's like, no, I have to know the secrets. It's so hard to visualize where they should go and move in the correct locations and then manipulate the geometry at the same time. Like you're so limited in what you can flip on. Oh my God. Perfect. That's not going to accomplish a damn thing. It's intended that way as half the puzzle. I had a good time with the other puzzles. As soon as I saw this and the way the mechanics work, I started to dislike it. So we've got two wheels, right? Is that... No, that must be the only one. It's got to be the only one. No, the rest of the game... You're right, I, I did... I, I got most of it very, very quickly. Because it made logical sense. These... Even when you think you know the rules, you don't. You're supposed to create a circuit on every other level here. No, they just fall into place and we're supposed to navigate or bring water from one place to another. Um, and it's some combination of removing that, unblocking the water, keeping these in place, while simultaneously not letting them slip out of place as you have to get back to manipulate all of the above. Oh, fuck yeah. Zoe is so tired. She's just snoring right behind me. Hello, Undying Futility. How are you? Like, this is... This is... Am I supposed to get it directly to there? Like... Lay a path? Like, yes is the answer. Because there's no other method of transport that will go that far. But this one would have to go down probably first. I? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm actually about to go put in my eye drops and go to sleep. But I am on a mission to find where I can buy Asian Lay's varieties in Los Angeles County. I'm on a mission! Like, this is just going to be trial and error for the most part. 
I, I wish the game didn't let me go any further, be, to be honest. I haven't... I don't enjoy these at all. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. So there is this website or we started talking about chips tonight because obviously every night has to have a theme and tonight's theme is chips. Um, so there There's are a bunch things. of That is true. Uh, so there is a, um, a website. There's a bunch of websites where they, uh, they basically sell Asian varieties of popular brands to Americans. And the one that I was looking at is called Exotic Boulevard. I just linked it. Um, they have Gallup Butter Garlic Lays. They have Notorious B.I.G. Honey Jalapeno Wrap Snacks. They have Buffalo Chicken Doritos. And it's just like, just weird stuff, right? So the problem, at least for me, is that I'm very frugal. Even when I do have money, I don't want to pay $10 for a bag of chips that I will probably not like. So I'm seeing where locally I can go procure them for myself. I don't want to be a, a seller of them. I don't care. That's that's too much work. Um, but I do want to be able to find them so I can see if I if I like them. And then there then I have a thing that I like and Queeb likes. So the test that I'm I'm finding is I'm like I'm going to that site. I'm but like Lay's salted egg flavored. Salted egg? <laughs> salted egg. Um so depending on the bag, I can kind of like parse what language it is, and so I'm looking to find where I can find that one. Like this one, for instance. You said which one specifically? The Lay's grilled pork. Like that? That sounds good. That that sounds good. That sounds like some some ribs or something, right? It's ten dollars a bag, and by the way, the prices have gone up like a dollar and a half in five months. Sorry, Miss Queeb, I think you're correct. I can't find these chips anywhere except in India. I shouldn't have given you the temptation. No, it's okay. <laughs> It's okay, <laughs> I promise. Um, it's totally fine. the The great thing about having ADHD is that once I once I like leave for the night and I don't think about this conversation again, I'll literally never remember what you said. Like was good, except like years down the road, I'll wake up randomly and just be like, "What was that bag of chips he told me to get? Egg. What was that? Salted egg." <laughs> Like, Queeb, do you remember that one night we talked about chips and he'd be like, what? Salted egg. What are you <laughs> That's what I'm say. I think I did it. And if I did, it's pure, pure luck. Fucking wrap snacks. They have seafood flavored bugles. And they also have sweet basil lays. Like, see, that sounds good. Yes. Oh, that hurts. Um... Can we try just to flip once without dislodging absolutely everything? No, McQueeve, you can't. Oh, good. Fucking... So what I want to do, I want to flip this way... A bit, maybe. That might may not even move it. No, it'll be locked in place at the moment. Wait, 
wait, what? What just shifted? Nothing shifted. And we have all kinds of weird seasonal that I wish we had. I can't go into your stores anymore, man. I can't. It's just, it's, it's too much. It, it, it's like, it, it's, it's too much. <laughs> like, uh, <sighs> Iodred said red, blue. Like the, uh, what is it? The cookie butter cookies, the cookie sandwiches. I bought a box. Mistake. Sadly, it was only one box. It was gone. It was, I, I literally, like, came home. Queeb took it. It was gone. <laughs> they also sell wasabi flavored Kit Kat. I don't know why. I'm looking at the Kit Kat on the site. They have, uh, I've they heard have a they're really good, actually. Yeah. They have a cookies and cream Kit Kat, which that's, that sounds baller. Oh, don't they have like a way to like divide this side up? Okay, let's try chocolate. There we go, much better. Banana caramel Kit Kat. What? I miss when we had black licorice Altoids. <gasps> I miss those those like fruit sour Altoids that they had. Weren't they Altoids? Like they were like. I I'm not making this up. They're like mango, right? Yes! The citrus! The citrus and the mango and the tangerine. Those were banging. Close. Got to move it just a just a touch further. See what I mean? This this is a, it's a total shift in both thought process and and flow. I guess for lack of a better word. Is it fun? It, uh, this puzzle isn't. No, I can categorically say that. Iodred would like to know if you would like a hint. Nope. This game seems to get frustrating to the point of like draining your soul. I'm, I actually had to stop playing it on my screen because I was getting frustrated with it, not by his gameplay, but by the, by the puzzle itself. I saw a small business candy maker reproduce the tangerine, excuse me, elemental. Someone has reproduced the Altoy Tangerine Sours. That's holding it in place altogether, isn't it? Okay. I got to toying the water off. Which means I have to climb back up. Do you mind getting me the link? I would appreciate it. That sounds amazing. They have this one variety of chips. It's called Lay's Pure Spicy. That's all it's called, just pure spicy. What the fuck?
I'll try again. For the last time. Thank you, Elemental, and thank you, Jamal. PD.net. Thank you. That is the cutest name for a business. Holy shit. Leftovers from the feast, forgotten flavors. Oh, that's wonderful. Elemental, thank you for sending me this. The No Cain, No Gain Club is a, a shirt is amazing. It's wonderful. Salted egg. <laughs> it looks like such a random flavor. Like, it's definitely not a flavor I'm going to spend $10 for, like, plus shipping. But if I happened to be at a store and they had it on the shelf within reach and I didn't have to ask anybody for help to get it down and it was like three, four bucks, yeah, I would buy a bag. They also have a, a different site has fried crab lays and that actually sounds good. I'm sorry, there's a Sour Patch Kids Cola flavor. They have cola flavored Sour Patch? What? That's not going to be able to get close enough, is it? Do you love his videos too? He goes into the history of the candies. Also, all of his candy work in small batches. Salted is the only way hard boiled egg can be eaten. Throwing out there, does anyone know what the <laughs> I do. Um, we actually have some. Hold on. Their technical name is called a strawberry bonbon. And bonbon is two words or it's separated by a hyphen. I, uh, I regularly, regularly get them because they are banging. That's the third time you've used that word tonight. It's so good, though. It's a good word. I think all of these places use them. They, they use like the same recipe because Generally, whenever I'm at the store, if I see a bag, I will buy them, regardless of what brand it is. They don't seem to be the same brand. Um, and I don't really detect any kind of difference in flavor. So I just I end up grabbing a bag. It's normally like, I don't know, a couple bucks. Oh, image candy. Okay. Why do I feel like I saw this candy yesterday? <laughs> you probably did. Like those and the, um, uh, they were called like the butterscotch discs. And then one that I've recently started doing that Queeb, he, he categorically does not like, are the sugar-free lemon discs. I don't think they need the sugar. I think they're perfect the way they are. Um, and that's actually what the, the lemon yuzu jam tasted like last night. They tasted like those. I feel like I was born... 60 because all of my favorite candies are stuff like that. 
Werther's are, are amazing. I love Werther's. I actually like the coffee Werther's the best. I have some sitting on my desk right now. They are perfect. Miss Quiba actually wanted to buy a batch of their mushroom candy from Lofty Pursuits. He did a video series on the research regarding those. That just tickled me in the best. Oh, hold on. Maybe I didn't make it to that page. <laughs> Where are the mushroom candies? <laughs> Where is that? I see the drops. Hold on. Oh, I see it. Oh, and they have black currant. That sounds good. This looks like a site that Queeb would go. I, he would either not want anything or he would want everything. Candy cap mushroom candy. A food corner tour? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, this is this is part of the what they call the rainbow puzzle, which is essentially the last section. Yes. Basically, you guys have seen everything that he'll uh, that he's done, th that he's eaten. Like I, I added the. Uh, some Mexican candies that I found, or Mexican, um, I guess, pastries that I found that he used to be on, and now he's not on it. Um, there's also, like, any kind of chocolate mess, whatever. Black currant is a fancy way of saying raisin. Ah! Are you sure? Please hold. Black currants are very different. Please hold. I love random rabbit holes. I, f I fucking love rabbit holes. Okay, so undying is correct. Different uh, red current and black current are different things. Black current is a raisin, but it it it's it's it, it's a raisin of a different type of grape. Uh, raisins are dry fruits that are made by drying white grapes. Currants are dry fruits made by drying seedless, dark color grapes. There's a beverage called Ribena you can get in Australia and in the UK. You've... We've never had it here. You've really talked good, about this before. Yeah, you add it to water. And it... Uh, we call it cordial. Well, rib actually, Rabina is slightly different. I think it's more natural than like a lot of the artificial stuff, but yeah. Cordials here. You call them that? I, I, it's a very, at least here, it's a very outdated term. Right. But like, like it's, it's more of a word that was probably used like 50s, 60s, 70s. They haven't been used since, but they they tend to classify things very oddly now. Right. Okay, I think I got it. What a fucked puzzle. Straight up. I love the current discussion going on about currents. It's such a wonderful smell. Like, seriously, current candles, like, uh, those are my jam. Seriously, they're amazing. Speaking of jam, we should do another uh, taste <laughs> test tonight before bed. I can't. We need to do it, like, earlier in the day. But I will absolutely sit next to you while you do it. Try a different one tonight. We've got these little mini bagels. They're really good. 
Loaf got one and he did his what is this kind of dance. He does this. Uh, I think all pit bulls do it. Maybe all dogs do it. I'm just he, now I'm thinking no. of a sheep doing the. <laughs> he'll uh, he'll uh, it, regardless of what you give him, if he if he does not understand it, he'll drop it like a, a bagel, for instance, he'll drop it and then he'll he'll act like he wants to attack it. And he'll like back up from it. And if you try to hand it to him, he will he'll like run from you and you can chase him around the house with it. It's very weird. <laughs> I actually need to I'm in the middle of overhauling the the kitchen and making it a lot easier to use. I tell you what, join Discord. Miss Quee will take uh, very nice, well presented photos of uh, certain I segments. <laughs> I absolutely will. Yeah, just give me a couple of days. I'll uh, I will put it on Discord. I find that stuff interesting, like seeing what other people eat, because then I'm like, oh, that's what an adult's supposed to eat, huh? Oh, we ain't done yet, apparently. True currents that are, are banned in the U.S. because of a fly that spreads a disease in citrus. Why is the disease okay in other countries? Because they're not growing millions of citrus. A lot of vegans no longer consider avocados vegan anymore. Why? Why is that? Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like... The argument about the honey, I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Like, if, if, if that's... Figs, if that's... not avocados. I still don't get it. To produce a fig, you need a mosquito. Fuck off. I, I'm not going to fuck off. It's true. So, I'm explaining this very awfully. Thank you, it is a wasp. I'm explaining this very crudely because I am not a botanist. The uh, the wasps that come to the um, uh, the flowers of the fig tree, because figs grow on trees, their bodies are are basically harvested. They're 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 consumed, and that is the basis of what grows the fig. It's formed around uh, an insect. Really? Uh, how does it make it an animal? product because there is a wasp like like yeah, if something it, it, if something died to produce it um, okay i didn't know that hold on i'm gonna google and i'm gonna get a, a much better way okay this sounds disgusting a wasp enters a finds a flowering fig using her sense of smell when she enters through the small opening her wings and antenna are torn off shit mm -hmm. it's it's hardcore uh A young fig wasp female leaves the fig she was born in, searches for a fig in which to lay her eggs. She's shorter than an eyelash, but will fly as far as six miles to find a tree with flowering figs. They're not easy to spot. Uh, let's see. So she enters in, it tears off her wings and antenna. She won't be able to leave. So she lays her eggs in there. She lives the rest of her life inside the fig. A bunch of stuff dies to produce nutrients in the ground. I don't get it. <sighs> that That's where my response came from, and it's ignorant of me. So, I can't speak for other countries, but in this country, especially with social media the way that it is now, uh, like, for instance, with honey, for instance, honey has been classified as not vegan, even though it is something that the byproduct of an animal in there. Like, like it's not something like it's it's not like dairy cows where we are f quote unquote forcibly taking milk from the cows mm -hmm. it's not like that they produce the honey on their own they produce excess of honey right depends on how hard of a vegan you well no i think vegan is a very defined term right 
But see, that's the current argument right now. So they care more about the bees that produce the overflow of honey that has to be consumed right. by others or destroyed more than they care about the migrant workers that are used to harvest things like, like fruits and vegetables. Huh. Like it, it's, there have been very specific guidelines drawn by, by vegans, but I, I don't see a problem with it. If it's already going to be produced, if it's already produced, who, who cares? Otherwise, you're just a vegan. Bees will produce it anyway. Exactly. You're you're right. I get honey. Bees have a pretty. How do we get from chips to wasp producing and migrant workers? Because it's uh, it, it, it's it's Channel McQueen. It's, it's <laughs> Laugh a minute here. Pretty much. Um. So that what was that site? That was Ask a Biologist at Arizona State University. I am going to find a better source. Or not a better source, but a different source. Just so I am not accused of lying. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> so on uh, this federal website, this is the forest service website it has like a, a similar passage where it says it it, it is such a t oh <laughs> it's such a tight passage that the wasp us usually loses its wings and pieces of antenna it does not matter because it will never need them again I'm like what <laughs> that's so mean <laughs> um, but yes there you go that is the secret of figs delicious right Should be taken in, into account if the wasp is being harmed or mass produced. See that that does call into question. Like I would assume that it is a natural process. However, I live in America, and if a system can be exploited, it will be exploited. But I can't imagine someone like wandering around randomly forcibly shoving female wasps into these flowers At the end of the day unless you grow everything i think veganism is basically impossible since insects are killed when you grow everything and then there's the the branch of veganism where uh they're almost I don't even know what the proper term would be like, like they're like, well, yeah, we eat plants, but even the plants feel things and we have, we can't eat that much. We need to be very conservative about the food that we eat. The branch of veganism. Seriously. Like, like, I don't want to say they're militant, but they, some of them have a tendency to come off as militant. Like you can only eat these things. A good read on the topic of animals and veganism. Thank you link that's pretty that's very in pretty. a creepy sort of end of the world type of way <laughs> yes i i actually saw um i saw someone talk about this um it was on you know how on tiktok people do those videos where they're like tell me about the worst experience you had waiting tables and this woman talked about her experience of uh she went to wait on this table it was like a bunch of people and i don't remember the exact food oh i do i do it was an impossible burger oh she i've had one of them a, before at she um, umami burger yes she Very wanted good she wanted an impossible burger so she ordered that because it's vegan and she made a point to say well i'm vegan so i think i'll like it are you sure there's nothing wrong with it and the the person is like no it's it's fine it's 
it's impossible burger it's, it's okay so she orders it the waitress sets it down and the girl holds up her finger and takes the bun off and she's like this looks exactly like a, a meat burger i'm not eating that's this. the whole fucking point just <laughs> is like uh, uh right it, it's called an impossible burger because it's it, it, it's it, it it looks like a burger uh it, it's all plant like it, it's 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 a plant it, it's it's all plant right like it, it's made in the laboratory it's, it's like whatever and the woman refused oh we ain't done yet apparently okay we keep going <laughs> jesus christ um she refused she's like i need you to send it back so the waitress is like okay well maybe i fucked up so she takes it to the back and she's like hey what is this and they're like it's the impossible burger burger it's what you asked for he's like are you sure and they compare they they make sure that it's like it, it it is what it is so they bring it back to her and they're like okay you know we did we did check it it is it is correct if you want we can make you a fresh one but it it is the impossible burger and this woman she was she threw a fit i say woman they were both about the same age like in their early 20s she threw a fit and she said i don't want to just take it off my bill and the waitress like okay that's fine takes it off the bill goes to the back good good meal for the waitress and, and then <laughs> when she comes back around to refill drinks the woman says um can i get a chicken sandwich <laughs> I shit you not. I shit you not. And the waitress is like, like, like she kind of laughed. She thought it was a joke, right? And the girl's like, "Why are you laughing?" She's like, "Oh, um, because that that's not vegan." And you were with the burger. You were like really concerned. She's like, "I'm allowed." And she's she's just like, "Chicken's okay." Ch chicken's okay. Chicken, chicken's okay. Oh, I could fucking slay a steak right yeah, now. She, oh. she, <laughs> she um, I think the waitress, like, she kind of like wrapped up her day after that, just because, yeah. it, and it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily because the woman was, look, she was stupid, right, uneducated. It wasn't because of the general conversation because some people don't understand like they'll Maybe hear she's words like a, uh, you know especially if it's in a, a place like LA it's like very fashionable to be you know you follow a trend rather than right and you just don't understand so like like there there's there's no harm in asking questions and and having a civil conversation like if someone had if, if that conversation could have been completely different if it had a different attitude brought with it right well the, the it, willingness to listen and learn is something that i'm i'm very i'm a huge advocate of that yeah um but it was just the entire interaction it was like 20 minutes of this this waitress having to to bend over backwards and prove that there was not an, a speck of meat in this burger only to have to take it back and to get it taken off the menu or take it off the the check and then the bitch wants a chicken sandwich and she was like you know what i i i ended my night then i was like you know what let's wrap up the table i'm good i'm good this this is too much do you know what the demo scene is miss queeb what the the demo scene have you heard of that that term before no but i would assume it has to do with like video game demos or something mm, it's so in in the 90s actually somebody released a really good was it xbox ahoy i'm gonna find it and i'll i'll share it with chat um really good youtube video broken down by an amazing is it, creator is it the thing that that i used to do is that what what played on the the dvds that i used to have to install mm -mm. no 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 so the demo scene came around in about uh early 90s um started from like video game piracy when they when uh, these release groups would release cracks right essentially executable modifiers that allowed you to get into a pirated game to avoid copy protection mm -hmm. these scenes were talented artists and coders and musicians and they'd all get together to create 
demos in the 90s and and this is this is giving me huge flashbacks to some of that is it inside gaming check alex if you don't mind search for um xbox ahoy and it was like one of his latest videos this is this is great by the way i'm just, um, this is this was worth it putting up with that fucked puzzle up because chickens are one of the most tortured animals so she's really vegan for an odd reason i feel like i'm on acid watching this definitely fashionable i went to a bachelor party dinner where they chose the restaurant for someone who's vegan that ended up ordering bacon wow it sounds about right it does like that that absolutely sounds right i've that that story that i just told about the the chicken sandwich that's not like i've i've heard a similar story with salmon instead of chicken like I've, I've had something like that happen in a restaurant where I was. Like, it, it's it's all too common. Mm -hmm. Oh, Elemental, thank you for clipping that. Oh, did I become transparent in green screen? Yeah. I'm very interested in the map behind this trippiness. It's not even something I can disable because it's the reflection of the monitor on me. Mm -hmm. It's not like I can just have me keyed, well, me being keyed, if I'm getting a green reflection, that I can't do anything about it. Right. So games that are too green, I will look like that from time to time. I, I loved 90% of that. 90%. I'll, I'll, I'll forgive the bugs even, but those fucking Tetris puzzles are very badly telegraphed very badly explained i used to make um fractal images with a, a program with some shareware thing back in the 90s as well called uh Fractint, I think was the name of it. And there was another one that did Mandelbrot specific calculations. Salmon thing may be a hardcore Christian thing since the Catholic Church declared fish as not an animal in the Dark Ages. Wasn't the whole Jesus and, and loaves and fishes thing? Wasn't wasn't that a thing? No, don't, don't, don't try to make sense of it. Alright. <laughs> don't do it. Apoph apotheosis. Did I play It Takes Two with Ms. Queeb? No, we haven't we haven't done that. We may save that for uh, another day. I will potentially co sign it. It's unfortunately true. That's why fasting holidays in the calendar, Christian calendar allows fish. It's... it's... <sighs> Other this, tools. Slack, this. Trello, per, Perforce, <laughs> Google Docs, Jenkins, and Dropbox. I don't know why they listed those. I liked it. I liked it. Gorgeous fucking game. We were on max settings there, by the way. Um, like st stunning looking game. And and what Ms. Queeb said, she said watercolor. She said stark, beautiful, and and puzzle platformer released in the last year. She spot on. Getting good at my descriptions. Very huh? very good at them. Yeah. Well, I have to. Like, you guys ask such random questions. Murder Hobo wasn't there today. He would have got it for sure. 100%. Oh, absolutely. Technically running late because I wanted to watch that ending. Gotta get up and go to work. Toodles. No sweat, dude. Bye, Elemental. Thank you so much for your help and your discussion today. We'll see you later. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Oh, I'm gonna have to do um, the other one. Antichamber now, aren't I? That's probably even more of a mindfuck. 
I'm surprised those bugs were there. Um, I wasted probably 45 minutes to an hour on, on that one because I thought for some reason, all of a sudden, it's going to throw uh, a flipped cube our way, the dark cube, which didn't make any sense, but I, I was rolling with it. I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind that could be a bug. Um, Wobbin says there's another ending that's even more demo scene-ish. Oh, really? How does one get that? We're open to spoilers now. Go, go right ahead. Yeah, whatever. Totally fine. Antichamber is definitely more brain breaky. Yeah, from what I've seen of Antichamber, I think I, I think I saw Bayer Taffy play that or someone way back. Um, secrets, because I kind of remember the rooms we skipped. See, I don't recall rooms we skipped. Um, maybe like little entrances and stuff, possibly. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but I don't, I don't recall any. One thing we didn't do was going go back to the um, the little map room, but we didn't really have a chance to once we collected the dark cube. It feels like the black hole in Interstellar. Yeah, that crossed my mind a lot of times. Yeah. What time is it? Four thirty-eight. Miss Queeb. Mm -hmm. It's 4.38 in the morning. Yeah. You on my schedule now, baby. I'm... I'm wrecked. Like, my... my, The back of my head, my neck, my shoulders, my upper back just hurt. So I am, uh... I'm sitting here, I'm looking at candy websites, Asian potato chip websites, uh, reptile hide websites, and I'm I'm literally just zoning out because I don't have the energy to walk into the other room. Should go for a morning <laughs> I walk. Said... Oh, I love I love that. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> uh, we don't live in a, a good area for that. Also, it is raining. Oh, the area is fine. <laughs> is my son out? I can see him. He's, he's still sleeping. Your Google history from tonight. My Google history from every day. Are you kidding? All right. Let me see if I can find this um, this video. It explains like this guy does so much research, and the way he delivers is perfect. Um, uh... Cat template, absolutely correct. Teleport my ass, please. Yeah. There we go. I'm also kind of scared to get up because if I do, I think Z-O-E is want, going to want to go O-U-T. She is sleeping behind me, snoring. Oh, okay. Chicken. Got it. Um, yeah, and, and she likes to go there and just sit and, and not do anything. She doesn't bark at other animals that she hears off in the distance or anything like that. She just wants to sit. Was it not him that did it? Oh, I could have sworn. He did one really recently on um, music, uh, like Amiga trackers back in the day. Ultimate sound tracker, ST01 samples, demo scene. Okay, so it's a segment within... Nah, someone did like a full on... Please tell the names of your pets. Um, I can I can do better than that. We got uh, we got a command for that. <laughs> are you kidding me? I created a command for that. I actually need to update it because I think the uh, the unnamed boy child has been named. You gonna roll with it? Ar like Archibald. <sighs> Archimedes. <laughs> well, well, it was close. Archimedes, Archie. You can just call him Archie. You can remember Archie. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to stick with that. He, uh, I don't know, he's, he seems like an Archie. I haven't interacted with him. Like right now, 
we've only had them two weeks. Like it's, it's, we're right at two weeks. So this is, he's just now starting to feel comfortable coming out. We can start training him to, uh, to ask to come out, training him to eat when we, where we tell him to. So I haven't handled him very much. I don't know what his personality is, but I think, I think he's an Archie. I think he's an Archie. I've not moved or held going to the bathroom for so long just so I wouldn't have to take the dogs out so they can sit outside for 30 minutes at 5 a.m. doing nothing. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're, we're in the same club. <laughs> we're in the same club. Like, and it's... I understand. I got extremely spoiled. <laughs> Woben has a link for the secret ending. Uh, I'm very spoiled in that Zoe is uh yeah go ahead and post it woman that's fine she's she's very much like just she just wants to be outside and if she has room to explore she'll explore but she's like you know she's just a, a chill dog we we lucked out incredibly and she was that way as a puppy she's very smart she's also extremely lazy <laughs> And if there's not motivation in it for her, she'll be like, eh. Like, there have been times where we offer her food. Like, we offer her a T-R-E-A-T, -E and she's like, uh, no, I'm good. I don't need that. Thanks, so. Oh, I was going to put a command together for my Out of Wilds playthrough. People keep asking for that, so. Do it. That counts is what I need to update. Um, Hold on, being being a dog is hard. Constantly monitoring your parents to go for a walk. I read uh, there was a meme about how the reason that my dog wants to watch me pee is because I have to watch him pee. And ever since then, like I understand, I get it. You can you can watch me if you want. It's fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, five freaking snakes. Is Miss Queeb the fan or is McQueeb? I am the one who got them. Uh, you know, we she are started both us fans. on this journey, but we love them equally, I think. Yeah. Um, She's got her favorite. I've got mine. <laughs> Queeb's favorite is whichever the last one is that I got. Um, but yeah, I, I got my first snake in... Uh, I paid for him in like May of last year. I was able to take him home in mid-July. Like, I, I had a deposit down on him before he even hatched. Uh, I got to pick him out of a picture. Picked him up in July. It took three days for us to buy our second snake, which most reptile keepers say that as soon as you get one, like, you get the, the next couple very quickly. Wait, uh, a couple us, months after had that. Us, had us picked, huh? Right. A couple months after that, we got our third. Um... We got, and then this last round was very weird because we, we got Huxley, my first one, a baby mama. And in the event, we decided to have babies. Implored, hi, how are you? Um, don't know if it'll happen, but got her just in case, like specific morph to mate with him. She had a brother that would have gone to a pet shop, like a pet store because he's a, a normal, like what they're like, if you go to a reptile convention, they're normally like five bucks, 10 bucks maybe. Um, at a pet store now, they're like 40 or 50 and they're just like basic bottom of the line morph. Um, I felt sorry for him. I grabbed him. I thought he was mine. We found out about him, claimed him as his. And uh, when I went to go pick him up, I fell in love with a the baby there and I, I randomly brought him home. Did I ever think I would have five snakes? Absolutely not. Like last year, I was I was kind of like, OK, if it's just three, that's fine. And uh, we're sitting at five. It's a good number. We're good. Um, I think if I did get more, I would want to wait until because right now we have The youngest one we have is two months old. And then we have two that are nine months old that from mm -hmm. the same clutch. Mm -hmm. So I would want to wait until they're like at least a year and a half and maybe wait till the the baby hits 
I don't know, close to a year old before we get another one. It's a lot of work. Do not look away when your dogs pee. I, I look at them to make sure they are doing it and then I look away. Mainly because Loaf has this look on his face. When he pees, he always looks embarrassed. And and so I'm I'm constantly like, good boy, you're doing good. You're a yes boy, because we say yes boy now. Um, oh, what does that mean? Um, it Saying yes helps put it in their... Because as, as pet people, you see a random dog on the street and you say good boy. They don't know that it that they are a good boy. They they hear it constantly. So it's it's not like a, it's not something they hear when they're doing something extremely well. They hear it by existing. So using a word like yes boy or something, it is something that you start to integrate into them into their their daily life. So when they do something right, you say yes. And that kind of starts imprinting on them. So it has the same effect as a good boy okay. normally would. So that's, that's why we're always saying yes. Well, I say yes to him and it seems to, uh, it works, but he'll look at me like, um, like he's just embarrassed. Like he's just, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm here. Yeah. He gets these looks on his face. They're just like, oh, it breaks, <laughs> breaks your heart just looking at him. He's perfect. He's like, he likes to stand up at the kitchen counter and watch you make food. Or even if you're just like doing, if I'm doing dishes, he'll stand up next to me, next to the, the sink and he'll watch. Uh, All right. Crow, thank you for the clip. Uh, yeah, Crow made that one uh, a while back. It's very fun. it's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> um, I'm going to raid out and we're going to end stream. Thank you so much for joining, folks. Let's have a look who's uh, who's on right now. Hold on. Let me test this very quickly. Yay. Okay, that one works. I don't have anyone to raid right now. It's a shame. It's a problem. You end at five o'clock in the morning and sometimes there's no one on. That's okay. Folks, take it easy. Um, that's good night from me and uh, good night from Ms. Queeb. Definitely. Thank you very much for uh, hanging out with us. I will see you tomorrow around five. Th uh, Jesus Christ. I will see you in 12 and a half hours. Facts. Oh, fucking hell. Yes, I'll see you in 12 and a half hours. Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.